Uh, guys, I've been stuck at sea for so long, and I'm running low on health. I need to find land, otherwise it's gonna be bad. And oh, look at this, guys. I found land. This is perfect. Now I can just walk up on the island, and then I should be able to get whatever type of food I want. Let me just break some of these blocks to get up to the top, and let's go. And wait, what in the world are those two things over there? Our house is looking so good, but I hate these spider webs. I hate this dumb door that you put on here. It looks awful, and this blue bed is just an eyesore. Oh my gosh. Let's change it then if you don't like it so much. Or how about you start doing some work instead of leaving it all for me? Oh, Fine. wait a second. What are these two even arguing about? And both of them kind of look like smiling critters. Well, maybe they'll offer me up some food or something. Uh, hey guys. Um, who are you and what have you done with my sheep? Yeah, who goes there? Wait, what do you mean? What have I done with your sheep? I don't even know who that sheep is, but uh, my name's Dax. Uh, who are you? I'm Crafty Corn, but you can call me Zoe. And I'm Bobby, but you can call me Knox. Oh, Okay, uh, that's kind of cool. Well, um, I got stranded on my boat. Do you guys have any food I can eat? Like, can I just take one of these sheep? Do not touch our sheep. Yeah, stay away from that sheep. Actually, we are pretty hungry, and we like to eat little green people like you. Oh, uh, wait a second. No, no, uh, I could be uh, helpful to you. Oh, really? Are you any good at building houses? Because apparently my partner here thinks that our house isn't good enough. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. Can you build houses? Uh, I mean, I can kind of build houses. I'm sure I can help you guys out with that. Well, if you can do that, that the only way we'll let you is if you take this potion. Uh, wait, take a potion? Uh, Zoe, what is he talking about? If you drink the potion, that means you're gonna turn out like us. Wait, I'm gonna turn out like you two? Are you serious? Yes, you have to. We're super cute. Why wouldn't you want to be like us? Oh, gosh, let's see. And it says hoppy hopscotch. Uh, wait, is this gonna turn me into, like, a green version of you guys? Maybe. Go ahead and drink it. Let's see. Okay, well, let's see what this does. And, uh, wait a second, guys. I don't really feel any different. You look adorable. Horrible. One of us. One of us. One of us. Wait, what in the world are you guys talking about? And what the heck? Wait, I do look like one of you guys. You look awesome with your big ears and your little necklace and your green. This is perfect. Yeah, you look just like us. Oh my gosh. And I guess it's like a rabbit. I like hop around and stuff. And wait, that makes sense. Hoppy, right? Yeah, duh. You're hoppy. But we'll still call you Dax. Okay, well, in order for you guys not to eat me, I have to build you guys a new house, right? because uh, this one's kind of a piece of junk. Exactly. So what do you want to start with? Well, let me just take a look inside to see what you guys have. Uh, looks like you have two beds and a bunch of dirt walls with like normal airy windows. This is honestly trash. I think we can just break this whole thing. The whole thing? All of my hard work. Told you it was garbage crafty. Mind your business. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, honestly, I can't lie to you, Zoe. This place is pretty bad, but don't worry. I can build you an even better place. See, he says it in a nice way. You're mean about it. It. it looked like garbage. It was garbage. Well, guys, I'm thinking for a house, instead of making like a normal house, what do you guys say we make like a ginormous tree house? A tree house? That sounds awesome. All right, trees. Okay, so in order to make a tree house, I'm gonna have to grab some saplings. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can just use these jungle saplings since I'm pretty sure they grow the highest. I've never even heard of those before, but you sound like you know what you're doing. I've never been to the jungle. What? You've never heard of jungle saplings before and you've never been to the jungle before? Are you serious? Nope, never. Okay. Okay, well, let me just show you guys what this first tree does. Let me just smack it with some bow mill and boom. Look how big this tree is. This is huge, but how do we get up? Well, we're going to have like stairs and stuff, guys, but we're probably going to need like a couple different trees. We want to have like a tree mansion, not just like a normal house. A tree mansion? Oh my gosh. We're going to have three different mansions? No, we're not going to have three different mansions. Wait, where'd you even get the number three from? You said it. But I didn't say three. What are you talking about? Yeah, you did. Don't mind him. He hears things. Oh, he hears things? Uh, that's a little bit weird. Does he have like some issue or something? He has a lot of issues, but hearing's just one of them. Put one right here. Wait, what? Put one right where? Where are you even talking about? Like right in front of you? Right here. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I could put one here too. Uh, let me just grow this. And there we go. Okay, guys, we have five trees. I think this is big enough. This is awesome. Can our sheep come? Uh, Yeah, I mean, we can have like a little area for a farm or something. A farm in the sky? This is so cool. Okay, but like I was saying earlier, we need stairs in order to get up. So why don't I just grab like some jungle stairs. This is blend in the best. Jungle stairs? 
does that even mean? Well, basically, they're like normal stairs, except they're built out of the jungle wood. So let me just grab some of these stairs and I can start stacking them at the base over here. And I'm guessing this can also be like the main entrance place to our whole entire base. So let's just make sure to make this like the only entrance. And you're gonna make stairs all the way up there? Uh, yeah, obviously. How else are you supposed to get up there, Nox? Can't we just have like an elevator or something? This sucks. Can't we have an elevator? Have you never seen a treehouse before? It's a lot of walking. You're gonna have to get your steps in, Nox. Stop your complaining. He's helping us. Ah, uh, fine. But I mean, I guess if we have like a portion where like you have a room, maybe you can have like your own elevator or something. Yeah, I need one. Don't accommodate him. He needs to get his steps in. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Nox. It sounds like Zoe doesn't want you to have an elevator. Yeah, well, I don't care what she thinks. Okay, let me just add on a few more of these staircases and we don't want to go all the way up to the top. So I'm thinking this layer right here can be where the whole entire base starts. It's a little low, don't you think? It's a little low. What do you mean? It's like super high up. This is like four stories high. Shouldn't we be all the way at the top? No, you shouldn't be all the way at the top. Then you're just going to get burned by the sun. Yeah, I need to be tan. You can be burned by the sun? Yes, you can be burned by the sun. Why do you think he's so red? Oh my gosh, that totally makes sense. Yeah, because it's nice outside. I like being out there. Oh my gosh. No, we're not going all the way to the roof. You're going to have to have a little bit of shade. We don't want crafty corn to get burnt like you. I do. It'd be kind of funny. Okay, let's just add in the last little railing for these sides over here. And once I'm done with this, I'm thinking we can start building out the first room, which could be like a lookout or something. Ooh, a lookout. But what are we looking out for? Well, I mean, I guess you just want to look out into like the ocean just to have like a nice view. I don't really know. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Or if we get any unwanted guests, because that seems to be happening a lot lately. No kidding. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I kind of just like came to this island. I didn't really want to. If I knew you guys are going to be all weird, I probably wouldn't have stopped here. You think we're weird? That's not nice. Uh, you're I mean, weird. You're kind of normal, but honestly, Nox is a bit weird. Can't argue with you there. No, I'm not. You guys are weird. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and finish out this lookout area. And I'm thinking I can have it like curve over here, maybe. And after we do this, maybe we can even add like a little fence just to make sure no one falls off. That seems smart. I don't know. Jumping off might be the quickest way down. Well, of course, it'd be the quickest way down, but you probably wouldn't survive it, Nox. This is four stories high, like I said earlier. <sighs> Fine. Okay, let me add in these. And I guess while you guys are finishing out some of that, I can grab some of our fences. And oh, what if we use jungle fences? I think those will look nice. Or do you want to use like dark? oak let's do dark oak give it some variety okay well i guess i can place out all these dark oak fences on this side let me just go ahead and add these to the corners and actually we should probably make some of these corners look a little bit different just so it has some shape to it yeah that looks pretty nice and this is gonna be a lookout so we need some chairs for sure oh yeah we definitely do need some chairs so uh what type of chairs do you guys want to add in like super comfy ones duh once you can sit in well yeah you can sit in like uh every chair Knox. are you serious i'm just giving the suggestions i found the perfect ones oh wait you found the perfect chairs. Well, what did you find, Zoe? I found these dark oak ones, and they look super comfy. You found dark oak chairs? And, oh, yeah, these do look super comfy. Can they be red? No, they only come in dark oak. Yeah, sorry, Nox. I guess you're not going to get a bunch of chairs. Hey, it looks like I can climb up this. You can climb up this? And yeah, these are vines, but you probably don't want to get up there. You're a little too clumsy for that. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Huh. Okay, and while you guys are adding some of those chairs, I'm also going to give this thing a little bit of support by adding some fences going down to the ground, because obviously... Honestly, we don't want the whole entire base just to go falling down in the middle of the night. That's a good idea. So let me just stack some of these fences going down. And after I'm done with this side, I could just put one in the middle. And I think this should be enough support. Uh, Nox, what do you think? You're over here, right? Yeah. I mean, they just look like big legs. Well, yeah, they're big legs to make sure nothing falls over. Do you think this is enough support or do you think it'll still fall? Uh I think that should be enough. So you think we need these big poles? They're kind of ugly. I mean, otherwise the base is just going to tilt over. You don't want that, do you, Zoe? Seriously? It would fall over? I thought the tree would help keep it up. Well, I mean, it does help keep it up, but if you get like too big and have too much space, then it's definitely going to fall over. Oh yeah, that would be really bad. Okay, let me just stack out this last quarter. And how's the lookout looking up there, Zoe? Perfect. I have a lot of chairs. Okay, perfect. I mean, chairs are honestly the only thing you need for a lookout, but I think we're going to have to start building some important rooms and i think in the first one we can do is make like a nice kitchen a kitchen that sounds perfect because i'm kind of hungry okay and for the kitchen what do you say we build it on this tree over here this looks like a nice little area yeah let's do it how do we get over there oh well uh yeah i'm gonna have to get us a bridge let me just see uh do you still want to keep the same dark oak theme yeah probably okay well if you want to keep the same dark oak thing that sounds pretty good let me just add some of these into the corner and Knox, what are you doing this looks ugly i thought we were building the bridge yeah we're building a nice bridge this is like an ugly bridge. We don't want that. Uh, fine. Hurry up. Honestly, Dax, you're not being very nice to Knox. But what do you mean? I'm trying to build him a bridge and he's just building ugly. Knox, stop breaking my stuff. I'm helping. No, you're
you're not helping. You're just breaking everything. Ah! See, Zoe, this is why I'm not nice to him. He's breaking all my stuff. You guys need to stop yelling at each other. We're supposed to be working together. Well, I mean, it's mostly him. Mostly him? What do you mean? It's both of you equally. Oh my goodness, whatever. Well, let me just add in the uh, last few things to this. And I probably need some of this jungle wood so it can go up a little bit. And we can probably build the entire kitchen right over here. We need lots of refrigerators. We need an oven. We need food ASAP because I'm starving. Yeah, we do need a lot of stuff for a kitchen. Well, let me just add the last few things to this bridge and then I guess we can get start building that. Okay, well, let me just start building out the base of our kitchen. And uh, how big do you guys want this thing to be? Super big, like the biggest room I've ever seen in your entire life. The biggest room I've ever seen. It's just a kitchen, but it doesn't need to be that big. Yeah, I guess you're right. So maybe just like medium size. Yeah, I want it huge because we get hungry. Well, yeah, I know you get hungry, but we're going to have a lot of fridges and stuff for you guys. Oh, I'm so hungry. Did you hear that noise? Yeah, it was your tummy grumbling, wasn't it? It was! I thought it was thunder. Okay, well, it looks like most of this is actually built out. Uh, let me just make sure this bridge goes in the right direction. And okay, there we go. Everything's gonna stop right here. Let me just get some of these jungle wood so I can build the corners to the kitchen area. I'm gonna do the same. Are we lining it with the fence? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could line it with fence if you think that looks nice. I think it does. Let's do it. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna build out all the pillars in the corner, okay? Sounds good. Let me just add in one over here and then I'll stack it up into this last direction. And you already have all the fence is it okay guys now we're gonna need a bunch of different kitchen stuff that we can throw in here i'm on it let me get some refrigerators and some food and like an oven and a microwave i'm getting a bunch of glass and i light it you're getting a bunch of glass wait why do you want to add in glass this just makes it look ugly no nah, it makes it look like a tree and leaves no well you could just use actual leaves uh zoe what do you think about all this just let him do what he wants he needs to be happy you can't see through leaves well yeah well i mean if you're gonna add glass there we should probably honestly get rid of this bottom layer and then you should just do that and wait no just do it on this wall if you do it everywhere it's gonna look weird no it's supposed to be a tree oh my goodness okay well i guess we don't need any more of these fences anymore let me just help you add in all this glass and i'm thinking zoe's probably getting all the kitchen stuff ready i am and i think we're pretty much done with all the glass this looks good now time to put down some kitchen stuff oh okay well what are you adding it into the kitchen first i'm adding some counters then i'm gonna add some cabinets and some sinks okay that makes sense uh i thought she wanted to keep like the dark oak theme this is like completely different i know we have to have variety oh so you want everything to look different yes each room can have a different wood if we want there's no rules uh okay well i mean i guess if that's what you want to do let me just make sure all the bricks Fridge looks good and walk straight in here. And wow, you added a bunch of these fridges. I know because we have to have a lot of food, which that's what Knox is in charge of. Knox, get some food together to fill the fridge. I will. I'm finishing the roof. Oh, wait, you're finishing the roof? Okay, I can keep doing the roof, Knox, if you want to add in all the food. Uh, okay, let me just add in a few more of these quarters. And then I can just drop down here to fill that up. And okay, perfect. I think the roof is basically done. And wow, this looks like a really nice kitchen, Zoe. Thanks. I'm trying super hard, but I'm just trying to get some last minute things. So I could put it all together. Okay. And wait, you even have little ovens over here. Could you actually put stuff in there? And oh yeah, you can. Exactly. We can make pies and like cakes and maybe even some lasagna. Let me see. Can I actually put a cake inside there? Oh yeah, there is a cake inside there. Okay. That is kind of cool. And it looks like you added a bunch of boxes and like some huge burgers. And what is this middle part supposed to be? This is going to be our kitchen island slash table. So I'm just adding some chairs. Okay. And we also have like a microwave, a nice little coffee maker and salt and pepper and it looks like Knox is adding a bunch of stuff inside of these. And ew, you can't put bacon cheeseburger inside a cabinet. That's gross. Why not? Well, because it's gross. You can't put like a warm food inside the cabinet. That's just weird. No, it's reheated. It's in plastic. Uh, okay. Well, uh, what do you think, Zoe? I think we can do whatever we want. This is our house. Okay, then. Well, I mean, I guess you can do whatever you want. And Knox, what is this epic bacon thing? I don't know, but it looked tasty. I mean, honestly, you're not even lying. It does look pretty good. Hey, guys, what do you think for the base over here? We like put some glass on the floor that way you can see outside glass on the floor won't that hurt our feet uh no it's not gonna hurt your feet why would it hurt your feet this is glass on the floor you're not supposed to step on glass well yeah but like you're strong enough right i'm sure Knox could do it i just don't want to break it underneath me no 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 it's not gonna break this is like super super strong glass whatever you say what if there's like a hole what if there's like a hole what do you mean why would there be a hole i don't know what if it breaks at one point nobody tells anybody and then i fall through like i just did well you broke it yourself you can't actually break it otherwise i don't know Look, I promise you, Docs, it's super, super strong glass. You're going to be okay. I bet.
better be. I think this looks super good now that you did it. Yeah, this is a really nice kitchen. I think everything's added in pretty nice. Let me just check all the fridges and oh my gosh, most of these are like cookie cakes and milk. Yeah, cookies go with milk. I mean, that is pretty good. Honestly, I do like that idea. Okay, guys, we need to start building the next room. Uh, let's see what's something fun we could build. Does anyone have any cool ideas? Let's make me a bedroom. Yeah, where's my bedroom? Oh yeah, why don't we all just make our own individual bedrooms? That could be nice. Sounds good. I bet you mine's gonna be so much better than y'all's. No, I bet my bedroom is gonna be the best. Mine's gonna be big and red, so that makes it the best. No way. You know what? Why don't we all have a competition to see who can build the best bedroom? Sounds good. Mine's gonna be on this little tree right here. Okay, yours are gonna be there. Uh, I think I'm gonna put mine on this tree over here. And I'm gonna be up there. You're gonna be up there? Oh, up on this top tree? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start putting that bridge going in this direction for myself, and I'm guessing at the end, we could all just make the bridges go together. Sounds good. Okay, well, for my room, let me just start making the ground of it. So I'm gonna use the same exact jungle wood and it'll make it pretty big. Hey, uh, Zoe, how big are you making your bedroom? I don't know, like 20 blocks by 50 blocks. 20 blocks by 50 blocks. Do you even know how big that is? I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna need a big room. Do you actually have that much stuff? Yes, I have a lot of stuff. There's a ton of stuff. Does she actually have that much stuff, Nox? Yeah, it's insane. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think mine's gonna be that big. That's honestly a little bit ridiculous. So let me see. What are you doing? And, ew, these ladders look gross, Nox. Well, I don't know how else to get up here. Should I made stairs in the kitchen? That doesn't make any sense. Look, let me give you some really cool ladders. And to help it match all the theme, I can just stack them here. And look, these are dark oak ladders. They look way cooler. Yawn. I'm gonna have to get rid of this bridge because it is kind of encroaching on my space. What, what do you mean you're gonna have to get rid of? You know what? Whatever. It doesn't even matter. I guess I can put the bridge on the other side then. Uh, let me just go ahead and break this out. And since the bridge is gonna have to go this way, since Zoe is messing up everything, I guess I can just turn over here. But I'm not building your guys' bridges anymore. But I'm gonna need help. I don't know how to build a bridge. Well, I guess if you didn't break the bridge in the first place and just ask, then everything would be okay. You are grouchy. I don't know why we asked for your help. Yeah, no kidding. He's being mean. I'm not doing anything. She broke my bridge first. It wasn't my fault. Okay, look. Let me just make my own bridge going out like this, and I can connect it there. Okay, I think my bridge area is basically done and now that the bridge is done i guess i can start adding in the walls hey are you guys building like actual walls or using fences and stuff walls you're using actual walls Knox. what are you doing i'm doing walls okay well i guess everyone's doing walls so i probably have to do the same thing let me just stack up one of these corners and oh wait i don't think the bridge can actually go there because that's where a pillar needs to be uh maybe i'll have the bridge curve in this direction okay that looks a lot better let me just stack up all of these oak planks over here do the same for this side and then finally i'll fill in the very opposite side and I can add in all the walls. And let me just see what these two are doing. Uh, looks like Zoe's adding a glass and uh, Nox is still making his floor. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep mine looking like a treehouse, and I'm probably gonna stick to using some of these jungle planks. Hey, stop it. I was here first. No, I was here first. Stop it. Oh my gosh. What are you two even arguing about? He keeps putting freaking this ugly orange wood on my room. This is in my place. This is how big is your place? This thing is huge. I told you 20 by 50. Nobody listens to me. Oh my god. Gosh, look, Nox, why don't you just stack up like one more block into the air that everything will be solved? Why doesn't she just stack downward one? Because she was building her place first and it's probably fair. No, it wasn't. I mean, she did start before either one of us. No, she didn't. Yeah, she kind of did. I saw it. Too bad. Oh, whatever. You guys can do what you want. As long as you're not messing with my room, I honestly don't really care. We don't need to mess with your room. Yours is going to look really gross. What, you think my room is going to look really gross? I have like the best room taste ever. Your guys' room is going to look gross. Not too sure about that. Yeah. Well, okay, let me just add in some of these walls and instead of doing it all by hand i think i can just do it with the commands and oh yeah this makes this so much easier now that all that's filled in let's just keep the same theme all the way around by using some of these jungle logs and i'm guessing i need to put all of these sideways just so it matches now i was gonna add in a nice little roof over here with jungle as well but i'm thinking for that i could probably use the jungle leaves just to give it that treehouse feeling so let me break up this bottom layer over here and i'll stack this and the last one is this layer and then i think this area should be all good to go let's just grab some of these jungle leaves i'll start stacking up in the air and zoe honestly why are you using purple that doesn't make it look like a treehouse at all because i love purple and i only care what i like well yeah i know that but you guys wanted this to look like an actual house with like some of the other rooms so you're kind of breaking the theme i'm not breaking the 
theme, you'll see. Okay, and I mean, I guess Nox is kind of doing the same thing. So maybe that's kind of off limits for the rooms. Let's just finish up this room by adding some more of the leaves. And I'm guessing I could probably also put some of the leaves on the outside. Here we go. This is making this look like an actual tree. I'll just fill up this roof section. And wait a second, instead of adding in these actual leaves, why don't I just spawn down a little tree? So all I need to do is just finish up this little section over here, grab some dirt, grab the saplings, and then I should be able to grow them on top. Let's just get some of the dirt we need. I'll grab some of the jungle saplings. And lastly, all I need is a bit of bone meal. Now that I have this, I can just dig this area out, put a tree down here, and look at this. We have our nice little jungle tree on top. At the end of this, let's just make sure to cover this all up because I obviously don't want dirt in my ceiling. And I'm guessing we can plant a few more of these trees as well. Okay, perfect. That's looking really nice. Now let's just add in a bit more leaves so the area is all filled up. And once I'm done with this, I can actually start working on the inside of my whole entire room. It's going to be super cool. Okay, let's just use the proper entrance to get inside of here. And I feel like I need like a little door. Uh, hey, are you guys adding doors to get in? Or are you kind of just walking in? Kind of just walking. I have doors. Okay, you have doors. You're just walking. Well, I think honestly, I'm gonna do the same thing, Zoe, and just walk in because it's a lot easier. Now, first, let me just bring out some of these walls because I do want a little bit of glass I can see on the outside. And whoa, look at this. I can see like the entire ocean from here. And this is where I'm actually gonna keep it my theme of being green. Let me just grab some of these live green blocks. I can stack this. And once I'm done with that, I can add in a few more things of glass on the other walls. I'll add that on this side and I'll give it the same exact dimensions over here. And I think this is honestly enough glass for the room. And the main part of it is just looking at the ocean over there. So this is fine. But I do need to add in a bunch of the things for my room. So let's start grabbing a bunch of the blocks that we need. Okay, so on this back corner with this glass is where my bed's gonna be. And on the side of that, I'm gonna throw in these nice bedside cabinets. Let's make sure to throw some decoration on top of these. Like I gotta add a couple of lamps and I'm pretty sure I also have some fish bowls. And yes, these are perfect. I'll just throw one on each side. And let's see, do I have like a little alarm clock now i don't have any of those things uh what's one more thing i could add on the side and oh maybe i could add like a plushie but see oh i definitely want to use this lime green one let me get that and is there any other cool one that i could use like uh maybe there's like a frog or something okay there we go now i have a frog so let's place the frog over here and i can also place the sheep over here perfect that looks nice now let's make sure to add in the other areas of our room and i'm thinking in this corner over here is where my tv could be so for that let me just add in a couch and maybe i should back this up like one more block since we wanted a space i'll just slant this into the corner make sure both of these sides connect and then i can just grab myself a tv which i can place down on the wall over here here we go i'll just put down some bookshelves on the bottom to make sure the tv actually fits on top and there we go we have our super awesome tv I also feel like I want like a little type of fireplace. Uh, maybe I could throw it in this corner over here. Honestly, we don't really need this glass that much. Let me just add this into the floor. Uh, maybe it should be back one more block where the wall is. And in order to surround this to make sure it doesn't burn everything, I'll just add a bunch of these bricks. Here we go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, let me just stack this up to where the ceiling is. And okay, the fireplace is looking pretty solid. So right now I have the nice bed. I have a nice little living room area. I have a fireplace. And I also want to add in some paintings. So let's just start throwing some of these on the wall. Thinking over there, I could throw like a fish one on uh, this thing above my bed. What would be cool? Is there like a really, really nice one that I could use? And oh, maybe I could use all these little portraits. I could throw like creepers. I could throw some skeletons. And I feel like I saw some other stuff. Oh yeah, I could throw like a little wolf. And wait a second, I need a pet. Let me just grab this wolf and I can spot him down. Now, perfect. Let me just place him on top of his bed. And there he goes. I'm also thinking over here, I could throw in a nice little mirror just so I can make sure I can see myself before I leave. And wow, I look really, really cool as this smiling critter thing and also i'm guessing i could add in a bit of carpet uh let me just place all of this lime green carpet everywhere so it looks kind of cool i'm not gonna put it like completely everywhere i think i'm just gonna stop it right about here but at least you know this whole entire room is meant to be green on this last front step i had a nice little sign that says welcome so people feel welcome when they come in and with that added in i think my room is basically done I'm done. I'm a fish. Oh, okay, perfect. If all of you guys are done, we need to check each other's rooms so we can give them a grade. So whose place do we want to look at first? Come check out mine first. Uh, wait a second. So we kind of have a problem. It says no boys allowed. So how are we supposed to get in there? I guess you can just observe from the outside. What? No, we're coming in, right, Knox? Yeah, I'm just gonna break the door. I'm just kidding with you. You can come in. Why did you break the door? All you had to do was hit the button. Oh, it's a button. I didn't see that. You are such a ding 
Dong. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even see the button either. Sorry, sorry. That's because I don't want freaking weirdos coming into my room. Wow, it's uh purple. Exactly, because purple's my favorite color, duh. Well, I mean, it is very, very, very purple. And I don't really like this that much because it makes it look a little bit different than the tree house. That's because it's my room. It's supposed to stand out. But anyways, this is my little living room with my TV. And then if you come up here, here's my bed. Let's see it. Whoa, you have a giant bed. And ow, I hit my head on the ceiling. Me too. That's just because you have big ears. Oh, yeah. I guess my ears are kind of a little bit big, but I like this bedroom a lot. You have this nice little TV here and you also have this nice little fish tank. Wait, did you get this fish tank idea from me? No, how would I have gotten it from you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you like heard me or something. I'm nowhere even near your room. Okay, fair enough, I guess, but I kind of like your room. This is pretty cool. Thank you. Okay, well, we've checked out Zoe's room, so who are we going to check out next? Mine or Nox's? Nox's! All right, come on, this way. Uh, Zoe, you're getting points off because uh, you don't have a door. <laughs> That's not my fault. All right, up this way. Wait, what? You don't even need a door. I don't have a door in my place. Yeah, you do. Whatever. All right, be careful on the... Be careful on here. You kind of go really fast. What in the world is this? It's candy cane. But why does it make you go so fast, though? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm getting dizzy. I am, too. That's a little bit dangerous, Nox. What if I, like, fell into the wall or something? Yeah, but think of how nice it would be. Be like, man, I have to walk all the way from here over there to get to my bed. I could just go whoop and get to my bed. Yes, that's kind of cool, but I feel like it gets boring really fast. No way. It's awesome, especially if I get a really good running start and I fly into it. Bang! I'm out of here. Uh, okay. And I see you also gave yourself like a nice little PC area. Yep. And I got fish too, but not a puffer fish because those are lame. Oh yeah. I think I actually have puffer fish like Zoe too. All right, losers. And we were watching the same TV show somehow. Oh yeah. This is pretty cool. We're on the same wavelength. Oh gosh. It, uh, Nox, I accidentally picked up your TV. Whoa, put it down. Oh gosh. Uh, let me just, uh, put it down. Uh, God, ah, yeah, put it down. There you go. It's an OLED. Be careful. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pick it up. I'm going to have to give you some points off because your TV's on the ground tv's on the ground tv's on the ground what you gonna do with your tv's on the ground uh nox i think you're the one losing points what yeah she said your tv's on the ground so obviously you're the one losing points yeah but i sang a fun song i guess the song kind of makes up for it that was pretty funny honestly i like zoe's room better sweet i won no no you didn't win yet you still have to check out my room Aww. Okay, everyone walk right this way. Come up to the bridge and uh, make sure to walk off your grimy feet on this welcome mat. Okay, let me wipe my feet. Okay, should be good. Whoa, you have a dog? No way! Yep, I have a dog. Well, look, let me give you guys the whole tour of this place. What the dog doing? Uh, He's just sitting there right now. If you attack him, he's going to bite you, though, so don't even touch him. There's a frog. Hi, cute little... Ow! He bit me! Yeah, I told you. You don't mess with him. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Who is that beautiful lady? Oh, yeah, I did add a little mirror. That way you could see yourself when you're leaving. I look gorgeous oh my goodness what a great reminder who's this beautiful lady right here uh wait are you talking about the frog yeah uh this is a plushie nox what are you what are you talking about but she has such nice eyes uh okay nox well i think you can actually uh just uh get out of here okay okay yeah i don't really uh want you in my room anymore but uh zoe i'll give you the tour of everything give me the tour over here i have a nice little tv obviously you can just relax here and watch whatever whoa he's watching the same show as us too we all love that show and over here, I have a fireplace. I know we're living in a treehouse, but this is like super secure brick. So nothing will ever catch on fire here. That seems a little sketchy. No, nah, it's not dangerous at all. I promise you. And obviously I have my nice bed. And look, I have a whole view of the ocean. Isn't it so beautiful? That is a super good view. Better than mine for sure. I don't like swimming, so I don't care about that. Well, I didn't say you had to swim. You could just look at the water. And wait, Zoe, what? Did you just break that? No, it looks like you have a piece missing. I literally just saw you in the mirror. Stop breaking my stuff just because your room sucked. I forgot there was a mirror. Okay, guys. Well, we have to give each other ratings for our room. So what do you want to do? I give my room a 10 out of 10. No, you can't rate your old room. You have to rate someone else's. How about you rate Nox's? Nox's will rate mine and I'll rate yours. Oh, okay. Well, Nox did sing that super cool song. So I think I'm going to have to give him like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll take an 8 out of 10. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, Nox, now you have to give me my score. I'll give you a 3 out of B. A 3 out of B? Wait, what does that even mean? Whoa, that's a great score. Uh, Wait, what do you mean that's a great score? I don't even know what a 3 out of B means. Last time I got a 4 out of C and that was so bad. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the last score to give is Zoe's and uh, Zoe, I'll just give you a, uh, I'll give you a seven out of 10. What? I didn't do better than Knox. You told me you liked my more. 
more. Oh, wait. No, I meant, uh, I meant a 9 out of 10. Sorry. I got confused. Oh, yeah. But that means I'm still the loser. You won, Dax. Uh, yeah. I don't really know how I won, but I guess if I won, that's cool. Good for you. Congrats. Yeah, good job. Okay, guys. Well, now we're done with our bedrooms. Uh, I think we need to add a couple more things to our build. Like what? Well, we have the rooms. We have the kitchen. Uh, we have a nice little viewing area. Let me think. What's something else we could add in? We need something at the very highest point up there. Something at the very highest point. Well, what do you want to put up there? The bathroom. Oh, yeah. We don't even have a bathroom. Wait, you want to put the bathroom all the way up there, though? I don't want near my house. So we climb super high whenever we have to go to the bathroom. Well, why don't I just make us like a new tree over here so that way it's in no one's bedroom? Okay, I guess you're right. Okay, so let me grab some of this dirt. I'll grab myself a nice little jungle tree. And uh, how big do we want to make this? Like 20 by 50. 20 by 50. Okay, that's honestly a little bit ridiculous, Zoe. Why is it ridiculous? We need a big bathroom. Because it's a bit big. And wait a second, Knox, for this, this is where we could actually have the elevator at. And in the bathroom? Yeah, we could have like a nice little elevator because it's going to be the highest point of our build. So obviously we don't have to climb up there. Yeah, but what if stuff's coming down as you're going up? What if stuff's coming down? Wait, what do you... No, it's not going to be like that. There's going to be like a door going to the bathroom. Okay, I guess if it works out, it works out. Look, I'll show you how it's going to work. First, let me just get some bow bills so I can grow these trees. And once these are built, I can start building out where our elevator is going to be. Hey. Okay, uh, look, Zoe, can you actually go back over there real quick so I can build this? Yeah. I guess so. I just wanted to watch. Okay, let's see. So we could probably go like elevator right inside of here and we have to make it go all the way up to the top. So let's get rid of all of these blocks and I can start building that out. Now for the elevator, just to make sure we all know that it's a different block, I'm going to make it entirely out of dark oak planks. Next, I'll grab the elevator blocks that we need and I can put the little display over here and there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty good. Now let me just add this to the top to make sure everything connects nicely. All I have to do is break out all of these leaves because obviously we don't need these anymore and once i'm done breaking the leaves i can add in our last display over here and let me make sure all the dimensions are right it should be like a two by two thing and let me just test this out and look at this guys we have an elevator that is so cool you are so smart yeah honestly it is pretty fancy but oh gosh yeah just to make sure no one falls off maybe i should add some stuff down here and maybe i should also throw in, like some glass on the side hey Knox, come on let's go do it uh okay i mean i guess you guys can go up first Yay! that was so fun Wait, how'd you just fall off? Ow! Oh my goodness. How are you two even falling off? It doesn't even make any sense. That was not safe at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm still adding in the glass. Didn't you look at it? No, the glass is clear. I thought I was walking straight into glass, but I just walked into air. Oh my goodness. Look, let me just finish making the safety measures and then we should be good. I'll just add it to this bottom side over here. Set all that to be glass. And I'm guessing I probably also need some glass at the front since you guys are a bit clumsy. Us? Clumsy? No way. Yeah, the both of you guys are pretty clumsy and i don't want to get in trouble for like anyone getting hurt yeah we'd hate to have to eat you no 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 you guys aren't gonna eat me i built your house after all yeah but we're still deciding yeah you're a clum you called him a plum i call him a clum because he said we're clumsy and i said he's just a clum oh i thought you called him a plum like a peach oh maybe maybe that's how it's made yeah you're plumsy clumsy okay i think all the safety measures are basically built in let me just test out this elevator ah. and come on zoe oh my gosh you can't just jump off Knox. can we get like two elevators or something like this is dangerous what no you're only getting one elevator i'm not building you guys two of them what's the weight limit on that thing ah! stop falling off how do you keep falling and uh there is no weight limit you can be as heavy as you want i think i just broke my leg oh my goodness okay guys i'm gonna start building out the bathroom portion and i'm thinking we can make it on this tree over here but we're probably gonna need like two different sides right or should we only have one no we need a girl side and a boy side i'm not gonna be using the same bathroom as you two yeah and corey drops big dumps so you better be careful what are you even talking about you're the one who clogs the pipe I don't. Uh, okay. Well, Zoe, I guess if you're going to build your own, you can probably do that. Me and Knox can build ours over here. Okay. Mine's going to be on this side. Okay, Knox, let's start making out our bathroom. And I want to make it probably a little bit big. So I think this is probably big enough where this platform is. What do you think? That's pretty good. We're going to need a lot of ventilation too. Yeah, we definitely are. Uh, okay. Let me just add in a door to make sure we can both get inside. And then I'll close this up with some more of these juggle planks. Now, so are we just going to box it off and then just squat off the side? Or like, how is this going to work? No, it's going to be like an actual bathroom you disgusting bear thing what are you even talking about you're a disgusting bunny thing well no i'm actually making a bathroom you want to be like a weirdo uh-uh that's what you're supposed to do oh my goodness well whatever and zoe why are you even building it like that you literally had an area over here this is my area i need a bigger area uh okay well i guess you can do that look Knox, i'm gonna add in the roof and then once i'm done with this i can start building out the actual
practical bathroom since you don't know how to do it. Like I said, her dumps are huge. That's why she needed such a big area. Okay, let's just fill in this last corner with some of these jungle planks. And once we're done with that, we can probably also throw in a nice little roof. And are you adding in glass knocks? Yeah. Well, why do you want to be able to see outside? Isn't that kind of bad? Well, it's relaxing, and especially if you're going up against a tough one. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, as long as no one's like behind us, it's probably okay. Okay. And actually what we're going to do, Nox, is throw in some shutters just in case there is anyone outside. We could just like turn them all on or turn them all off. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let me just add in this and I'll throw in the last few over here. And oh yeah, I guess we're going to have to get rid of this section, but this should be pretty nice. I'm adding some fans. Oh yeah. I guess fans are probably a great idea. Okay. I'm going to grab some of the bathroom stuff. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to add is like the toilet over here and probably on this opposite side is where we can add like the little bath. And oh yeah, we probably also need like a shower, right? Yeah. We need a shower. I put a whole bunch of toilet paper. Okay. Let me just see. Uh, do we have any type of cool showers? And oh yeah, this is like the perfect shower. Let me just put this next to this. And I probably also need like a nice little shower head. I put down a sink. You're putting down a sink. Oh, okay. I actually had a couple sinks. Uh, where do you want to throw that at? Uh, I'm thinking, well, I'm trying to put it down right here. I don't think I can. So probably like right here. Well, maybe we could do to actually give us a bit more space is make all of this to jungle planks. And then that other part can be all the glasses. I guess so. Let me just set all this to be zero. That way we could break that. And now I can start throwing in some of the sinks on this side. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. And we probably only need two of them since it's only me and you, right? Yeah, there's only like one toilet. Okay. I'll throw in like some hand dryers over here. Uh, we probably also need some more stuff. And wait, these mirrors are pretty lame. Do you want to use some better mirrors? Do you have better mirrors? Yeah, of course I have better mirrors. Look, let me just uh, grab these and I can break this out. And look, now you can actually see yourself. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And I do want a couple shelves for our bathroom. Uh, so maybe what I could do is grab some of these jungle blocks and I can just place two of them here. And this is where we can put like our toothbrush and stuff. So let me grab one of these two oh. brushes. And oh gosh, Nox, what are you doing? We had a pipe burst. What in the world are you trying to do over here? We need some relaxing water sounds. You need some relaxing water sounds? Well, why do you want to throw that there? I don't know. Look, let me show you how to do this. And oh my gosh, that's not how you do that. Might be kind of cool. Well, let's see. Look, look, look. If you want to make something like that, you probably need to like break two of these areas up. And you still have that water bucket, right? Yeah. Okay, look, just uh, come back through here. Oh gosh, wait, where'd you even go? I'm down here. I fell. You fell. Look, just come back up through here. And now you should be able to place the water on that top block that I just made. And look, there you go. Now the water is all ready. Isn't that much nicer? Yeah. I can come in here and just pee if I need to. Uh, no, you can't use that. You're going to have to use this. That's gross. Why? Because it's not meant for that. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Why can't I? No, you can't do that. If you want to share this bathroom with me, you can't do that. <sighs> Lame. And honestly, Nox, I think we're pretty much done. I think this place looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're about done. I'm all done. Oh, wait. Okay, Zoe, if you're done too, uh, can we actually check out your side first? Sure. Come on in. Let's see it. Oh, did you uh make these signs right here? No. What do the signs say? Well, it just says boys. And it also says girls, but they're kind of spelled wrong. Yeah, it's spelled wrong. Well, I know how to spell and I know one person that doesn't. Oh gosh. And it looks like uh, someone just broke your doors. I did that. They were frustrating me. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. And oh, I see you also added a mirror. This is nice. Yeah, it's super nice. And I have this big bathtub and I have a couple sinks with lots of towels and I have a little toilet over here. But my favorite part is, is when you're in the bathtub, you can watch TV. Oh, that's so cool. Knox, why did we add in a TV? You should probably break the glass up here just because, you know, when you're pinching a loaf, it's probably going to get really stinky back in here. I don't even want to talk to him anymore, Dax. Yeah, he's a little bit weird, but hey, I think your bathroom looks pretty nice. Thank you. Now show me yours. Okay, look, come right this way. And uh, I didn't add this out here. That's just in case if you want to stay outside. Oh, um, okay. Well, I guess you can do whatever you want. Come right this way, Zoe. Wow, this is a super nice bathroom. Is this an oven? Oh, no, this is an oven. This is a washing machine in case you want to wash your clothes. Oh, that's pretty smart. Oh, I thought it was an oven too. No, it's not an oven. It's a washing machine. Okay, but look at this. We also have a really nice area with some nice glass outside. And we also added in blinds just in case you don't want to be seen in here or anything. I love those. I need to include blinds next time. We also added a nice shower over here so you can just hop inside and get clean. And yeah, this is like a pretty nice bathroom. It's pretty basic though. Zoe, I wouldn't go in there. Why? Is this a water elevator? Uh, that's a urinal. No, it's not a urinal. Did you actually pee in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I told you not to do that. She was the one in there. That's gross. I am so sorry, Zoe. I told him not to do that. I need to leave as soon as possible. I can't stand being around him. Oh my gosh, Nox, look what you did. Now she's all mad. What do you mean? I used our bathroom. Oh my god. Oh, no! I'm going back down the elevator. Did you just jump? Yeah, I fell. You know what, Nox? I think you've done enough. Honestly, I don't even want to add in anything else. I think the treehouse looks pretty good how it is. Me too. It has everything we could possibly need. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, since I built you guys this super awesome treehouse, do you still think you're going to eat me? No, I think that will keep you around. And since 
since you already have a room, you can stay with us. Yeah, you can live with us. Oh, perfect. Okay, I can live with you guys, but uh, wait, can you guys uh, morph me back to normal? I don't want to look like this forever. No, you have to stay like that. And you have to pay rent. Yeah, there's no way to change it back, actually. Wait, what? Are you serious? I'm stuck like this? Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle, but secretly, I'll be able to combine any Poppy Playtime mobs. Well, okay, are you guys ready for this Poppy Playtime mob battle? Heck yeah, I am. I'm excited. I want to be on your team. Okay, how does that sound, Docs? Me and Zoe will be on the same team, and uh, I guess you can be balling by yourself. That's fine. Okay, come on, Zoe. Let's go over to our side. Nox, you're going to have five minutes for your mob, so good luck. Good luck to you, too. So, Dax, who do you want to spawn in? Kicking, Bunzo, Dog Days, Miss Delights. I have to know. Uh, Well, honestly, Zoe, I have an even better idea than doing any of those. What is it? What we could do is make a combining machine. Basically, this will make it so whatever two mobs we put on either side will combine to be one super cool mob. That sounds awesome, but how do you make a combining machine? Well, I'm going to need to get some different blocks and probably like some lasers and redstone and stuff, but this shouldn't take me that long to make. Okay, Zoe, so what I'm thinking we can start off with making the base of this combining machine, and I think we need to go about seven blocks deep and probably more like 13 blocks in this direction. Okay, I'll help you build. Yeah, and once we do this, we just have to do a bunch of reinforced glass on the outside. We can't use normal glass, otherwise everything's just going to kind of explode. Yeah, reinforced glass is like super strong. Yeah, it's way stronger than normal glass, so can you go ahead and fill in all the inside with smooth stone, and I'll start putting all of the reinforced glass on the outside. Sounds good. Okay, let me just stack around this wall, and how far did I go up? About five blocks deep. Okay, once I get this high, I should be able to do this as a command. Let me just grab one of my special wands. Then I can select two of these corners. Oh gosh, wait, I gotta make the bottom layer first. Okay, now the bottom layer is done. All I need to do is select one corner over here, select this other side, and then I think I can run the command stack up for it. Yes, look at that. All the glass instantly got filled in. That was so fast. Now what's next? Well, I actually want to make this like one more block tall, but probably on the top, we should have added some smooth stone. We don't want anything to kind of like explode and having a solid block like smooth stone is probably the best option. So smooth stone's like super strong? I mean, I think smooth stone's pretty strong. Okay, so you can fill in that side. I'll fill in this side over here. And once we're done with this, we can start adding in like the lasers and like the super cool doors and stuff. Okay, the next thing you want to do is make the walls on the inside. And since we're gonna have two different sides for multiple different mobs. I just need to stack it all up in the middle. Don't we need a door right here? Oh yeah, we're gonna need a door too. Uh, let me just stack these blocks up first. And does that cover the top? No, I think I need to go up one more. So we'll do six. And then yeah, we can just throw like a nice little door over here. And oh yeah, I guess iron doors are probably better than me using a normal wooden door. Exactly. And I'm gonna add some stairs. So it's easier for us to walk them up. Okay, you go ahead and do that. And since it's an iron door, we probably need like a button or a lever to get inside. Let me just grab a couple levers that I can put on each of them. I'll just place this one right above and i'll do the same exact thing over on this side okay zoe now that we have all of these doors inside we're gonna have to add in the lasers that actually make everything connect lasers but won't that kill the mobs oh no it's not gonna kill the mobs at all these are like special lasers this is only meant for combining stuff seriously that is so cool so let me just place a laser down here and okay i think they can only go up about this high but honestly that still should be pretty good you'll place them all in the corners and okay this side's looking really good now i need to do it to the other side over there okay there we go i added in the last few corners now so we, in the middle we're gonna need to put a pedestal because once the bobs combine it's basically gonna give us a spawn egg that we're gonna be allowed to use that's gonna be so cool okay so you can just put that there now let me make sure to put down a little lever right here that we could use and i also need to run redstone connected to all of these little lasers over here so let's just grab some redstone dust i can place it down on the floor connecting to this first laser connected to the big lever and now we should be pretty much good to go zoe and i already have an idea for the first thing that we should use seriously what is it well i think that we should use crafty corn and picky pigs. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, Zoe. So on this side over here, let's go ahead and put down picky pigs. And whoa, look at picky pigs. They look so cool. And they're super pink. Yeah, they are super pink. Okay, on the other side, we're gonna use crafty cores. And then once we're ready, we can press that lever in the middle and then we should get a spawn egg right there on the pedestal. Ooh, I wanna flick the lever. Okay, go ahead and flick the lever. Let's see what it does. And oh my goodness, Zoe, look at that. We have a spawn egg on our pedestal. And it's purple. This is awesome. Do you think that we should call it Crafty Pigs or Picky Corn? Mm, crafty Pigs or Picky Corn. Honestly, I like Crafty Pigs. It sounds a little bit more unique. It does sound pretty unique. Let's see what it is. It's Crafty Pigs. Wait, it says Crafty Pigs. Are you serious? Yes, that's awesome. Oh, this is so perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn this down and let's see what our combining machine ended up doing. And oh gosh, Zoe, that's terrifying. She's beautiful. I love her so much. Uh, this is honestly a little bit scary. I don't know how I feel about this thing. You 
you can't be scared, but maybe if it scares you, that means it's going to scare Nox's team too. Oh yeah, that's completely true. It probably will scare Nox's team. Okay, Zoe, how about you go ahead and grab it spawning and I'll spawn a few on this side and you can probably do the same thing over there. Sounds good. Let's spawn in like a million of them. Well, Zoe, I think our army's pretty much ready to go. What do you think? Yeah, our army's perfect. You better call Nox. Okay, Nox, I think me and Zoe's side is basically already ready to go for this first round. How's your army looking? That looks great. I'm ready to win this round. Well, we're totally going to destroy you. Let's see what happens whenever the walls drop down. All right, drop them. And what the heck? Wait, why are your poppies so big, Nox? Ah, uh, they're always that big. What do you mean? They're always this big, Zoe. These are not always this big. Do you see how big they are? Yeah, they're like as big as your mom. What, <laughs> you can't say that about me, Zoe. Uh, I was talking about Nox's mom. Uh, what the heck are your moms? What the heck are these things? They're gross looking. Uh, these are a bunch of crafties and piggies. And yeah, they're like a combination of the two. They're an ultra special mob. Did you fuse them? Uh, no, we didn't fuse them. We're just smarter than you. I don't know. What's this big machine right here? Oh, uh, this big machine is uh, nothing, Nox. There's no need for no worry. Just worry about the fight, okay? I'm trying to worry about the fight. Yeah, it's a combining machine, duh. Uh, so you can't just tell them that we're using a combining machine. Are you serious? Nox is doesn't have a big vocabulary. He doesn't know what combining means. Uh, like combining, like as in like put two and two together? No, like combining, like when you comb your hair, it just groomed our mobs. Oh. Well, it kind of looks like all your poppies got taken out pretty quickly, Doc. Ah, my poppies. So you're probably gonna want to spot us something better for the next round. All right, I'll definitely win next round. And now that I know you guys have combs, I'm gonna get a comb too. Zoe, that was so easy. We completely destroyed Nox in that first round. Yeah, the Crafty Pigs demolished his mobs. Wait, what's this over here? Oh, wait, what are you talking about? It, oh my goodness, Zoe, I completely forgot I had this in the corner. What is it? It just says glass. Well, basically this thing right here will turn our whole entire wall into one way glass so we can see on Nox's side. Seriously, you've had that the whole time and you didn't use it? Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot. Look, let me just go ahead and click it and look at that. We can see right on his side. Ha, <laughs> there's Nox right there in his dumb red hat. Yeah, he looks completely stupid, but hey, now that we have this one way glass, Last, we can see what he's gonna spawn in. Da, 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 da. Planting flowers, planting flowers, and wait a second. For the mob battle, I could use Daisy. Wait, what? He spawned in a flower, Zoe? Are you serious? Yeah, Daisy isn't even that strong. Oh my goodness. I can't believe he actually used something that bad. So we're going to have like the perfect thing to counter this guy. Seriously, what's your plan? Well, we did use Crafty Corm and Picky Pigs for the first round. So maybe we could keep using the Smiling Critters and use like Bubba and Bobby. That's a great idea. Okay, so, so over here, we're going to spawn down Bobby. Let me just put him down. And yes, look at that. He looks so cool. Bobby actually creeps me out so bad. Yeah, I mean, he is a little bit creepy. But honestly, I think that Bubba is way more creepy than him. Seriously? Bubba isn't even that scary. Bubba's kind of cute. What? Just look at him. He has like that big creepy nose and I don't like the way his ears look and he's blue. I don't really like the color blue that much. He's an elephant, Dax. He has to have a nose like that. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and flick this lever and let's see what we end up getting. Uh, and Zoe, look at that. It looks like we got another spawn egg. That's crazy. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I bet it's going to be like super cool. Do you think it's going to be better than the last rounds? I hope so. Let me just grab those spot egg and see and yes look at this it says bobby and bubba seriously bobby and bubba this is awesome okay let me just go ahead and spawn this back here and let's see what it looks like and whoa wait this one looks way crazier than the last rounds yeah this is like best case scenario because bobby's head freaks me out but bubba's head is cute yeah and it looks like it made it like half and half and oh my god Goodness, Zoe, do you see the way this guy walks around? It's like he's halfway broken. Oh, no. I wonder if that'll slow him down when the battle starts. Well, hopefully not. I mean, Nox did just spot in some flowers, so we still should be good, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, honestly, Zoe, I think our army's looking pretty good. What else should we even do? I have no idea. Good thing I found this size changer. I'm going to use that on my daisies this round, too. Wait, did he just say he's going to use a size changer on his daisies, too? What is this thing going to do? And oh, my goodness, Zoe, do you see how big they got? They're like a million feet tall. This is not good. <laughs> They're so big. They're definitely going to win this round. What in the world? And wait a second. So wait, did this guy get pushed through the wall over here? Is he on our side now? They did. This is not 
good. Let me get a mob killer. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. We don't want any of these stupid flowers on our side, but what are we supposed to do? These guys on Nox's side are way too big. I know. What do you think we should do? <laughs> I think I'm all ready to go, guys. Are you guys ready? Oh, uh, Nox, no, honestly, we're not ready yet. I think we need a couple more minutes, okay? Yeah, we need more time. Too bad. Drop the walls. Wait, what do you mean too bad? And what, Nox, you just dropped the walls down. Get a flower power. This is not good. Oh, no, Zoe, we weren't prepared. At all our people are totally getting crushed by these dumb flowers. I think they're all gone already. We lost. Wait, we still have this one guy. Come on. And up oh, he got taken out too. What in the world, Nox? <laughs> Team Flower Power wins. Sorry, losers. Dex, how did this happen? I have no idea. Nox, you can't just drop the walls until we're ready. That's cheating. No, it's not. You guys are definitely ready. I saw your mobs. Uh, whatever. And wait, how in the world could you see our mobs? What are you talking about? They were already out here. Your mobs were out. Uh, okay. Then let's just move on to the next round, okay? We're keeping our eye on you, Nox. All right, that's fine. Zoe, I can't believe we lost it. How did Nox even know we spawned in? That doesn't make any sense. Honestly, I think Nox is cheating. Wait, you think Nox is cheating? Well, how can he be cheating? We have this huge one-way glass wall. We've seen everything he's been doing. I know, but do you remember those two flowers came over? I bet you those were spies. Oh, wait a second. They could have been spies. Oh, why did we think about that? I don't know, but if he's cheating, that means we have to cheat harder. Yeah, exactly. And I think the first thing we should do is just try Try to see what he's going to spot it for this round. So let's just use our glass. <laughs> Good thing I had those flowers go over there telling what they were doing. All right. I'm going to spot in this delight for this round. Oh, no. He spotted in this delight. Wait, did you hear that? He confirmed that those guys were spies, Zoe. He is such a cheater, and I don't want to look anymore because I'm afraid of Miss Delight. Yeah, honestly, they're a little bit creepy. Well, what do you just say? I just put the bedrock back up, okay? That sounds good. Well, since we can't see through the wall anymore, I kind of already had an idea, and I don't really feel like changing it. What is it? I think we should spot in Kissy Missy and Huggy Wuggy and see what it ends up making. That sounds awesome. Yeah, they're both really, really creepy. So I guess on this side, I can spot in Kissy Missy and oh my goodness, Zoe, look how creepy she looks. I don't like her eyes at all. Honestly, I love Kissy Missy. She's so tall and she's beautiful. What in the world? Are you serious? You actually like Kissy Missy? Yes. Well, to be honest, Huggy Wuggy kind of looks exactly the same, except he's blue. Yeah, he's the boy version of Kissy Missy. Kissy Missy's so much better. Well, whatever. It doesn't really make a difference which one is better. I'm going to go ahead and hit our lever, and let's see what it ends up making. And look at that, Zoe. It looks like we got a brand new spawn egg. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be more Kissy Missy or more Huggy Wuggy. What do you think? Um, it's probably going to be like an even distribution of both of them. Really? Kind of like how Bobby and Bubba were? Look, it says Huggy Missy. Oh, it says Huggy Missy. Okay, well, that means Huggy Wuggy's first, so maybe it's more Huggy Wuggy. Maybe. I can't wait to see it. Okay, well, let me just spawn them down right over here. And what the what? This thing is terrifying. This is like the worst case scenario. Why does it have two heads? Oh, my goodness. And Zoe, look at the way this thing walks around. This is honestly the scariest thing ever. Why'd you let me use these two? I do not want to look at it, Dex. Oh, this is so bad. But hey, maybe because they have two heads, they're going to be strong wrong or something, right? Yeah, maybe it's like the power of two mobs, but in one. I, and I think my house is about done. Uh, wait a second, Zoe. Did Noxus say his house is about done? What do you think that means? I don't know. Let's go ahead and press the one-way glass. And what the what? This guy built a house on his side? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Well, why would he build a house? What's the point of this? I don't know, but he has too much time on his hands. Yeah, honestly, he does have too much time. And wait a second, Zoe, since he built a new house, what do you say we go over there and prank him? Let's do it. And Zoe, in order to prank him, I just made us both super, super small. So now we can go over there and he won't even see us. This is insane. How do we sneak over though? Well, all I'm thinking we need to do is just like break through this wall and then we can just replace it, right? Uh, yes, but look, it's Miss Delight. I'm so scared of her. Yeah, Miss Delight is totally creepy. And ow, she just stepped on my face, Zoe. That's not good. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Ugh, I don't like these people at all. They have that like super big creepy axe on them. And she has those big feet. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But hey, what do you say we fly up to this window and see what Nox is doing inside of his house? Sounds good. He'll just think we're little bugs. Okay, let me see. And uh, what in the world is he placing down? Like some lamps? Oh my gosh. He has time to furnish his new house. This is insane. Ah, these lamps look really good. I like it. I wish they were red though because blue is kind of an ugly color. Ha, huh, but the house is coming together really nice. I like all my paintings. Okay, well, his house does look kind of cool, Zoe, but what do you say we change it up a little bit? How do 
you want to do that? Well, basically, I'm going to select both of the sides of this wall, and then we can select it to be whatever block we want. Do you have any cool ideas? Oh, my gosh. You should totally make it purple. Oh, yeah, we could definitely make it purple. But wait, can I throw in a little bit of green so it's kind of like the both of us? Sure, that sounds good. So let me just type in this command, and look at that, Zoe. The whole house changed. This is awesome. It's purple and green, but I wonder if that means that he's going to know it was us. Yeah, what the heck happened to my house? Oh, and it looks like he's totally freaking out inside. This is so funny. It's green and purple. Wait a second. I know two people that have green and purple. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. So wait, make sure to hide. We can't have them catch us. I'm on top of the house. What about you? Oh, yeah. I guess I can come up there, too. And oh, my gosh. He just ran right next to me. Seriously? He didn't even notice. Gak, Zoe, are you guys invisible or something? Uh, no, Nox. What are you talking about? Why would we be invisible? We're working on our own army. Right, Zoe? Yeah, we're visible. Well, my house just turned green and purple. Wait, your house turned green and purple. Are you sure about that? Yes, it did. I uh, hate those colors, and I know you two like it. So, wait, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and undo everything. Let me just type in this command. It knocks. I don't think your house is like that at all. Why would we do that? What the heck? It's brick now. What just happened? All this keeps changing. I don't like it. This is so funny. Wait, Nox, did you say your house is uh, brick again? Maybe you just can't see very well. It's been brick the whole time. How would you know it's been brick the whole time? Well, because you said it was brick earlier, uh, right, Zoe? Yeah, you said it was made out of brick. I said that by myself. I was talking to my mobs. How would you hear that? Uh, I don't really know what you're talking about, Nox, but we're going to go back to our army. Uh, just don't worry about anything, okay? Go back to your army? Wait a second. Are you two here? No, no, no. We're not over here. We just meant we're going to focus on our army instead of talking to a Dumbo like you. Uh-huh. Oh, man, Zoe, that was way too close. He almost caught on to us. Yeah, we got to go, Dax. Well, wait, I think we can do one more thing before we leave, just so we can do something for the round. Okay, what do you want to do? Why don't we replace all this brick to be TNT? That way, when the walls drop, we can just light everything up. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. Okay, let me just type in this command. And look at that, Zoe. It's all TNT now. Perfect. Now now, can we explode it? No, we can't explode it now. We have to wait till the round starts. Okay, then let's get this thing started. What the heck? My house is TNT now. This isn't good. Oh, gosh. He's totally freaking out. So he quick fly over the walls. Let's go. Well, dogs, I think the time is basically up and me and Zoe are ready to go. Are you ready for the walls to drop? No, I'm not ready yet. Well, that's too bad because we're dropping down the walls now. This is crazy. Get up. Wait a second, Zoe. What happened to our TNT on the house? I don't know. Maybe you should just place them down. Uh, no, we can't place it down now, Zoe. He's just going to catch on to us. That'd be really bad. Hey, what are you two saying? Focus on the battle. Oh, yeah, Nox. Uh, we're focusing on the battle. But honestly, I think our kissy missies and huggy wuggies are going to win. Hey, Zoe, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. You didn't see a thing. What's up with these fusions? How are they together? Uh, I don't know. They just, uh, they came like that. We use a special comb. What? A comb? Yeah, we're using a special comb. That puts them together? Yeah, it's super cool. You've never heard of it. It? Is it this thing? No, that's a combining machine. We're using a comb. A comb? To fuse? Yes. Yeah, Nox, you just might not want to worry about that and focus up. Look at this. All your mobs are dropping. And wait, I think you only have these two in the corner left. Come on, guys. You can get them. You can rally and win. Uh, I don't think they can win at all. And wait, I think you only have one left now. And she doesn't even want to fight. You can do it. Come on. Go get them. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't matter because we have so many. Take her out. Take her go! out. Yes, let's go. We want another round, Nox. Heck yeah! There's a lot of nonsense going on over here. First, my house changes. Then you're talking about combs. Now this makes any sense! Uh, we have nothing to do with that, Nox. But if Zoe and I win one more round, we're gonna be the mob battle champions, so you might want to get it together. I'm definitely not gonna let that happen. You guys are cheaters! Zoe, that was way too easy, and now we only have one round left until we're the mob battle champions! Uh, I know. We've so got this, but we need to keep our eye on Nox. Yeah, we definitely do, because he's up there something really weird. Exactly. So let's go ahead and turn the wall into glass. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Let me just press the button back here and let's go. Uh, Zoe, what is that thing? I think it's a portal. What the heck is he doing? Ugh, there's some nonsense going on here and I don't like it. Uh, uh, what the, what's that? Oh no, it looks like he found the portal quick. Zoe, I'm gonna go invisible and follow him real quick. Do it, be careful. And what in the world is Nox doing? And wait, what's at the end of this little portal over here? Huh, hey, Nightmare Potion. Oh, wait, I think that just says Nightmare Potion, but I don't think Nox can really read that well. Huh. All right, well, it does something, I guess. It's a 
potion. I wonder if I drink it. Oh, wait, is he gonna try to drink it? Wait, I want one of those. <sighs> well, I guess it's kind of whatever. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and see what he's gonna try and do for this round. Huh, well, it's not in the bottle that I can actually drink from. It's meant for throwing, so I wonder if I could just use it on my mob. Wait, he's gonna try and use it on his mob? What mob is he even gonna use? Well, I was gonna use Dog Day this round, and he's already pretty tough, but uh, I wonder what this potion will do to him. Oh, gosh, guys, what is this potion gonna do? Go, Dog Days! And what in the world? This guy got huge, and wait, he's missing like his legs? Oh, no, this must be the really scary version. Yeah, what the heck? He's missing his legs? This thing is freaky looking. Oh, it says nightmare. That makes sense. Oh, gosh. I gotta get back and tell Zoe this is not good. Zoe, do you see this thing over there? Yes, what the heck happened? Well, Nox went into the portal and he found something called a nightmare potion and then he used it on his mob. Look how creepy this guy is. Oh my gosh, is that dog days? This is not good. Yeah, it is dog days. And wait, it looks like he's also spawning in a bunch of miniature dog days. Oh my gosh, it looks like he has his own army. What are we gonna do? Well, I think we could use our own type of mobs. What do you say we do like a uh, hoppy and catnap? Just use some more smiling critters. That works out perfect. Let's do it. Well, I'm thinking on this side over here, I'll spawn down Hoppy. And oh, that guy kind of looks weird. What do you think, Zoe? I think Hoppy's so cute. And I think that you should like him because he's green. Duh. Well, yeah, true. I mean, he is green. Okay, I should definitely like him. But I guess Catnap's probably going to look the same. And what the? What? This guy's huge. Catnap looks awesome. And he's purple, so that means he's super duper strong. Oh, wait, Zoe. This is like a purple combining with a green. This means this guy should be so powerful. That means we're gonna win. Exactly. Okay, let me just hit the lever and see what it does. And wait, look at that, Zoe. It looks like a new spawn egg came in, but it kind of looks like a creeper spawn egg. This is so lame. The spawn egg is only green. Where's the purple? Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I wonder what happened. Let me just go ahead and uh, grab this, and I guess I can spawn it back here. This better be purple. Let's see. And what the what happened to this? Just his stinking feet are purple? What the heck? Uh, yeah, this is really creepy. And it looks like he has the hoppy head, but man, it is really, really green. Not too much purple with this guy. I just hope he's as strong. I'm kind of worried because he's not purple. That means he's probably super weak, especially because he's green. What? Are you serious, Zoe? We all know that I'm a better fighter than you. That's just not the truth. So we better just spawn in a whole bunch of them to compensate for the lack of strength. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I guess we could spawn in a bunch of them. Let me start putting a bunch of the hoppy catnaps on this side, and I guess guess you could do them all over there. Well, Nox, I think me and Zoe are basically ready to go. Are you ready for this round to start? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and drop the walls. We're totally gonna beat you. Get up, Dog Days. Ooh, Dog Days is even creepier up close. Yeah, they are super creepy, but wait, they just took out our front army so easily. How strong are they? <laughs> and that's just the minions. Oh no, I told you because they're green, they're super weak. What in the world? This is totally messed up. Wait, we still have this one guy over here in the corner and what he got taken out too i can't believe we lost sorry losers you didn't have to deal with mommy dog days over here the big one. Oh my gosh nox you just got lucky uh we weren't even using our strongest people yet you just wait till the last round because you're gonna get smacked uh you guys are definitely gonna lose because i'm taking the tiebreaker what in the world zoe i can't believe he lost to nox this is so dumb this is so dumb how are we even supposed to beat him now i don't know but i mean i guess we can still use our glass and see what he's gonna try and do for the final round <laughs> i told them i was gonna win ah well i think in this next round i'm just gonna spot in everybody but uh i don't really need this nightmare potion much anymore so i'm just gonna store that in here wait a second Zoe, did you just hear that he said he's gonna put his nightmare potion away you know what that means we have to go steal it oh yeah we definitely have to steal it but wait he's also spotting in all his old mobs zoe i don't know if this is good or not it's not good that's why we need to steal the potion okay well maybe i should just grab us that visibility potion real quick and then i guess we can both go over there okay let's go okay let me just grab that potion and now i can splash the both of us and okay come on Zoe, let's fly over the walls quick and zoe wait are you over here i can't even see you i'm in the house already wait you're in the house okay i'm gonna come to uh let me just open up the door and perfect okay let's find this nightmare potion then you said it was in the chest oh yes look at that there it is perfect just go ahead and grab that and now we can get back to our side zoe let's go wait what was that noise it sounded like my door my door's open Wait, so we hide. Uh, did you two see anything? What, you flower? Did you see anything? Dex, come on. Oh, wait, Zoe, are you already outside the house? I'm already on our side of the wall. You need to hurry up. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess I'm just going to open up the door and quick run. 
Edna! Hey, the door opened! And my potion's gone! Where'd they go? Zoe, that was so close! We almost got caught! I know, but we didn't. Look, see, I got the potion. Oh, perfect. Let me just go ahead and see it. Oh my gosh, it does say nightmare potion. I know, we are so secretive. Well, I'm thinking the way we can use this is just using a hopper. Basically, if I put the hopper on the ground and then I throw this potion inside, it should combine with all of our combining machine. I have no clue what a hopper is, but that's so cool. Oh my gosh, Zoe. Well, for this, I'm thinking, why don't we use Huggy Wuggy and then we can use Catnap again since you do like purple. Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully he's more purple this time so he's super strong okay so on this side over here i'll go ahead and spawn down our huggy wuggy and on the other side i can just spawn in catnap and then i guess we can press a lever and see what it ends up making come on please be super cool let's go ahead and do this and wait so wait, do you see that it looks like we got a new spawn egg this is gonna be awesome but what the heck it's blue yeah i wonder why it's blue i thought it's gonna be more purple because of catnap no kidding let's go ahead and grab it real quick okay let me just grab this and it says nightmare huggy nap what do you think that's gonna look like i have no clue go ahead and spawn it okay well let's just see it ew what the heck is this ah it's a big lizard oh my goodness i think it made like a huggy nightmare version and it also made like a nightmare version of catnap i don't like this at all honestly the way that it's moving is kind of giving me a stomach ache yeah it's making me a little bit sick too but i mean this guy should be really powerful so do you think we even need to spawn in more people no i think probably this one's good. Okay, Nox. Well, I think me and Zoe are uh, basically good to go for this last round. Are you ready to lose once and for all? I'm ready to win this round. Well, we'll see. Come on, let's do this nightmare huggy catnap. Ew, what the heck is that? Uh, this is our nightmare version of our huggy wuggy and catnap. It's kind of gross, but it looks like he's really strong, Zoe. Yeah, he is super strong. He's taking out all of his mobs. That thing's disgusting to look like. It looks like a big lizard. Hey, don't talk about him like that. He has feelings. Ew, get yeah. up, guys. Come on, don't let him lose. Dax, we might actually win this. Yeah, we might actually win this. Come on, he's taking out all of them so easily. This is crazy. Come on, guys. You can do it. Kill this thing. Only a few more left. Take out Mr. Light. And now you take out this dog, Daisy. And I think the last one of this, Daisy. Oh, yeah. We got this in the bag, Zoe. Heck, yeah. This is awesome. All of our work paid off. You can do it, Dog Days. I need you to do it. Well, it looks like Dog Days is your last one. And oh, they're about to fight. Come on. And oh, wait. You still have one more over here. Get him, Dog Days. Come on. No way this Dog Days could win. Come on, Huggy. Come on. Come on. And Whoa, he just got crushed. We won. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nox, I guess you weren't good enough to take out me and Zoe after all. It wasn't even you two. It was this big, nasty thing. And you had that big cheating comb. Well, I guess that's too bad for you, Nox. I want a rematch. Okay, guys. Well, the Poppy Playtime Build Challenge will start in five minutes. You guys are so going down. Yeah, I'm going to win. No shot. Either one of you guys are going to win. But since we have five minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and chill my little square until the time starts, okay? I'm gonna go to mine. I'm hanging out mine. Okay, well, let's see. I got some time to kill, so what should I even do? And wait, what the heck, Poppy? Is that you? Hi, Dax. Uh, hi, Poppy. Uh, what are you doing on my side right now? I have a build challenge to get ready for. I know I'm gonna help you. Wait, you're gonna help me? So you know I'm a horrible builder? What can you do to help me out? Yeah, you're like the worst builder ever. Hey, what? You can't say that about me even though you're not really lying at all. Follow me. I'm gonna take you to my friend bacon uh to your friend bacon who's bacon you'll have to wait and see okay i guess it looks like we're going inside the big poppy playtime factory i've never actually been in here before you have to be very careful okay fine i'll be super careful and oh gosh uh wait is that bacon right there poppy yes this is bacon bacon this is dax hello dax uh hi bacon uh so what am i even doing over here what's he supposed to help me with <laughs> Well, well, I'm here to help you with this, a, a builder challenge, right? Yeah, yeah, we're having a build challenge. We're actually building Poppy Playtime's characters. Poppy Playtime? I have just a thing for that. It's right here. You have just the thing? And wait, what does this say? It says it's a realistic device. What does that do? It's a device that makes things realistic. Oh, wait a second. That sounds so cool. I can definitely with that. Okay, uh, Mr. Bacon, sir, Lord, whatever you are. Can I please get that thing? You can, but you have to pay me first. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can definitely pay you i have a bunch of diamonds and i have gold what do you want i don't want any of that 
I want bacon and pork chops. Wait, you want bacon and pork chops? Uh, Poppy, did you hear that right? Yeah, he likes pork chops. Okay, I mean, I guess I can get you some bacon. And wait, I actually have some chocolate bacon, so I can give you that. And you said you also want pork chops? I want pork chops, raw pork chops. Okay, well, there you go. And wait a second, aren't you a pig? <laughs> uh, okay, well, while he's eating that, I'm just gonna take this realistic device. And okay, thanks, bacon. Uh, thank you, Poppy. I'm gonna get started on my build, okay? Bye, Dax. So I have this realistic device. I wonder what this is gonna do for me. Hey, Dax, what are we building anyway? Yeah, what are we supposed to build? Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot. Well, what do you guys just say we do Huggy Wuggy for this first round? Sounds good. I'm on it. Sounds great to me. I'm gonna build Huggy Wuggy. Okay, guys, and we're gonna have 10 minutes for this build, so be super, super fast. Okay, so now I have to figure out how this realistic device works, and I think I just need to select a little area. So first, let me select on this block over here like that, and then I can fly all the way over here and select. Now, all I think I need to do is just click on it, and then everything should get real. And wait, what the what, guys? Everything looks so real now. Everything has like a super cool sky, and all the walls are super realistic. Guys, look at the details on these blocks. And I think since I set this region right here to be realistic, as soon as I leave it, everything should look normal again. Okay, so let's start building our Huggy Wuggy. And I'm thinking for this, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of different wool blocks. So let me grab some uh, super light blue wool and some normal blue wool. And I think I also need like yellow, red, white, and black. That should be good. And now that I have this, the first thing I wanna start on is by making the super cool feet. And guys, I can't get over how realistic this thing looks. It is totally awesome. So let's just go ahead and add in two feet. And I'm thinking for both sides, we're gonna keep them the same exact dimensions. Let's stack these up one more block. That way it just has a bit of detail. And then I can start building out the legs. And I'm thinking, let's see, what color do I wanna do mostly? Uh, I guess we'll do the dark blue wool. That should be a good color. So let me just start stacking up the legs back this way. Of course, I'll do the same thing for this side over here since we want Huggy Wuggy to be completely even. Now, instead of just building up into the sky, I can do this with a pretty simple command. Let me just select both of these. And now I can type slash stack 50. Actually, let's go a little shorter and do 10. Okay, perfect. There's Huggy Wuggy's legs. Next up, let me start by building in the body. And Huggy Wuggy really isn't that big. So I think I'm gonna go like one block outside of where he normally is. Here we go. And guys, just look at the sun. The way it like shines on all these blocks is like totally beautiful. It's like the nicest, coolest, most awesomest thing ever. Okay, let me add in a few more blocks here. And oh yeah, of course I need to fill out this middle section. We kind of don't want Huggy Wuggy to have nothing underneath them. That would just be a bit weird. Now let's select the two corners again and i have to do the same amount of stacking but maybe i should go a little bit higher for this one actually let's go a little bit shorter and then it'll make it like a little bit layered and what i mean by that is we're gonna take the blocks and go a little bit wider over here for a couple layers that way he has some dimension to them so let me start stacking all these blocks in this direction all these blocks in this direction and then i should be able to stack it up one more time let's go uh how about we do like four for this one i think that's probably a good number for this okay now that that part of his body's done i'm pretty sure he gets a little bit skinnier on the top part so let me start building out some of this blue wool that i can attach to both of the sides and wait a second guys i can literally just see over at nox's side wait i can see your sides too Dax, what are you doing are you cheating no 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 i'm not cheating at all guys okay maybe the walls are a little bit too low how about i stack them up a few more blocks okay works for me yeah make it higher i don't want you cheating i'm not cheating why would i ever want to cheat from you Dox? you're probably building like the worst most like awful build i've ever seen in my life that's definitely the best i mean look at your ugly color over here hey, hey, no get out of here Dox. You can't be anywhere near my build. That's cheating. Just stay on your side of the wall, okay? You stay on your side. Okay, well, now that I went and made the walls a little bit taller, I can keep continuing on my Huggy Wuggy build now that no one can see it. Guys, that was really close. If they got in my little zone, they would have seen how realistic it was so early, and that would have been really bad for me. Okay, so for this middle part of the body, let me just stack this up a couple blocks, and I'm thinking I'm only gonna do, like, two blocks up. Okay, the body's looking really good. Let's just go ahead and close it all in at the top. Now, once we're done with this body, of course, the next thing we need to probably add it is the head and huggy wuggy's head's a little bit hard so this might be a bit difficult for me so let's see where's the middle of this okay i'm thinking it's like right about here so maybe this is where we could make the neck let me just make sure it's even on both sides okay that's about five blocks and over here oh 
gosh wait that's about six blocks uh this is gonna be a little bit bad but i guess it's okay for now let me just go ahead and stack up the neck one more block and then i can start building out the head and for huggy wuggy he has like this weird pointy shape head i don't really know i've never seen anything like this before it's kind of ugly but oh well i have to build this if i want to win this build challenge so let me just stack this up and then i should be able to select two points of this and just stack it a bit deeper that way i don't have to place everything by hand here we go let me type in my command stack five and okay that's looking pretty good but oh gosh wait i kind of messed up this back piece a little bit uh let me just make sure to get rid of all of this we can't have this junk in our build okay now that all of that is done let me start building in the top of the head and i think i could run a similar command let's just go ahead and stack this like 10 blocks okay that isn't far enough maybe we need to go like 15 perfect that looks a lot better next up let's just close out all these back pieces to the head because obviously we can't have his head just being completely open that would just look goofy and ugly and there we go guys the head is basically done okay the next thing i want to do is out on that creepy smiley face so let's go ahead and grab some of this red i can stack it up in two different directions and then i should be able to go up one block just like that perfect the creepy mouth is there next let's go ahead and add in a pair of eyes and i'm thinking for the eyes we want them to be like looking inward since huggy wuggy is kind of derpy so i'll put one eye on this side let's just make sure this matches both of the sides over here place another eye and let's just take a look yeah that's looking good let's also make sure to add in like a few points over here since huggy wuggy's head is a little bit pointed at the top and we can't have it all looking even and once i add this one i'll do the same thing to this other side over here it should be pretty simple and add a lot of good detail to them here we go i'll fill in this section okay guys i'm thinking the last thing i need to do is add in his arms and oh gosh i didn't give him a lot of space for his arms but it kind of is what it is at this point let me just build out a few rings and i probably should just stack them down on both sides so let me get this a little bit away from the body something like this select two of the corners and now i think i could stack like uh two blocks deep perfect that looks good now down below here of course we have to add his little hand so let's just add in like some weird finger things uh that doesn't really look like a hand but oh well it kind of is what it is and oh gosh guys i almost forgot i'm gonna add in this last side over here but i need to add in his bow tie that's like the cutest most important part of huggy wuggy after all let me just throw in these little hands yeah that's exactly why i have this light wool so i could use it for the bow tie so let's just add a little section up here okay this looks like actually a pretty good spot uh let's see can i do something like this baby let's go this is looking perfect now i'll just add the little bow to the bottom and yes huggy wuggy looks so good okay and i think i'm pretty much done with my huggy wuggy i'm done I'm just about done. Oh, perfect, guys. Okay, we need to check out each other's sides. But before we go over there, guys, let me turn off the realistic in this area real quick. And all I have to do is click. Okay, guys, I'm ready to go. Uh, how about we check out Zoe's side first? What do you think, Knox? Yeah, let's check out Zoe's side. Come on over. Okay, Zoe, go ahead and show us your huggy wuggy. And whoa, this is totally awesome. Ta-da. Yeah, this thing is scary looking. Yeah, that's because huggy wuggy is scary. Duh. Yeah, I mean, that does make sense. Huggy wuggy is like super, super scary. Zoe, this is like a super impressive build and wait what is this in the ground right here supposed to be this is the bow tie obviously ah that makes a lot of sense oh yeah it does make sense this looks really really nice and i like that you added like different colored blocks and what is this striped warp hyphen i've never even heard of that block before that sounds too fancy for me yeah it's super fancy but it was the closest color to his bow that's a really good idea and i like his little hand sticking out right here thanks it's kind of like he's scaring someone yeah he's gonna grow out and grab me oh wait these are hands i thought they were like little trees that makes even more sense it looks even better now that i know their hands nox he thought those were little trees have you ever seen a tree like that yeah isn't that strange i wouldn't do something like that well i don't know i just thought they were trees i mean i still said it was good zoe so everything's looking pretty good for you sweet thank you so much okay nox so me and you have to give her a score that's how we're gonna make the final score for her so let me grab a side real quick and what do you want to give her uh i want to give her a q a z no you have to give her a number one nox like one out of ten or like a five out of ten or like a ten out of ten you didn't say that. Yeah, that's what you have to grade, or you can't grade her with letters. Ugh, fine. Uh, seven. Okay, you're getting a seven, and I think I'm honestly going to give you a eight out of ten, Zoe, so you're going to get a 15 out of 20 for the first round. Good job. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, now that we've seen your side, Zoe, we should probably go ahead and check out Nox's next. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Nox, I'm super excited to see you with your build, since you are a pretty talented builder, right? Uh, no, not really, but mine's really scary. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, definitely really scary. Yeah, is that cool? Wow, 
it kind of looks like a blue cat. Yeah, is that what Huggy Wuggy is? Uh, I don't think Huggy Wuggy is a cat. Actually, I don't even know what Huggy Wuggy is. I can't even lie to you. I'm pretty sure Catnap's the cat. Yeah, but he's got cat ears. Yeah, he does have cat ears. I don't really know. I guess neither one of us are going to know what Huggy Wuggy actually is. Yeah, but do you like his teeth? Yeah, I think the teeth are really good. I like that you added these pointed drip stones. And, oh, you can even connect them on the bottom for like even more sharper teeth. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but it's like they're connected, so I didn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, I guess it's a bit weird that they're connected, but he is like a scary monster, so I guess it also does make sense. Yeah, yeah, and I gave him crazy eyes too. Oh, yeah, he definitely has some uh, some crazy eyes. He kind of looks like you. Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Looks just like Nox. No, he doesn't look anything like me. He's blue. No, Nox, literally, if I just took all this and made it red, it would look just like you. Look, you want to see real quick? No. Yeah, you're going to see. Let me set one position over here, and then I can set the second position. Now, let's just make sure to replace all of the stuff inside of here so you can see yourself, Nox. And there we go. See, now you're Nox. Holy cow, it is me. Yeah, I told you it looks exactly like you. Aw, it's a spitting image of you. Man, I need to brush my teeth. Yeah, you probably do need to brush your teeth. Okay, Zoe, me and you have to decide what score he's going to get. So what do you think? I think I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10? Honestly, Zoe, I was thinking the same thing. So, Nox, you're getting a, a, a 10 out of 20. What? Yeah, I mean, that's still a pretty good score, though. And you still have all the points from all the other rounds. So you can still win. Yeah. That's not enough for me anymore. Well, maybe do better on the next build, okay? At the very least, flip the one and the zero. Why? Wait, if you flip the one to zero, you're going to get a one out of 20. Uh -uh, it's going to be two different numbers. Zeros at the front are best. Uh, okay. I think you don't know what you're talking about. But okay, guys, let's move on to the final build, which is mine, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, guys. But in order to go inside, you're just going to have to stand right here and be like super, super careful. You can't run it just yet, okay? Okay. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and turn on my Relux device. Let's see what this does. And here we go, guys. Welcome to my Huggy Wuggy build. Whoa, it's so realistic. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah, I just wanted to add in a bit of detail. And look how big I made this guy. Doesn't he look awesome? Yeah, he's huge. He's gargantuan. But honestly, the more I just look at Huggy Wuggy, honestly, all I see is Nox, except he's blue. I know. Isn't that so funny? Yeah, we both have really, really long arms. Uh, do you really have long arms, Nox? Let me see. Come down here real quick. No. Yeah, come down here. Look, just put your arm next to me. And oh gosh, you do have some really freaky long arms. Yeah, I got spaghetti arms. Yeah, you do have spaghetti arms. You probably should lift weights or something. No, I don't want to do that. And unlike you guys, instead of just doing like the face and stuff, I tried to do a whole body. I couldn't really do much with like the arms though, since I kind of ran out of space. But what do you guys think? I think this is great. I can't believe you did the whole body. Yeah, this one's kind of unbelievable, if I'm honest. Let me just get a better look at it. Wait, what the heck? Why is it unrealistic now? Wait, I unrealistic uh what are you talking about zoe i backed out of the square to get a better look and now it looks all weird zoe what are you talking about wait what the heck oh guys uh, i think you must be glitching it's like a weird like uh shield i have on the outside of my build look just walk back inside the square okay okay let's see hmm i guess some things just look better up close yeah it's like the eiffel tower yeah i told you it was just being a little bit weird but okay guys now that you've seen it what do you want to give me as a score i'm gonna give you an eight out of ten i'm gonna give you a nine out of ten okay so i died out of ten and an 8 out of 10, what is that, like a 17 out of 20? Yup. Okay, guys, so that's a pretty good score. So for the first round, it looks like I'm winning, and then Zoe's in second place, and uh, Nox, I guess you're in last place. Ah, come on! Yeah, sorry, Nox, but guys, what do you say for the second round? We build a smiling critter that looks the most like us. Sounds good. I know exactly what I'm gonna build. I thought we already did that for me. Uh, no, you're gonna build one that looks even more like you. Like, for you, you probably wanna do, like, Bobby, since you are both red. Ah, it's a good idea. I'm gonna build Bobby. Okay, you have fun. Zoe, what are you gonna build? Crafty Core! Oh, that's a great idea. And I think I'm going to do Hoppy. Hoppy, good luck with that. Man, guys, that was so perfect. I got the highest score for the first round, but I need to keep building something super good. So next we're going to build Hoppy. So let me get rid of this whole entire Huggy Wuggy build. Okay, now I think I have some of the blocks that I need. So let me start building my Hoppy. And for the first thing, I'm going to start by building the legs since that's pretty much the same thing I did for Catnap. Let's just make sure to make it an odd number unlike last time. So this is looking to be about nine blocks. And then we'll just stack it up uh, maybe like two blocks. I think this looks pretty good here. And actually, instead of using lime wool for this, why don't I make this all lime concrete? Because then the feet will look a little bit different than everything else. So let me just type in this command. Perfect. And oh gosh, wait, I messed up the middle a little bit, but I can just break all these blocks. It's not a big deal. Here we go. Now all the blocks are broken. Okay, let's start adding in the body. And I'm thinking for this, I want to have Hoppy sitting down. So let me just stack this a few blocks into the air by using my slash slash stack command. And once I have that, I can build it a little bit deeper. Or do I just want it to be like one little layer that's in the front. Uh, I think the one layer would make it look good. So let me start here 
by adding in the face. So I'm thinking for this, I need to go up like a couple blocks over here, probably do the same exact thing on this side. And then I think maybe we'll actually go up one more block. Now that we have this, I can start blowing the face up in this direction, start stacking up the blocks to make the full face. And oh yeah, I need to connect it on this side too. So let me just go ahead and do the same thing over here. And maybe we should have like a little dip in the face just to give them some details. So let me do that. Perfect. That's looking really good. Now for this, I do want to add in a couple pairs of eyes. So maybe what I could do is just kind of have them sitting a little bit on the face and then smack the white in the middle. And I'll do the same thing over here. Here we go. That's looking pretty good. Perfect. Hoppy's looking so cute. Let's actually go ahead and fill in all of the mouth real quick since I honestly could just do that now instead of waiting. So all you do is set this. I'll just replace everything inside of here to be black wool. And then it should look good. Perfect. Look at Hoppy now. Let's add in his little tongue. And for that, I'm going to use the pink. And oh yeah, he also has like a zipper in the front. And I'm pretty sure he also has a lightning bolt. So let me just add in that, connect the zipper down a little further. Perfect. That's looking good. Now over here, before I start building in the ears, let me just build on some arms. And I honestly don't really know how to make arms. I'm probably like the worst arm builder ever. So all I'm going to do is just make a couple of these cube thingies. Uh, yeah, that looks, uh, that looks good for an arm, I guess. Oh gosh, they're probably going to cloud me for that. Now let me just make sure to stack it all the same exact way over here by filling this all in with the lime wool blocks. And perfect. Now that we have that, I can go ahead and build out the ears, but I'm thinking I probably need to cover up the face a little bit more because obviously we don't want all this space inside of here. Okay, and how do I want to do the ears uh i mean he is a rabbit so i guess i should probably give it a little bit of shape and maybe i should make both ears just a little bit different that way it kind of looks cool let me just build this one going on the inside and i need to connect down right there okay that looks pretty good for an ear on that side let me start building out the other ear which is going to be over here and oh wait what if i have like the ear like bending forward could that be kind of cool let me just grab this and then i guess i could stack it a little bit and it's gonna have to meet at a point in the front perfect okay that ear looks good let's just go ahead and color it in and I'm thinking for this, I'm going to use the same black wool since it kind of makes all the colors go well together. Here we go. I'll just smack both of those. And yes, the ears are looking so good. And oh man, he is really, really creepy. I can't even lie. But I think I want to move down the face a little bit since it's kind of a bit too high up. So let me just add in some of this live wool. And okay, that makes it look a whole lot better. Maybe I'll also get rid of this bottom layer because I don't really need that either. Let's just make sure to re-add in the tongue here. And how is Hoppy looking? Yeah, he's looking kind of adorable. Let me just add a couple eyebrows over here and he also kind of needs a nose so i'll smack that there perfect our hoppy is looking so cute and now since i did do a rabbit maybe what i should do is like decorate the outsides a little bit so let me grab some saplings i can place down and i can start throwing in some high grass and oh maybe we could have like a little water lake going around okay once i added all this grass i'm gonna go back and add in the trees and then i can build that little water lake i was talking about so here we go i'll put a couple saplings all the way around just to make it look like a little tiny forest and oh wait maybe i can even build out like a little flower farm that would probably look really good it probably make a lot of sense since this is a rabbit after all let me just go ahead and grow all these trees and guys look how realistic these trees look it's crazy here we go just a few more trees to grow out and perfect okay now let's go ahead and add that water i was talking about all i want to do is just break out a couple random areas of this grass and pretty much have it going like a little lazy river kind of thing here we go i'll break out over here and for this instead of going underneath we're going to go on the side and then all i need to do is just connect it to the front uh, where did I even make it? Oh yeah, there it is. Perfect. Now that I have that, let's just go back with some water and I can just fill in all this empty space with a whole bunch of water. And oh man, the water looks so cool. This is awesome. Here we go. I'll just keep filling up these sides over here. Okay. Uh, I can't really tell if it's even because the water looks so realistic, but I think it looks pretty good for the most part. And there we go. Okay. Now all the water is filled in. Let me just add a little area where I'm going to have that little like carrot farm. So all I need to do is grab myself some carrots, grab myself a nice hoe that I can use and let's just go ahead and grab a diamond one now i can just farm out some of this land over here and i think i can just place the carrots down on top yeah that's pretty good and just to make it even maybe i should do the same thing over on this side i think i only went like three blocks deep so it doesn't have to be that crazy let's make sure to fill it all in with carrots and did i go three deep oh yeah i did go three deep okay so i can just fill that in perfect this is looking so good let's just make sure to grow all of this and i'm pretty sure once the carrots are grown i think my build is basically done it should be pretty much good to go i mean i have nice grass i have the nice water my hop he looks super cute okay just a few more details and i think i'm done i'm done i'm a fish too okay let me go ahead and turn off all the realisticness okay guys well whose side do you want to check out first this time let's check out nox 
boxes. Yeah, come see mine. Okay, Doc. So you did Bobby bear hugs, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go ahead and see it. Whoa, Nox, this looks so good. Yeah, this is actually one of your best builds ever. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. What in the world, Nox? I didn't know you were this good of a builder. This thing is awesome. Yeah, my mom tells me I'm an artist all the time. Your mom tells you an artist? Well, honestly, she's really not lying. This is pretty impressive. Yeah, you're very artistic. Yeah, thank you. Well, I think this is pretty easy for me to say, Zoe. I think he's just going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. I agree. Yeah! Okay, good job, Docs. You got our first perfect score, which is a 20 out of 20. This is really impressive. <laughs> You guys are welcome. Okay, Zoe, do you want to check out my side next or do you want to look at your side next? Let's look at mine. Okay, let's go ahead and check out yours. And you did crafty cord, right? Sure did. Oh, wow. This is, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is something, Zoe. It's crafty. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's crafty. It kind of creeps me out just to look at. What do you mean it creeps you out? What about it creeps you out? I don't know. I mean, I really like the rainbow on top. I don't know. It's just something about it, Nox. Do you get what I'm saying? What's this big thing on his head? It's the unicorn horn, duh. What? Is it the rainbow? It's not. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a, uh, it, it's cool, Zoe. It's kind of, it's really honestly not your fault. We kind of just came from looking at Nox's, who was really good, and this one's just like okay. Seriously, I worked super hard on it. So, what are you guys gonna give me? Uh, let me think, Nox. I think I'm gonna give her a six out of ten. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the same. Seriously? Okay, Zoe. So you're getting a uh, twelve out of twenty. I mean, that's still pretty good. There's only three less points than your last one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did so well this round. I can't believe you. You guys give me a 12 out of 20. I think it's because you have diamonds mixed in there with the wool. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's like a lot of weird stuff going on. But Zoe, I mean, it's still pretty solid. So there's no need to feel sad. This is so not fair. Let's just move on. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check out my side. And once we step inside of here, everything should be realistic. Okay, and here we go, guys. Welcome to my super cool hoppy build. This is awesome. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. And I wanted to add like a little scenery around. So I added like some carrots and some trees and some water. I just kind of wanted to make it feel like he was the king of the forest. Ew, I hate carrots. Wait, you hate carrots? Why do you hate carrots? Doc, stop saying my food. Carrots are gross. What? Carrots are so good for you, right, Zoe? Yes, they're super good for you. I don't yeah. know why you had so much time to do this. What the heck was that noise? Uh, I think that was Nox throwing up. Nox, what's going on? They're carrots. Oh, no, he's throwing up. Blech. Oh, my gosh. Dude, they're just carrots, guys. What in the world's going on? I actually get super sick. It can people throw up? Oh, my God. Okay, everyone leave. I don't want you throwing up everywhere. Everyone get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. All right. Well, since your build kind of made us sick, I think I'm going to have to give you like a five out of ten. I'm thinking a three. Wait, what? Are you guys serious? That's literally not my fault at all. I just got ugh, sick. Goodness. Okay, fine. So a five out of ten and then a three out of ten. So that's an eight out of twenty. Yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. I think that's what you deserve. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys. Well, we still have one round left. Let me see. So, uh, Nox, can you go ahead and add up your points and Zoe, you do the same, and then we'll see who has the most points right now. All right. And I'm pretty sure if I do my math correctly, I should have like a 25 out of 40. Dax, Nox doesn't know how to count. I don't know why you sent him over there. I have 45 points. Oh, gosh. Uh, Zoe, can you go ahead and count for him? I'm not counting for him. You can count for him. Oh, my gosh. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Let me just go ahead and turn my realisticness off. Okay. Let's just go ahead and see, uh, Nox, what do you have? Oh, Nox, you just have a 30 out of 20. That's a 45. No, it's not a 45. Zoe, what did you have? I have a 27 out of 40. What? So I'm in last place right now? Of course you are. Okay, guys. And we have one final round left. And I'm thinking for the last round, we should do something fun like catnap. That's going to be awesome. I love catnap. He's so purple. Catnap. Yeah, catnap's pretty cool, guys. Okay, just go over to your sides and we're going to have this final build. So best of luck. I'm going to have the greatest comeback ever. No way. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and step back into my circle real quick. And perfect, guys. Now that everything's realistic again, I can start building out my catnap. And oh, gosh, guys, my score is so low. I need like a perfect score if I want to win this. Okay, guys, like I said, I do need a perfect score. So I think instead of building it myself, what I should do is use cheats. Okay, I'm pretty sure all I need to do is just stand right here and type in this command slash slash paste. And oh, my gosh, guys, it kind of just broke the whole entire array 
arena oh geez everyone's gonna get mad at me okay what i think i need to do is excel up my arena a little bit and i'm just gonna tell everyone i need to make it bigger because my build was too awesome so let me just select uh this site over here come on guys i'm kind of panicking right now now i'll just stack this like 20 blocks back okay is that good enough okay this does look pretty good let's just make sure i add back in the grass and now that this is all made with my same entire build it should stay realistic once i walk through it yes look it's perfect okay let me just add in this grass and then i'll make the back piece of it and we should be pretty good here we go guys now everything is completely built in and my catnap looks so good look at this guy's head i do want to change the coloring a little bit because it does look a tad bit ugly so maybe what i should do is make this all purple concrete instead of a bunch of these random blocks and all i need to do for that is just select two points and then i should be able to run a command but first let's see okay this is light blue terracotta yeah we definitely don't want that i think all you do is type in this and yes our catnip already looks a million trillion times better it did not look good at first and wait we're also kind of missing this yellow piece in the middle okay let's just grab some yellow wool and then i can fill in the nice collar with it and once i'm done with this i honestly don't know what else i need to add in i kind of didn't look at catnap's face so maybe i should check that out to make sure it's not like messed up or anything let's just go ahead and see how it's looking yeah i mean i think catnap's face looks pretty good it oh wait we have the wrong coloring here guys okay so let me just go ahead and select two positions again like that run the same command and did it fix it no it didn't fix it oh because this is blue terracotta so let me just get rid of that part of the command and okay now he's all purple this looks way better than it did before okay guys i think i'm pretty much done with my catnap how are you guys looking i'm done i'm a fish okay perfect let me just go ahead and turn on my realisticness real quick okay guys so who side do you want to check out first Dox's mine or zoe's let's look at mine oh okay i guess everyone wants to look at zoe's so bad okay let's go ahead and look at uh hey zoe your catnap's kind of see-through Ta-da! why can i see through your catnap that's a little bit weird don't you think because it's a super ultra mega powerful catnap huh um why just for fun that's fun i guess okay uh that's uh that's cool i guess hey nox hey nox hey take this take this take this what there you go hey, hey hey zoe uh look at the sun over there isn't it so nice oh my gosh so pretty yeah the sun is super pretty nox quick throw it at our build throw it at our build <gasps> what was that oh my god what in the world just happened? Your build just blew up, Zoe. Nox, get over here. No, I didn't have a fishing pole. I didn't do anything. You didn't have a fishing pole? Yeah, see, he's had a fishing pole the whole time. He wasn't doing anything, Zoe. Yeah. Okay, then it was you. No, it wasn't me. I think your build just randomly blew up. See, look, it's blowing up again. I see dynamite leaving your hand, Nox. Who, oh, mine? Yes, of course, yours. Hey, you don't. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Hey, Zoe, uh, I don't think you really have a build anymore. So how am I supposed to give you a score? This is not fair. Just give me your best score. Okay, I still think I'm going to give you like a... Uh, how about I give you a 5 out of 10? Works for me, considering you guys blew it up, even though that's not fair. Well, I didn't blow up anything. It was all Nox. You gave him the dynamite. You think I can't hear that well? Wait, what? No way you heard me say that. I did hear you. Okay, Nox, well, what do you want to give her as a score? I'm going to give her this many. Uh, Okay, so that's a 1. So you got a 6 out of 20. Oh, my God. Gosh, that means I only have like a 30. You got a 33 out of 60, Zoe. 33 out of 60? That's almost a 50. Yeah, that's honestly pretty bad. Yeah, that's not very good. Okay, well, let's check out the next part. How about we check out Nox's? Let's go. Yeah, let's look at mine. Okay, Zoe, Zoe, And Zoe, just Zoe. be aware that mine's like really, really, really good. Oh, yeah, Nox, that's cool. Okay, hey, Zoe, while he's going over there, I'm going to give you something you could use after, okay? Okay, what is it? Uh, Let's see what I want to give you. Oh, you could use this, okay? Okay. Come on, guys, hurry up. Oh, yeah, we're coming. Sorry, um, I tripped. And let's see. And what the? What is this? Ta-da! This kind of is derpy. You're derpy. What's wrong with it? This is probably the best build I've done today. Dude, this is the most ugly, most grossest, most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. What are you talking about? It's just chunky. Hey, Nox, watch this. Oh, my gosh, Zoe, what ah! are you doing? Uh, Zoe, I think you broke everything. Oh, no, I'm yeah! lying. What in the world is going on? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Nox, your sight's completely missing now. Oh, no, it's gone. That was awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Nox, you don't really have a build also kind of like Zoe's. So uh, I think I'm just going to give you like a 2 out of 10. What? Yeah, I mean, you don't have a build anymore. And it's only fair because that's what Zoe got. What? She blew up mine. You get a zero out of 10. Okay, so that gives you a final score of a 32 out of 60, Docs. What? 32 out of 60? 
32 that's it yeah it looks like you only got a 32 but hey you um you could still get maybe like second place if i do really bad uh, fine okay guys just come over to my side and okay let me just step on this and turn on the realism okay everyone walk inside of my super cool building hey stop throwing dynamite fine fine sorry okay well welcome to my catnap build isn't it awesome this is pretty cool but it looks like it got a little exploded holy cow yeah i mean it got a little exploded i kind of wonder why zoe holy cow or holy cat holy cat yeah i thought i did a pretty good job with this i just wanted to add a bunch of detail and since he was so big i decided to make my little square a bit bigger yeah i think that breaks the rules but we'll let it slide this one time yeah we'll let it slide what why would that break the rules that doesn't even make any sense there's like literally no rule book for a build challenge you're supposed to stay within your box yeah i am staying with my box see my box is just bigger that's not fair you can't make your box bigger yeah what i literally can't make it bigger zoe you don't know what you're talking about whatever your build looks pretty good i think i'm gonna give you like a seven out of ten yeah i think i'm gonna give you a seven out of ten too what i only got a seven out of ten from you guys are you serious and i'll give you a couple of these wait what are you giving me no stop throwing dynamite Ooh, i want to give you some too oh my gosh and everyone's throwing dynamite okay look at this guys now no one's gonna win the bit challenge uh, nox i am loving our new show so much look at her spinning seal yeah he's amazing this thing is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life and wait does someone just open up the door guys 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 you have to come outside there's something scary uh okay zoe what's going on come outside and look okay zoe what's the problem why are you screaming and stuff look it's the poppy playtime factory wait what the what how did we get here i have no clue oh the it's huge oh my gosh we were just camping in the middle of the forest and now we're stuck inside of this stupid factory and wait why is there like a huge barbed wire fence right here maybe we should go inside oh and wait Knox, you can open that thing up i didn't know you were that strong yeah i found a key oh wow how did you even find a key wait what did you put this thing here no it was right here in the grass that sounds a little bit suspicious right zoe yeah super sus you're sus let's go inside and wait there's just a bunch of signs that say do not enter and guys there's also security cameras you think someone's watching us yeah i think that's exactly what it means donut enter what does that mean like, donut enter no it says do not enter Knox. like you can't go inside oh i thought it meant donuts in the ender wait this is a donut factory no this isn't a donut factory this is the poppy playtime factory guys oh i wanted some donuts me too and it looks like a bunch of these routes are blocked off by barbed wire fence well Ouch. maybe we have to keep walking into the back end zoe did you just walk into the fence yeah Ow. I thought I could walk into it. Ow, oh, ow, ow. Why are you guys walking into the fence? It's obviously barbed wire and it hurts you. I just wanted some donuts. I thought maybe behind that wall they were protecting them. Yeah, maybe they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, come on. Maybe we should keep going to the back and see what's going on inside of here. And wait a second. Uh, Zoe, do you see that? Yes. What the heck are those? I think these are a bunch of the smiling critters. And wait, what are they doing in this glass? And oh, it also looks like we can't even break the glass. This is kind of weird. Don't worry. We'll get you out. Wait, you want to get them out? Zoe, I don't know that's a great idea. But they're so cute. They're like baby poppy playtime characters. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess they are kind of cute. Wait, there's a book right here. Oh, maybe someone left us like a note to read. Okay, everyone, I'm going to read this note for us. Let's see what it says. They will come for you at night. Don't sleep too tight. Don't forget to hug your friends tight because the smiling kiddos will cause a fright. Zoe, I don't think they're going to be friendly at all to us. Oh, no. Good thing I didn't let them out. I'm scared of rhymes. Let's get out of here. Yeah, guys, I definitely think we have to get out of here. If they're going to come for us at night, we need to go ahead and upgrade our base because right now we only have a little tiny tent. Dax, what is the first thing we should do? Well, I'm kind of thinking the first thing we should do is just put some bedrock around our base since our base is kind of made out of like wool and moss and stuff. This isn't strong to stop the smiling critters. That's a super good idea. Okay, let's get some bedrock then. Okay, everyone grab some bedrock and actually I think I'm going to replace this fence on this side so we don't need that and then we'll just basically engulf the whole thing in a bunch of bedrock. Okay, I'm going to do this side. Okay, I'll do this side. No, it looks like Nox is doing that side. Okay, I'm going to do the back then. And and honestly, our house is made out of some pretty weak stuff. Yeah, our house is made out of some pretty weak stuff, but I'm thinking since we have this bedrock here, it's probably gonna be hard for them to break it, right? Hopefully so. Yeah. Okay, let me fill in the top pieces over here. And oh gosh, I guess I'm about to break a little bit of our house, but it should be okay. And oh, wait, guys, we're also gonna need a way to get inside of our house because if it's just bedrock, we're not gonna be able to get inside. I think Knox left a little opening. Knox left a little opening. Yeah, but I mean, this opening is nice, but we still need like a door or something. Otherwise, they can just walk inside. Like like a glass door? No, probably not like a glass door. Maybe we get something strong like a scanner door. Have you ever heard of those before, Zoe? 
Zoe? No, what's a scanner door? How does it work? Okay, well, when Nox is building in the roof, Zoe, I'm going to show you real quick. All we have to do is put down an iron door. Actually, instead of using like a normal iron door, why don't we use a really big one? Sounds good to me. Okay, let's see. We should have a big iron door somewhere inside of here. And if we use a big one, it's going to be harder for them to get inside. And yes, okay, look, I found a super big iron door. Look how tall this thing is. This thing is super tall, but why would you need a door this tall? You're super short. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of true, but it makes me feel cool. Okay, so how does it work? Well, what I need to do is put down one of these scanners on this side. You can see how my face is right there. That means only I can get inside. Oh, but if I put one down, that means I can open the door too. Yep, exactly. And uh, Nox, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get one. You're a little too irresponsible. And what are you doing to the top over here? I'm trying to make it look like a castle. Why are you trying to make it look like a castle? What does that even mean? Because it looks cool. Oh my goodness. Well, wait, if you wanted to look like a castle, why don't you just like some nether rack and like fire on it? Because I want to do that. No, I want to do that though. Okay, go for it. Look, let me just grab myself some nether rack and then I'll grab some flint and steel. And like you were saying, it's going to be a castle. And castles have fire knocks, so we definitely need to add this in. Yeah. What we'll do is just stack the nether rack all the way on the outside pieces. That way, if like any of them try to jump on our base, they're just going to get caught in the fire and like burn. Okay. If we want it to look cool, we should space it. Wait, what do you mean by space it knocks? Like give some of the nether rack like gaps and stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess we could do that. So I guess I'll just add some random spacing it over here. And are we just going to kind of leave the roof open how it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's good enough. It, oh, okay. I guess I could also break this piece of nether rack and let's break both of these pieces that way it looks a little bit uneven cool that looks great i don't know wait what do you mean you don't know nox i think this thing looks awesome yeah but it needs some artistic detail you know that's why i'm including some of these different spaces here yeah nox you're super artistic yeah yeah okay nox then you can go ahead and decorate that for us Okay, Zoe, while Nox is adding in some artistic detail at the top, why don't you say we make another trap for these guys? Sounds good. Well, what should we do? Well, what I'm thinking we could do is use these bamboo spikes. Have you ever seen these things before? No, put them down. Okay, look, I'll put a couple down and then let me just grab something to test. Uh, maybe I could grab like a zombie or something because we don't like those guys. Okay, go ahead and do it. So I'll spot him down and then I'll punch him inside and look at that. The bamboo's taking him out so quick. That looks like it hurts. Yeah, it definitely does look like it hurt, but honestly, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. So we're probably going to have to add in some more stuff besides this. But for now, I think that bamboo things are fine. Yeah, I think so too. I'm going to start digging on the side. Oh yeah, we should definitely go all the way around the base. Honestly, Zoe, I wasn't even thinking about that. You silly goose. Where did they come from the sides or the back? Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, let me go ahead and do the same exact thing that you did. And I think you went like five blocks deep and then you started digging up, right? Sure. Let me add in this grass back here. Start breaking out for the back. And okay, Zoe, I'm catching up to you even though you're a little bit further ahead than me. I seriously doubt that. You're very slow. Yeah, look, I'm already caught up in Nox. What in the world are you doing? I'm helping. No, no, no. This is the path we're going to use. This can be like something else. And wait, Nox, you're a genius. I know. Okay, so after we added all these bamboo spikes, what we could do is like add in lava over there. That way it's super hard for them to get through it. Even if they do get through it, they're just gonna step in the bamboo. Ooh, a duplay mode. Oh my goodness, you're a total genius, Nox. What am I gonna do without you? <laughs> <laughs> Probably nothing. Okay, let's just go ahead and add these last few things. Uh, Spike Zoe, how's your side looking? Very good. Let's see just that last piece. And oh gosh, wait, we kind of forgot this corner over here. Okay, let's add in this corner real quick. And then we can start adding in those buckets of lava to help out Nox. Let's do it. So are we going all the way around with this lava moat? Yeah, I mean, we probably should go all the way around, right? That probably makes the most sense. Probably so. I'm just going to give one block space between the bamboo and the lava, okay? Okay, so I'll do the same exact thing on this backside. And uh, Nox, can you maybe like start on the other side? on the other side of the house. Right. Here we go. I'll break this out. And honestly, Nox, I'm already about to do your job for you since I'm way faster. I'm helping Zoe. Wait, you're helping Zoe? Why did Zoe need help? Uh, she was going kind of slow. I don't need any help. And you guys aren't even following the rule you made. You guys said one block away from where the bamboo sticks are. That's obviously like five. I started with two. But you started with two. What are you even talking about, Nox? I don't think you know how to count. No, it was definitely two. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to fix the obvious mistake that you made. Let me just add that in. Okay, perfect, guys. Now I'm going to grab us the lava bucket and we can fill this whole entire your ground with it. Bye. Okay, so I'll start filling in this side, and I guess uh, you two can start filling in wherever you want. And Nox, what is this artistic piece that you threw on top of our base? What is this supposed to be? That's gonna be an archery tower. Oh, it's gonna be an archery tower. And dude, what are you adding in over here? I put in plant oil. Plant? Why do we want plant oil? Because then they're gonna be all slippery, slipping into the spikes. That doesn't make any sense at all, Nox. The lava is way stronger. No, it's not. They'll be on fire by the time they get to the spikes. Plant oil? Isn't that what they use to make French fries? Yeah. Dude, we can't. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Let's just let Nox have his way. Okay, Nox, uh, you said you're using plant oil, right? Yeah. Okay, so how about we just go ahead and help him out, Zoe, since he's obviously not going to give up with this stupid oil. But we've already done all of the lava. 
lava. Yeah, I know we've already done it all, but Nox is just going to keep being dumb until we do what he says. Oh my gosh. But if we do want something more destructive where this plant oil is, maybe we could do for this next layer where the gap is, is just add in like a bunch of lasers and stuff. That would be super cool. I like lasers. Okay, so first let's finish up this plant oil. Oh my gosh. Nox, did you do this side over here? No. Yes, you did because it's uneven again. How'd you even manage to do that? I don't know what you mean. It looks cool. No, you completely did it wrong. No, you did it wrong. Look, all I'm going to do is just break out this over here and click on the other side. Set it to be zero. And okay, this is how it's supposed to look, Nox. Not how you did it. Oh, it's uneven right here. Look at this. Wait, what are you even saying, Nox? Right here. Right here? What? What are you talking about? It's uneven. That's what I'm doing. I'm filling it in. You're just standing there with a dumb block in your hand. You're just a blockhead. You can't call him a blockhead. But he is a blockhead. That's crazy. Yeah, it's not very nice. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how the lasers work. These things are super cool and really strong. They're going to defend our base. All right. How do they work? Well, all we need to do is put down one of these redstone blocks here, smack a laser on top, and Nox, get off of it. You're going to get zapped. I get zapped? So, wait, ah! can you, like, pick up Nox and go take him somewhere? He's being dumb. I'm not going to pick him up, but I actually know one of his biggest fears. Snowballs! Hey, stay away from me! Why in the world? You're afraid of snowballs, Nox? You're just a big baby. Okay, Zoe, look, I'm going to show you what these do. If I put the laser down here, and then I go into it, I can put a bunch of these super cool things inside of it. That is super cool, but can you make the laser thicker? Yep, I'm going to make the laser way thicker. Look at this. It's called B mode. Look how much cooler this is. That's insane. You still look like bees. Stay back. It's a B mode, Nox. Ow, she's in here, stab us. Okay, guys. So can you actually go ahead and put down a bunch of the redstone and I'll fill it in with a bunch of the lasers. That way we can do this really fast. Sounds good. All right. Okay, I'm guessing I'll just follow Zoe on this side or honestly, I'll just follow whoever's faster. You both are kind of slow. Honestly, Nox is probably faster. Okay, then I'll follow Nox's side. Let's do this, Nox. All right. Are you going to put some down and I break them? No, I'm going to put down all the lasers and you're going to put down all the redstone stuff. All right. See, if you just turn around, I already have like a huge wall of lasers behind you. Okay. And actually, I think I could probably do this by going fast. I could probably hop between both of you guys' sides since you're both pretty slow at this. I'm almost done. Yeah, me too. But no, neither one of you guys are almost done. You still have the whole back row to do. And I'm almost done with it. Okay, I'm filling it this side by Nox. Now I'll go over to Zoe's side and out of these super cool lasers. Guys, our base is going to be so well defended. I mean, Wait, you're in the middle of a laser, Zoe? What are you talking about? Well, I think a laser started, and somehow you put it without the redstone. Oh, well, that's um, that's a little weird. But hey, look, all our redstone lasers are done. Sheesh, this looks awesome. So is this it for our defenses? Honestly, probably not. I think we're gonna have to add in some more stuff. But wait, guys, before we add in some more defenses, maybe we should check up on the smiling critters again. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, let's just go ahead and check on them. I doubt anything crazy has happened. And oh my gosh, guys, they're even bigger. This is not good. They look so much scarier. Ah, they're growing up! What in the world, guys? I guess the closer it gets to nighttime, the bigger they get. So maybe once it becomes fully night, they're gonna be like 20,000 feet tall. Honestly, I don't wanna come back over here again. What if they can break through the glass next time? Yeah, I don't think I wanna come back here either, but I mean, we have to keep checking up on them. So what else are we gonna do? Actually, I have just a thing. I have the security camera and this camera monitor. We can watch them without leaving our base. Oh my gosh, the way you're a genius. So I think all I need to do is put down a camera on this wall over here and let me just check it out. Yes, guys, look, I can see them. Perfect. Awesome. Now we don't have to leave our base. Yeah, it's great. I'm putting a wall of fire around them. Uh, okay. Why are you putting a wall of fire? So that as soon as they break out, they'll step in the fire. Okay, I guess that's a good idea. Uh, let's just let them keep doing that, Zoe. I think we should get back to our base. Or it's a good way to make them mad so they attack us early. Nah, they won't do that. Why would they do that? They're literally smiling critters. They're like the evilest, most grossest people ever. Because they're stuck in the glass. I guess they are stuck in the glass. And oh, wait. Wait, Zoe, did you just think of the same thing I thought of? Yeah, how the heck are we going to get over? That's a really good question. Uh, Maybe we should have something going underground. That's such a good idea. A secret underground tunnel? Yes, exactly. We could have a secret tunnel. So let me build out a little area where I think it could be. And then we're going to have to get some ghost blocks. Or maybe we could even get like a ghost trap door. I think we should use ghost blocks. You want to use ghost blocks and just fall down? What do the enemies fall down? Hmm. I guess that's a good idea. So maybe a trap door? Yeah, we could probably use a trap door. Let me just try to dig up it. Okay, perfect. This is right inside of our base. Let me grab one of those trap doors. I have one. Oh, you have one? Do you have like a normal trap door or do you have a secret trap door? 
I don't think I have the right trap door. Let me see if I can find it. Secret pressure plate, secret lever. You better just find it. Oh, I found it. Uh, I mean, I already had it for like the past 30 seconds, but sure, I guess that works. Secret trap door. Boop. Okay, perfect. So basically this thing's gonna look like a grass block, but as soon as we flick it, you can just go underground. And I'm guessing we're gonna need some ladders too. Yeah, that'd probably be wise because Nox is just gonna fall and roll his ankle. Yeah, I just fell. Yeah, you probably should be a little bit more careful, Nox. Move out the way. You're just taking up all the space. Fine. How are we gonna know which grass block is our trap door? Yeah, that's a good point, Zoe. Maybe we could have like a special block right here. That way we know it's like right underneath. Hmm. It, I think I honestly have like the most perfect thing that we could put there. What is it? I'm gonna grab this creeper trophy. And oh my gosh, Nox, you're the way again. Creeper trophy. Perfect. They'll never suspect it. It's a skeleton. Yeah, exactly. See that is same reaction that you had. That's how the smiling critters are gonna feel. And they're gonna be so scared. They're not even gonna wanna come near it. So let me just make sure to clean this up. And Zoe, where are you going? I'm going to build the other side. Well, I was building the side right here. This is why you can go up to the surface. Where? Oh, right here? Yeah, right here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put all of these ladders and perfect guys now we have a way inside and it's super secret so they're not gonna be able to figure us out this is gonna be so cool to use but probably what i should do is just wait Knox, what are you doing Knox, get out of there no get get, get out oh my gosh are you dumb he was impaled oh my goodness well i think i'm gonna have one of these secret trap doors on this side too that way they really don't know it oh gosh we're gonna have to find Knox. Knox, where are you Apple blast! wait you're lost oh gosh come on where could Knox even be it Knox, how are you on top of a tree Look up here! I spawned up here! Oh my goodness, dude, get down from there! How am I supposed to do that? Uh, just jump on this dirt block. I promise it'll protect you. Okay. Here you go. Oh, oh, wow. You still took damage. But look, we're going back to the base. Okay, you're coming with me. Wait, I was trying to save Nox. And now I'm stuck in the tree. What in the world? Oh my gosh, Zoe. Okay, I'll come back and get you too. Ow! I just fell. But you fell too. What is wrong with you guys? We're just trying to keep up. But look, I put something down on our side of the wall. So that means we can tell where the trap door is. Oh, you put a little panda. This thing is adorable. Exactly. That means we can't miss the trap door. Okay, guys. Well, I think the outside of our base is looking pretty good. But now we have to do the inside. What should we add? Well, I'm thinking just in case we do get attacked, we probably need some type of like armory room. That would be so smart. But we don't exactly have a lot of room. Yeah, we don't have a lot of room. So I guess we're going to have to convert our bedroom into a nice armory room. That's a good idea. So let's go ahead and break out all the walls. And I guess each one of us can claim a side. Uh, I want this side over here. Okay, I want this side. I'm going to be down here. Wait, you're going to be down there, Nox. Why do you want to build down there? Because it's going to be really nice down there. Okay, I guess you can do that. And honestly, Zoe, instead of having like a chest and armor stance, I think I'm going to have like automatic armor dispensers. Ooh, I love those, but I kind of forgot how to make them. How do you do it again? Oh, look, I can show you. Let me grab all the stuff I need. I'm pretty sure I just need like some dispensers, some fences, and I think the last thing I need is just a pressure plate. And then I should be able to build it. Okay, can you show me on my wall? Oh yeah, I guess I could show you on your wall first. So what you want to do is put two dispensers on one side, two dispensers on the other side, and then fill it off on the final side just like that. And oh yeah, you also need one on the floor, so I don't forget that. I'm not forgetting. Okay, once you have this, you have to fill them all up. So uh, what type of armor do you want? Probably netherite. Okay, I guess I can get you netherite armor. Let me just grab all of this real quick and I'll start filling in all the dispensers with it. Sweet. What about golden apples and like a sword and a shield? Oh yeah, you probably are going to need golden apples and like a sword and a shield okay uh let me grab you a shield as well and maybe we can have a chest for the golden apples since you probably want a lot of them Ooh, so tasty let me throw in this shield on this side over here is where i'll throw in the sword okay so wait, now i'm gonna put down the fence with the pressure plate and look you can test it out just by stepping inside how do i look whoa you look so cool you look you're definitely ready to take out all those smiling critters wait i want to see myself i think i'm gonna have to place down a mirror wait a mirror what in the world's a mirror look so we can see ourselves oh my gosh i look fabulous what the what wait this thing is so cool i can see myself we look amazing put on your armor oh yeah i actually need to make mine since i was just too busy making yours so let me build mine out real quick and instead of using netherite like you did i think i'm gonna use diamond armor since i really like the color yeah that is a cool color so let me start filling in all the dispensers with this armor i'll fill up all the chest plates and oh yeah i also need to get myself probably a shield and a sword as well i'm thinking for the shield i'm gonna add this super heavy shield so that probably protects you a lot more and then of course i'll just throw in a diamond sword okay so wait, i'm gonna go ahead and test this thing out let's see drum roll and here we go zoe how do i look sheesh you look super cool whoa look at this huge shield i bet this thing can definitely defend me wait i want that shield what you want that shield too uh zoe you just took my stuff i 
got double shields. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I guess if you want my shields, you could have that. Okay, Zoe. And while Nox is down there building his armor room, I think we should actually add one more thing up to the top. I just thought of a genius idea. What is it? I think we should add in some super cool TNT cannons. TNT cannons? How does that even work? Well, the first thing we need to do is go up to where Nox's little archer tower is. So let's go ahead and make us a little platform. And we probably only need two TNT cannons since I don't really trust Nox shooting TNT. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that either. Okay, I think this platform is looking big enough. Now I need to get some dispensers, some TNT, and also a bit of redstone. So let me grab all the materials that I need. Okay, Zoe, so what I need to do is start building up on this side. And I'm pretty sure we have to go like six dispensers deep, or maybe it's just five and then we have like a final one on top. Okay, yeah, I think this is how it's supposed to be. It doesn't look like anything crazy. No, I promise you, Zoe, it's going to be the greatest thing ever. Look, let me just add it to the other side. And oh yeah, I also need a slab to make sure the TNT doesn't go flying. So let me grab a piece of that. Perfect. Uh, you said the word slab. What, what's wrong with the word slab, Zoe? It's just funny to say. Slab, 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 slab. Okay. I mean, I guess the word slab's kind of funny. Slab. Okay. Let me go ahead and add in the water. And if it goes right... Okay. Yeah, this looking... Uh, I think this is looking pretty good. Honestly, I don't know, Zoe. This could all end up blowing up in her face. Um, I'm going to back up. Okay. Yeah. You can back up. I'm going to finish building this out because I think the last thing I need to do is just add in some redstone repeaters and put it to a tick of two. And on top of those, I'll just add in a bunch of this redstone. And we're also going to need ourselves a little lever to press. Okay, now what I have to do is just fill up each one of these dispensers with a bunch of TNT. This is probably the slowest part, but it's going to give us the most power. Okay, Zoe, and I think the last thing I need to do is just connect this to a lever, and now I'm going to test this out, but this might not work, so we're going to see. Back up! I'm going to hit the lever. Okay, go ahead and hit the lever. Let's see if this works. Please, please work. Please work. And yes, the TNT is going. Come on, come on, come on. How did it work? Wait, did you see that, Zoe? It hit like right over here. That was perfect. But it didn't do anything to their base. Can I try it again? Oh, wait. Maybe since it was a little bit too high up and oh gosh, Zoe, I wasn't even ready for that. Why not? Because I'm thinking we're going to need to add something different because you're right. It really isn't going to their base because it's going up a little bit too high. Maybe we need to make it go lower. How do you do that? Well, all I'm thinking we need to do is just throw a slap up here. Okay, Zoe, can you go ahead and flick the lever again? Okay, but it feels like I'm doing most of the work. Zoe, you literally haven't done anything. What are you even talking about? Here we go. Come on, please work. Please work. And yes, it blew up right in front of their base. That was perfect. Huzzah. Okay, but like I said, I do want to add in two of these because I'm imagining you want one too, right? Um. Um, this one's mine. So if you want one, then you're going to have to build it. Are you serious, Zoe? I literally just spent all my time making that and you're making me make another one. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, fine. Whatever. Well, I guess I can just build it out since I actually know how to build these things. Good job, Dax. That's why we keep you around. But wait a sec. Where's Nox? Oh, I'm pretty sure Nox is still making his armor room. Hey, uh, Nox, how's it uh, going down there? Okay. Is your armor room almost done? I feel like you've been down there for like an hour. It's almost done. Okay, Zoe. So how about we finish this up real quick and then we can go see what Nox has done. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's put down these little pressure plates. And oh yeah, I also need to get myself some bedrock that I could just fill in with a bunch of water. Let's make sure to run the redstone all the way back here to our super cool switch. And oh wait, I also need to add in the dispensers to the front. So let me add those in real quick. One more of these, one on this side, and we'll place a little slab on top. Okay, Zoe, I'm gonna test this one out. Let's do it. Let's see if this this works. Come on. Please be super cool. Please be super cool. Take out their whole entire base and let's go. Look at that. What the heck? That one seems better than mine. I want this one now. What? No, Zoe. You can't have the one. Are you serious? It's mine now. Uh, fine. Okay. How about we go ahead and shoot them at the same time and see which one's better? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's do this. And oh, you were so slow, Zoe. You're slow. No, you're slow. And let's see what yours is better. Heck yeah. I told you. I have a good picking. Uh, fine. Whatever. Okay. I guess you can have that. Let me just add in some fences to the outside to make sure no one falls off. That's probably smart. I'd fall. Yeah, you would fall. Nox would probably fall. And then it would be a big mess. Let's just connect all the fences to the outside over here. Okay, so do you want to go check out Nox's armory room? Let's do it. Okay, Nox. So uh, what's going on down here in your armory room? And why do you have so many sets of armor? Uh, that's our army. This is our army. Wait, these guys are going to fight for us? You said it was an army room. Oh, no. I meant an armory room. But I mean, you can still wear this armor. I'm still going to wear it. I have that. I have apples. I have swords. I have bows. I have everything you can need. Okay, Nox. That's actually pretty cool. And what is this hallway supposed to be? Like a little relaxing area? This could be our escape path in case we need to bail out. Wait, an escape path? You think we're going to have to leave? Yeah, just in case. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. And wait, if we're making an escape path, maybe we should have like a button that blows everything up. Hey, super cool. Okay, so I'm actually going to help you make out this escape path real quick. Let's go ahead and dig up where this dirt 
is, and we're just gonna have to leave this to the surface. Zoe, why are you wearing my armor? I'm just standing super still, so you can't tell the difference between me and the armor stands. Ah, uh, but it says your name. That doesn't make any sense at all. But if I stand in line and super still, you won't be able to tell. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave the room, and then you go hide. Okay, sounds good. Oh, wait, I actually kind of want to watch this and see if you can find her. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, here it comes. Oh, let's see if Nox can find Zoe. Come on, let's see. Uh, well, this one doesn't have a head, so this one could be her. No, I'm pretty sure that's not her, Nox. I think I know where she is. Is it this one? No. Uh, maybe she's not even down here. No, I promise you she is here, Nox. I can see her. <laughs> Look, let me give you a little hint. I think it's probably going to be something over here. Let's see. And wait, no, this block looks different, but I don't really understand why. It's different. I don't really know what she did. And oh, I think Nox found you. Ah, you found me. Good job. You were even down there. But you said we were playing hide and seek. I hid, you seeked. I guess that makes sense. Good job. Okay, Nox, let's go ahead and finish up this escape route area. And we're also going to need a button for like a big thing of TNT. So can you actually make like a little room that we're going to light off? All right. I thought we weren't supposed to trust Nox with TNT. No, he's not going to use the TNT. He's just going to put down the button right now. Right, Nox? Yeah, totally. Okay, let me grab the stairs because we need a fast way to escape. Okay, so I'm going to put down all the stairs over here. And I guess he can just clear out like a little path that we're going to run on. Okay, I'll clear the path. But I don't want to chop down this tree. Just make like a little area where we can have like a safe house. So maybe get like some reinforced glass. Okay, I'll do that. It's going to go right here. Okay, Nox. So what we're going to have to do is have a button go right underneath their base. Let's go ahead and figure out where it is. All right. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure these blocks are dug out. And then I think all I need to do is just dig straight up. Let's see if we're underneath the base in perfect knocks. I found the Poppy Playtime Factory. Awesome. Set the bombs. Yep, I'm going to put a bomb here. But first, let me make sure I put a bunch of TNT with a whole bunch of repeaters because we don't want this to blow up or run right next to it. Yeah, good idea. So actually, first, I guess I can just go ahead and run into all this redstone and I'll come back. And Nox, are you decorating the walls? Yeah. Why do you want to make it all red? Red's a gross color. No, it's the best color. No, red is not the best color. It's obviously obviously green. Uh, no, it's not. Well, whatever. It doesn't even make a difference what you say. Okay, I think all the redstone is basically added in. Let me just make sure to throw in a bunch of repeaters. That way it doesn't blow up. And then I'll add in the super cool TNT. I'll just place these last two. And finally, like I said, I need to find a piece of TNT that works for us. So we want like a really big explosion, I'm imagining. Yeah, we want a huge one. So let's see which one of these is the coolest. Oh, wait. I think I have the perfect idea for something we could use. Hey, yeah, what? This one's like a huge meteor. I don't even know how to pronounce it but we're going to use it. So, Docs, I'm going to go ahead and set this back here and it will light everything up. So make sure not to press the button, okay? Hey. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a little wall right here and maybe we can even put the reinforced glass here. I'm going to throw this button, but make sure not to press it. Otherwise, everything's going to blow up. Wait, we should press it? No, you can't press the button. Nox, get out of here. Go get, you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and you're getting out of here. No! Yeah, get out of here. You're not allowed in there. Only I can go in there because you're dumb. I'm gonna press the button. And actually, Zoe, did you make that little fort that I asked for? Yep. It's right up there. Okay, let's go ahead and see. And yeah, this is perfect. This is reinforced glass. So whenever everything blows up, we can just watch. Exactly. Okay, guys. And actually, I'm going to check up on the cameras real quick. We haven't looked at them in a minute. Yeah, we haven't looked at them. Let's see what's going on. It, guys, I think they escaped from the glass. No way. That means we have to get suited up. Oh, gosh. This isn't good. Yeah, everyone make sure to grab all of your armor. Okay, I think uh, which one's mine, Zoe? This one's over here is mine. This one's mine. Okay, and Nox also has to grab his. And oh, wait, Nox, you have golden apples, right? Yeah, I have some. Okay, perfect. We actually need some of those because I don't think me or Zoe even have those. I think there's a stack in here for each and everybody. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll take this. And Zoe, there's also a stack in there for you. And then we can go take out all those stupid smiling critters. And there's golden arrows in here. Those are my golden arrows. They're mine now. Huh? Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take them out. And oh, gosh, there's so many of them. Look, they're stuck in the oil. It's working perfectly, Nox. Perfect. Yeah, I told you the oil was a great idea. Okay, guys, I'm going to use the secret trap door and go over there and start fighting them. Me too. Oh, my gosh. Guys, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. And why do they look so weird? I don't know. They do look really weird. Oh my gosh. Wait, it must be what Nox is doing to them with the arrows. Yeah, I'm shooting them with spectral arrows. Oh, you're using spectral arrows. That makes sense. It gives them like a weird outline. I'm getting jumped. Uh, Zoe, it looks like only one person is fighting you. I think you're doing okay. It's two. Now I have like 16 of them. Oh gosh, yeah, there's a bunch of them on me too. What in the world, Nox? Are you even using your bow and arrow? 
Oh, is that a mutant creeper? A mutant creeper? What are you talking? No, dude, that's the creeper from earlier. Creeper from earlier? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Have you been shooting at the same creeper the whole time, Nox? That's just a statue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you serious, Nox? Yeah, I saw it like half skeleton. I got worried. I fell. It, wait a second, guys. Did he just get even bigger? This is not good. I'm going to go back in the base. Yeah, I'm probably going to go back in the base too, Zoe. We didn't light up the TNT cannons. But I can't even see where the little entrance is. Oh gosh, I can barely see the entrance either. What the what? I think I'm just going to jump through it. Wait, I got through somehow. I'm going to jump through. They're entering the base. Help me. Help me. Hurry up, Zoe. Get up here to the TNT cannon, please. I can't. Wait, what do you mean you can't? Are you still stuck, stuck out there? I'm stuck in the bamboo. Oh, that was scary. Zoe, open the door. Okay, I'm going to start lighting off the TNT cannons. Come on. Please go ahead and take a bunch of them out. Please, please. It, oh, gosh. Wait, I think the TNT cannons are too tall, Zoe. Oh, my gosh. I told you. You don't know how to build. What? No, you didn't tell me at all. You said they were good. You took mine. No, that's not true. I said I could do so much better than that. Then why did you build one yourself? Because I didn't want to. Because I'm lazy. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, do we have anything else that can help us out? Um, Just my super good archery skills, but they can only go so far. Bob, we need to get out of here. Yeah, honestly, I think we need to get out of here, too. Okay, Zoe, go ahead and get to the safe house, and I'm going to go ahead and press the button. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to press the button. No, Nox, you can't press the button. You better get out of here. Press the button. No, you're not pressing the button. Get out of here. Get, get, get. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go to the thing. I'm going to press the button. No, you can't press the button. I'm going to put a piece of bedrock down, and then you won't be able to get through. You're not going to be able to get through. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and press the button. Oh, gosh. Wait, guys, the button didn't work. What the heck? What do you mean it didn't work? I think it's because of the glass. Okay, let me just go ahead and break this button. Come on, please, please. And, oh, wait, I can't even break it. What's going on? Is it reinforced glass? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I have to go ahead and grab some wood. Let me just go ahead and steal from our base really quick. Oh, my gosh. How did this happen? Honestly, I have no idea, but I can build a button super fast. No worries. Okay, I have the button. Let me just go ahead and make sure I can actually place this thing down. And, oh, my gosh. I keep putting it in the wrong spot, guys. Oh, my gosh, Dax. Hurry up. Yeah, they're getting closer. Okay, here we go. And, guys, I'm running quick. Okay, I'll open the door for you. Open it, open it, open it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We did it, we did it, we did it. And, guys, oh, my gosh. The explosions are coming down. Look up in the sky. Oh, I don't see anything yet. Tactical nuke incoming. Oh, my goodness. Everything's about to get destroyed. Make sure to eat your golden apples. I'm eating, I'm eating. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Everything's just getting destroyed right now. This is awesome. There's so much fire. There is so much fire, but guys, wait. I'm not seeing any of the smiling critters in the front of our base anymore. That means they're gone. This is so perfect. Wait, I think all the TNT stopped, guys. I think we can go outside now. Sweet. Well, yeah, we might have been able to take all of them out, guys, but but I think our base is like completely destroyed. We don't have a home anymore. Oh my gosh, we don't have any floor. Today we're playing Build to Survive in Minecraft. Wait, what's Build to Survive? Well, in a few minutes, a bunch of super scary monsters are gonna surround us and we're gonna have to build in order to survive them. Oh gosh, well, we better get to building. Wait, what are we even supposed to build? Well, basically we all need to build like a defense base. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and build in this green area and I guess Nox, you can go to the red and Zoe, you can go to the purple, but quick guys, they're gonna Come attack us any second. I'm on it. Hurting. Well, in order to build my first base, what I think I'm going to do is make like a whole entire outline out of some of this lime wool. Since this could definitely defend me. Lime wool? That's not strong at all. Wait, what the, What are you going to do, Zoe? Like dirt or something. I don't know. You're going to use dirt? Zoe, do you know how weak dirt is? Are you serious? Stronger than wool? No, it literally is not stronger than wool. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, wool sucks. Wait, wool sucks? And Nox, are you using coal? Yeah, I'm using coal. How is coal gonna help you out. Dude, we're gonna get totally attacked and we're gonna lose because of the both of you. You're gonna make us lose because you're using wool. What if someone comes over with fire and burns it down? Okay, wait. You're actually kind of right about the fire. Well, maybe I should use, like, concrete or something. What do you think about that? Yeah, here, I'll help you. Okay, you're gonna help me? Wait, why don't you just worry about your base? Your base is a done... Hey, wait, are you lighting it all on fire, Nox? Yeah, see, I'm telling you how bad it is. Oh, my gosh. Look, I already understand wool is a bit bad, but I'm replacing it now, so everything should be okay. It's too late to replace it. Hurry up! It's too late to replace it. Dude, we have so much time left. What are you panicking? about. We've only got like three minutes. Three minutes. You can't even count. What are you even doing? You're just building like a coal tower that looks totally dumb. Yeah, I'm gonna get up here. Uh, they're gonna get up there the same way you got up there. What are you even talking about? They can just climb. Nah, not if I build like a huge funnel that stops them. Whatever. And Zoe, what are you doing? It looks like you're adding in some iron fences. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. Thanks. 
thanks. It'll keep all the monsters out. Yeah, I guess maybe for my outside, what I can do is also add in some fences. But wait, did you see any other type of cool fences, Zoe? Or did you just find the iron ones? I just found the iron ones. Well, maybe I can grab something else first. Let me just finish all these walls over here. And I think I'm on my final side and then I can find some fences. Maybe I can get like some really fancy ones or something. Here we go. Just a few more blocks. And okay, perfect. I think my thing is basically done. And oh my gosh, Docs, a bunch of my wool is still on fire from you. You were building fast at all. It was taking so long. I am building super fast. And dude, what are you even building? What's going on over here? This is my platform. It's going to go all the way up these stairs. And uh -huh. then once you're at the top, then you're going to go around this little bed. I'm going to break this corner. And then you're going to break this corner. And then this is my platform where I'm going to shoot at him with arrows. Wait, so you're basically just going to hide up here while me and Zoe are fighting? Of course. What the heck? Zoe, do you hear that? What is Nox doing? He's just going to hide up there while we're fighting. He made himself like a little platform that he's just going to hide inside of. Are you really surprised? It sounds just like something Nox would do. Uh, Nox, why are you such a big scaredy cat? Because I don't want to die here. Well, you know, that's honestly fair enough. Let me just finish the rest of this. And wait a second. Instead of like placing all these blocks by hand, why don't I use a command to do it? I'm pretty sure all you need to do is select two of these corners over here. And I'm thinking for the four, I'll switch to oak planks. And oh my gosh, that was so much easier. Let me make sure to finish out the last little piece of this and once again instead of using those stupid blocks one by one all i could do is just set this to be lime concrete and perfect there we go the floor is all done why do you start adding in more stuff okay i like that zoe's doing a bunch of this and zoe do you have a doorbell on your house yes that means that nobody can come in unless they ring the doorbell duh wait i want to try the doorbell let me just go ahead and uh click that and zoe i don't think your doorbell works try it again oh wait okay now ding it's dong. working oh okay um i didn't know that you were gonna be the thing that actually made the dinging noise go ahead and do it again uh okay Okay, there you go. Ding dong! Uh, okay, well, I pressed the doorknob and no one opened the door for me, Zoe. That's super rude. Oh, that's because you have to push the button underneath the doorbell. Wait, then why would I even push the doorbell if I could just push the button underneath it? So you can hear me say ding dong! Okay, and actually, I also like that you added in a door. Let me see. Do I have any type of cool doors I could use? And wait, I have like the most genius idea for a door. What is it? What if I throw it a super cool big iron door? An iron door? That sounds kind of lame. What, Zoe, you literally did an iron door too. What are you talking about lame? I know, but mine's so much better and it's actually pretty lame to copy somebody how could it be what how could yours even be better mine's the same thing except mine's like three blocks tall and yours is only like one block tall it's not one block tall you're one block tall zoe that's not even an insult it is because you're short oh whatever okay let me just add in my roof over here and okay perfect i probably need some pressure plates to get outside of this too and yes this is looking so cool let me just make sure to add some fences on the outside and i like what you did zoe so honestly i think i'm gonna copy that seriously you're copying me again no 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 fine i'm not gonna copy you actually instead i'm gonna throw some of these barbed wire fences on the outside these look a lot safer than what you have i'm not too sure about that let me just add this in docs are you making like a maze up there what's ah! even going on now did you just fall off yeah i fell oh my goodness you think that's safe at all what happens over the mobs are coming to attack you you're gonna panic and probably fall off again it's not meant to be safe it's meant to get them uh okay i mean i guess that kind of makes sense of course it's a good idea it's gonna be a large big spiral up here that i can share with the arrows and all this good stuff and especially it's tough for them but to get all the way up here uh okay nox i think you're honestly thinking a bit too hard it sounds like your brain's about to blow up your brain's about to blow up shut up no i'm doing perfectly fine look let me just add in some glass that way i can actually see all the mobs around us and my base is looking pretty good but i kind of do want an archer area like nox did so maybe i can make some stairs going up to the second floor let me add in these last ones and oh yeah i probably should do it in the front as well uh let me just run a nice little command and there we go now we do the same thing over to this side and perfect my house is looking so good let me just add in some ladders i could use at the back of my house in order to get up to the top floor here we go i also add some in this corner and now i can have my little archer area up here just like Nox. And Zoe, are you also building an archer area? Yeah, you guys copied me. What? We literally did not copy you. Nox, did you copy her? I ain't copy her at all. Yeah, see, he didn't copy you and I definitely didn't copy you. Why would anyone want to copy what you do? Because you've been copying me this whole time. Yeah, 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 whatever, Zoe. I don't think me and Nox have done anything wrong. Okay, I just have a few more of these stairs to add in and then I think my house should be pretty much completed. And uh, wait a second, guys. I just got put in survival mode. How about you? Yeah, I'm in survival. I'm in survival too. And what are all the Oh gosh, guys, it looks like a bunch of the smiley critters are here. There's so many of them. Better grab our weapons. Oh, wait a second, guys. I didn't grab any weapons. Uh, wait, do you guys have any extra weapons? I'm not giving them to you. Yeah, I'm not giving you mine. What? Nox, come on. Do you have any extra weapons, please? I would love them. But ah, can't have them in my build. No way. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm getting attacked by all of them. Help me, help me, please. Be careful, Dax. Come on, Nox. Can I please come up there and get a bow and arrow, please? No, you would be a to me. No, please. Okay, I take it all back. Uh, you're the best. And I'm like the worstest ever. Please, Nox, just help me. Dax, come on my side. 
side. Wait, come on your side. Let me go ahead and see. Can I get in there? Yes, let me use this block. Perfect, I made it inside. Okay, well, hurry up. They're following you. Zoe, I'm not even pressing the stupid doorknob. I'm just getting up here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, look, let me grab one of these bows and arrows. And perfect, now I can help you take them out. Let's do this, guys. I hope you have good aim. Yeah, look, I have pretty good aim. I'm hitting these guys from all the way across. And oh gosh, now I'm missing a lot. They're so far. Yeah, they are pretty far. You know what, Zoe? I'm actually still gonna go back down there and I'm gonna fight them on the ground. Good for you. I'm gonna stay up here. Run them in the line around you. Run them in one of the what? Wait, what? Run them around you. If you run faster than them, then I can shoot them. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and gather a bunch of them. Actually, I'm gonna take out some of the ones on the outside since they're doing absolutely nothing. Good idea. Here we go. And okay, how many more do we have left? You guys are at the top. How much can you see? I see like five. I see two to the left and one in the front. Oh, okay, so that's like um at least like four or something. I don't really know, but we're doing pretty good. I'm not gonna Okay, I took out all the ones in the back, and you guys said you see some in the front, too? Yeah, all the way up here. I'm about to take them out. Okay, perfect. You can take out that. I'll start taking out these catnaps over here, and then I think we should be pretty much good, guys. We did really good for the first round. And wait, are you trying to shoot at me, Nox? I'm trying to give me some extra arrows. Ah, I fell! Oh, my gosh. See, I told you it was dangerous. Yeah, that was scary. It, wait a second, guys. It put me back in creative mode. Me, too. That must mean it's over. Oh, yeah. That means we won. Let's go. Thank goodness. Nox, you're building is so weird. What? What are you talking about? Your build is weird. What if it rains? You're going to get all wet. So I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about surviving. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, this is a little bit complicated. I mean, you even fell off whenever you're trying to run back here. Yeah, but if they came up here, they'd fall off too. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But guys, the rounds are only going to get harder and harder. So we're probably going to need a bit more defenses. Okay. So what should we do next? Well, guys, what do you think we start adding in? We're going to need a lot more defenses. Um, Dax, your build looks horrible. Wait, what? My build looks horrible. Are you serious? Oh, wait, your build looks horrible. What are you even throwing in right now? I'm going to go add another two stories, I think. You're going to add another two stories? And what are these blocks over here? It says reinforced purple concrete? Yeah, it's super strong. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And uh, Nox, what are you going to do? Well, actually, I was going to ask you about your house. And uh, it doesn't really look very good. Okay, why is everyone talking mess about my house? My house looks totally awesome. Here, I'll help you take it down. Wait, what do you mean help me take it down? And Nox, what the heck did you just do? <laughs> Nox, stop blowing up my house. What is wrong with you? What do you mean? I'm helping you. I'm helping you upgrade. No, you're not helping me upgrade at all. Dude, now I have to build my whole thing. Stop throwing dynamite at me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Now I have to do everything again, Nox. Are you serious? Yeah, there's a little bit left. You know what? Honestly, I don't even want this thing anymore. Let me just uh, go ahead and set two positions, and then I can set this all to be zero. See, Nox, I took it all out. You're fine. You don't have to throw any more of that dynamite at me. Okay. Uh, now I have to start rebuilding the whole entire thing, but I did want to make my base a little bit better so honestly you might have helped me out a little bit Knox. you are welcome yeah 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 i mean i didn't want you to tell me you're welcome because you still kind of messed up my stuff but i'm just gonna take advantage of what you did all right so let's see zoe added in some reinforced purple concrete hey zoe what does reinforced concrete even mean it's just super strong reinforced means that it can't be broken wait what are you serious it can't be broken exactly that's what makes it super strong oh this is per okay actually i want to use this on my house uh zoe i'm gonna copy your idea sorry what's new well i mean it's just a really good idea since it's so strong. I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, I know. I'm super smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Well, let me just start building the base of my house over here. And I'm pretty sure once I'm done, I could just stack everything to be super high. Let's go ahead and do this. And Nox, are you upgrading your base with like coal blocks too? Yeah, I'm mean, gonna use coal blocks this time instead of coal ore. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. What's your weird obsession with coal? Well, because it's so strong. And especially if I get cold, I could burn it. Okay. So you want to like burn your house down? pretty much if i need to and if i have to i'll do what i gotta do okay nog zoe i think something's really wrong with him you're just finding that out no i've kind of known that for a long time he's just a little bit of a weirdo okay let me just make sure to stack these blocks and how far do i have to go okay i think i have to go like uh nine blocks maybe let me make sure that all lights up okay perfect this looks good but now i have to add in a door uh let's see what type of door can i add in? hey zoe did you change your door and no you still have an iron door i'm still working on it hey nox are you gonna add in a door at all no who needs doors? Oh, well, I mean, I thought doors were a good idea since it makes it hard for anyone to get inside. Nope, not at all. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna find my own door. Let's see. Uh, I have metal warning doors that I could use. Oh, maybe I could use... Oh, hey, I'm gonna use a golden door just to show everyone I'm super, super rich. You're not even 
even rich. What, what are you talking about? I literally have a golden door and you only have this stupid iron door with a disgusting doorknob on it. That's because I don't want any of my gold to get damaged in battle. Duh. Uh, okay, whatever. I think you're just poor, Zoe. That's not true. Okay, and for the outside of my base, I actually, I'm going to keep the same, like, fence theme, except I'm thinking I'm going to use, like, a bunch of lava to make, like, a lava moat. I just set the bottom of mine to be slime, so in case I fall off, I won't die. You set the bottom of yours to be slime? Honestly, that isn't a bad idea at all, Nox. Told you, it's a great idea. I'm full of those. Look, I'm going to try and be you for a second. Uh, here I am. I'm Nox. I have a bow and arrow, and oops, I'm stupid, so I fell off, and oh, yeah, look, the slime block saved me. Yeah, but see, at least I'm not stupid like your character was trying to be. What, what do you mean? You're literally the dumb one. I was talking about you. No, no, no. Uh, okay. And Zoe, what the? What are these things? It's Deep Slate. It's Deep Slate? Is this like strong? Oh, yeah, it's the reinforced one. Yeah, that means we're going to do super good in this next battle. Hey, Zoe, do you mind if I do a little experiment real quick? I guess. What are you going to do? Okay, look, let me just grab one of these and I can grab a super cool flint and steel. And let me just see if this actually gets destroyed. Oh, my gosh, Dex, no! Well, if it's reinforced, it should be strong enough. And see, look at that, Zoe. Nothing even got messed up. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Well, you sounded a little bit worried. No way. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and uh, fix all this ground over here. And actually, I don't want these stupid lanterns on the floor. Uh, What's something cooler I could use? Maybe I could just make it like a uh, bedrock below me. Here we go. There's the bedrock. Now, let me just keep digging out the outside because I want to have a really, really cool lava boat on the outside. It's totally going to protect me. Here we go. Let me just break some of these blocks and I'll break the front. And wait, I don't want the lava going all the way around. Otherwise, it'll be kind of hard for me to get in. Maybe I could use like a command block to make myself a bridge. But for now, let me just grab the lava and I can start filling it. Everything my base is going to be the most secure base ever. Probably not. What? I bet once the mobs get like really, really strong, you two are going to like come crying over to my base since mine's going to be so cool. I don't think so, Dax, but whatever you say. Yeah, I'm definitely not going over there. Well, we'll see about that, guys. Let me just add in the last few blocks of my lava. And wait, should I use barbed wire fences again? Hey, Zoe, what do you think about these iron fences? Are they really strong or are they just like, okay? They're super strong. Better than barbed wire for sure. What? Are you serious? they're actually better than barbed wire what makes them better than barbed wire they're just stronger i don't know but just saying they're just stronger isn't a real reason to convince me that doesn't even do anything well i'm not trying to convince you i'm too busy working on mine fine whatever okay let me see what other type of fences i have i mean i did really like the barbed wire and oh wait i have a perfect idea zoe you just gave me a super genius idea what is it what did i do i'm gonna use electric fence look at these things okay so it's gonna make bacon uh yeah i mean i guess i could make bacon let me just uh grab myself a piggy right here and punch him in and look at that it cooked the pig Ooh, bacon yum yep you can just hold on to the bacon and here you go Knox. i got you a little present oh what is it it's oh, a pig. pig yep this is your pig i'm gonna call you babe uh you're gonna call him babe yeah babe the pig that's a little weird why do you want to call him babe oink, 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 oink. uh okay Knox, you're a little weird actually i do have a name for him if you want to give it to him it's babe okay look 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 i'm gonna give him a super cool name just trust me okay uh -huh. Okay, look, here you go, Nox. Let me put you down this pig right here. And once I put this nameplate on him, look, he's upside down. Hey, why is he upside down? Uh, because that's what happens whenever you name them dinner bone. You never heard of that before? No, I have no idea about that. Yeah, well, now you have an upside down pig. And actually, why don't we just give him like a little fence? That way he doesn't escape. That actually gives me an idea. No, I don't want these fences here. But you know what? The fences here, what? It looks so cool. No. Okay, fine, fine. But what's your idea? What are you going to do to him? <laughs> I'm going to get a lasso. Okay. Wait, are you going to make him like hang off the edge? No. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't do some that cruel, would I? Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to come check back up on you a second. I'm going to keep putting in my fence, okay? Here we go. Let me just wrap my fence all around the edge. And I think my electric fence is basically done. My base is looking really good. Let me go check on Zoe. And uh, Zoe, why are you using water on your base? It's not regular water. It's fake water. Wait, what do you mean fake water? What does that do? That means it looks like regular water, but it actually hurts people. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. I want to spot a pig in there. Let me see what it does to him. And oh, wait. He landed on the plant. Let me just put up it and what it's actually hurting the pig oh don't put the pig in there yeah we're kind of just using a lot of pigs and Knox, what is going on over here <laughs> see how much fun is that dude what's the point of this you just have like a pig just lassoing around that's kind of weird that's a scarab that's spider pig uh hey zoe come look at this oh no do i have to yeah you kind of do if i had to see it you have to see it too this is not gonna be good look what Knox is doing over here to his pig oh my gosh 
Why is it hanging upside down like that? Spider pig! Spider pig! Look at him slink down like spider pig! You are one messed up kid, Docs. What is going on with your brain? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my build. Honestly, I'm tired of seeing the weird stuff that Nox does. Me too. Don't tell me to go over there again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Zoe. But if I saw it, you had to see it too. Okay, but the thing for the next thing I want to do is actually give myself a command block so I can make this whole area right here lava. So let me just grab one of those real quick. Okay, perfect. Now I have the blocks. Let me just get the coordinates so I can make this. And I'm guessing I probably also need a sign. That way I know. Let me place one sign over here and we'll say the bridge is on. And then I'll do another one on the other side that says bridge off. Now let me just place some command blocks. And what's the best way to place this? Okay, maybe what I could do is get some fake redstone blocks. What is fake redstone? Oh, well, let me go ahead and show you, Zoe. Basically, it looks like a normal block, except it works like redstone. So if I like put this block here and then I grab myself a nice iron door, I can make like a whole signal with it. That's super cool. How do you know all this? Uh, Because I'm a genius. Just look at this. If I press the button right here, look, the door opened up like it's actual redstone. Whoa, that is so cool. Yep. And it's going to be really, really difficult for any of the people attacking us to understand it since it's like a total genius idea. Yeah, it is a total genius idea. Good job, Dax. Now, let me place the command block down here and i have to type in our code let me see uh what were the coordinates they get okay there it is now i should be able to type this in okay let me just try this out and yes perfect this actually works okay i'm gonna have to copy this whole entire code and do the same thing over on this side that way i have an on and off switch i'll just place the first block there we'll run up all the fake redstone here i'll throw this button and now let's just do the same exact code except this is gonna say oh let's make it grass now we have the grass block in place and once i press this our grass will activate and once i run back in here it'll just turn completely turn off into lava this is a super advanced system and i don't think i really need it from the outside since i'm really only gonna be myself when i'm inside so let me just make sure i leave this on for now and once i come back into my house i'll make it super safe and let me go ahead and check up on zoe hey zoe what are you doing in here and oh gosh hey can you come open the door for me you can actually just click on it i can click on it and oh i thought it was like an iron door for some reason but why do you have a tv in here because that's my house this is your house wait you want to live on the first floor yeah why not i mean that's a little bit dangerous shouldn't you at least have like an iron door in the front or you just like this because it's kind of purple i like it because it's purple duh okay i mean that kind of makes sense uh what are you throwing up here is this gonna be like another archer area exactly okay that's uh kind of cool it knocks why do you have more pigs because they're meant to scare them off they're gonna see them and be like wow what the heck i don't want to go in there oh my gosh what is wrong with you actually you know what do you just want me to go ahead and make them dinner bone too that way they're upside down sure go for it okay here you go i'll make you dinner bone and i'll make you dinner bone oh gosh stop moving away from me and i'll make you dinner bone and finally, I'll make this one dinner bone. Look at this, Nox. Now they're all upside down. <laughs> See how much fun this is? Yeah, honestly, it is a little bit fun. Uh, but wait, I think you missed this one piggy down here. Why? What's wrong with him? Well, it's just kind of sitting on the floor. Look, I'll bring him up to you, okay? Yeah, what the heck is he doing? What? He's upside down like all the other pigs. What do you mean? What is he doing? All right. Well, uh, let's put him right here. Okay, yeah, sure. Go ahead and put it right there. You can really do this with any mob you want to, Nox. I don't want to do it with other mobs. I want to do it with pigs. Oh, okay, you're like a pig stand or something. Ow, why are you punching your pigs? Because that's get them off oh my gosh what's wrong with you can't hit your pigs that's like animal abuse yeah they like it they like it are you sure they actually like it Ox? Eh, that's what they say wait you can talk to pigs are you serious yeah i talk to them a little bit i go and uh they like it nox i don't think that's talking to pigs i think that's just you being a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny though. Okay, well, now that I have all that, maybe I should start building something on the roof too with like ladders or something. Hey, are you done, Dax? Uh, what do you mean? Am I done? What are you doing in my house? Are you finished? No, I'm not all finished. I'm still building stuff. Look, I'm adding in ladders right now. Why? Uh, Because I want to have like a little archer area up there. Why? Because if they're coming at me, I need to fight them off somehow. Duh. Why? Oh my gosh. Actually, well, since you're in here, do you want to see something cool that I added in? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so look, I have this little sign here. This one says bridge on and this one says bridge off. So if I go hide inside of here i can just press the bridge off and look it turns into lava how it's hot uh yeah because it's lava Knox. of course it's gonna be hot yeah i guess that makes sense and then if i put bridge on i can obviously just walk out and oh you just tricked me no i'm sorry oh my gosh Knox, what's wrong with you he was so young i'm still alive Knox. you don't need to freak out and zoe what are you doing on top of my house i'm not doing anything uh okay it looks a little bit suspicious wait did you just go invisible right in front of us we can still see you no way ah snowballs oh gosh hey, you know Knox is afraid of snowballs right well that's a him problem. I hate snow. Oh my gosh, Nox. There's no need to freak out. It's just Zoe being dumb. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She's right behind you throwing snowballs. Ah! Oh my goodness. Actually, hey, Zoe, do you want to show us what you did for your base real quick? Sure. Come on over. Okay. So if you come right this way, you can see that my house is completely surrounded by fake water. Oh yeah. I saw the fake water earlier. Hey, Nox, you know what fake water does? No, what does it do? Look, it actually hurts stuff. Uh, instead of grabbing a pig, because I always grab pigs, what if I just grab like a cat?
cow had put it in there. I have a piglet. Do you have a piglet? I mean, that doesn't really work. Oh yeah, it does work on them. Ah, that was graphic. Yeah, see, it hurts them. It acts like water, but it actually takes damage like lava. So it's really, really cool. It's acid. No, it's not acid. It's fake water. They just melted. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna ignore him. Uh, let me press the doorbell and then I guess I can come inside. Come in, ding dong. Uh, okay. We already came inside and pressed it. Nox, what are you doing? I want to hear the ding dong. You have to push the doorbell. Where? Outside. Look, the doorbell's right here, Nox. Just go ahead and press that thing. Oh, I'm going to push it a whole bunch of times. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, oh, ding gosh, dong. Oh, gosh, I'm breaking that. Nope, we're not doing this. Why? Why not? Because you're going to mess up Zoe's voice. That was Zoe that was doing that? Yeah, that was Zoe. What? You can't tell it's her voice? No, I thought that was the doorbell. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Zoe, can you just go ahead and show us around? Sure. So you can see my couch with my TV and my bed. And then I have my armor stand with like some swords and some golden apples in the chest. Okay, that's pretty cool. And Nox, what are you watching over here? Oh, God. Zoe, you're hurting his brain. Let me just turn that off. There you go. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. That's scary. And oh, look, this is a lot better. What type of channel is this? It's Animal Planet. It's Animal Planet. What's this one over here? Come upstairs. Stop worrying about the TV. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just uh, go ahead and turn off the TV. There we go. Okay, we're coming upstairs, Zoe. Good. And this is supposed to be your little archer area, right? Yep, sure is. Ah, this is pretty cool. What's with all the pots? The flowers? Yeah, those are, that's a lot of pots. It's to keep unwanted visitors away. Okay, that's uh, kind of cool. And wait, you didn't have this letter last time I came here. What is this meant for? This is the second archery tower, except we're not using bow and arrows. We're using snowballs. Wait, you're using snowballs? Zoe, are those even going to hurt them? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. I kind of like the stuff that you added in. Thank you. You're missing a corner. Oh, yeah, you are missing a corner. Uh, let me just throw one of these. Nox, move your big head. Ah, uh, fine. Look, there you go. Actually, let's make this a little bit better, and I'll put, like, one of these in all the corners. That way, it, like, evens up. Aw, thanks for the help, guys. Are these just gates? They're just gates. Yeah, obviously, they're gates. You just open them up. Oh, is this to, like, escape? Exactly. Ah, that's pretty smart. Uh, how do you get down, though? If you jump into the water, you get hurt. No, it doesn't hurt us. It just hurts unwanted guests. Ah, that makes sense. Am I a wanted guest? No. Oh. Okay, Nox. Well, uh, how about you go ahead and show us the upgrades you made to your base? All right, this way. Okay, let's see. And Zoe, look at all the upside down pigs he has. This is crazy. Let's check out my snowballs. Boop, boop. Hey, what? You can't hit his pigs? I did it. Oh my gosh. So, it was coal. It still is coal. Number one. Number two. There's slime at the bottom so I don't hurt myself. Number three. Pigs. They've been added. Number four. Arrows. There's more of them and that's it what in the world is wrong with you nox why are you screaming we're right next to you well that's everything i wanted to make sure i came across clearly and wait a second guys it put me into survival this is not good we better gear up yeah we better gear up wait i don't see anything down there maybe i can just like jump down and oh gosh guys there's a bunch of stuff down here don't get down here don't come down here come down here no don't come down here oh gosh Boing. zoe where are they they're on the ground it looks like they got a lot bigger too nox i think your thing is just too high up oh yeah it was too high i see a whole bunch of them oh my gosh are those catnaps yeah it looks like a bunch of catnaps and dog days and stuff okay guys this is really really scary oh they're chasing me nox help us keep leading them zoe i'm shooting them with arrows good shoot them wait zoe actually has a bunch of armor why didn't i think to add an armor yeah i came prepared yeah you came prepared but me and nox are totally getting cooked and wait nox isn't even helping he's just hiding up there no i'm leading all of the monsters to nox so he can shoot them with the arrows it's our strategy oh okay that kind of makes sense hey zoe can i take one of the swords from your place sure i guess okay let me grab that what you also have enchanted golden apples zoe why don't you tell us about this i told you that that stuff was in there and wait your fake water just worked and zoe they're behind you watch out watch out they're in my house they're in my house help me help me help me come on let's take them out take them out yes okay we took them out that was scary i'm shooting as many as i can yeah you're doing a great job nox and wait this guy isn't even moving let me just uh go ahead and punch him get out of here bobby that's it i'm going after these guys yeah i'm going after them too okay nox we're gonna take them out with our swords and you can just shoot them with your bow and arrow it's the perfect strategy perfect okay come on there's one more dog days over here you're gonna get beat up i'm gonna get him there's a couple in the corner over there shoot him there's a couple in the corner okay i'm taking out the catnaps on the edge ow this guy's so big it's catnap and crazy corn crazy corn i think it's crafty corn zoe no in this mode it's crazy corn uh okay i think you're just gonna end up making her mad at you well i already killed her so okay well i'm sorry that i didn't think you were that strong i'm 
I'm super strong. I'm OP. And wait a second, guys. It put me back in creative mode. That must mean that we won. Heck yeah. We did it. Yeah. Yep. We're like the best ever, guys. But the wave definitely got a lot harder. Do you see how much bigger those guys were? Yeah, they were super strong. So what about we keep upgrading our houses? I think I'm going to start adding in a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, I'm going to start adding stuff to mine too. Yeah, me too. I'm going to add some turrets. So what are you guys even going to add in for this round? An armory room. Armory room. Wait, you're both going to build an armory room? Yeah, I'm building one. No, I was building it first, you copycat. Uh, I need armor. Yeah, I need armor too. Well, actually, I also need armor. Maybe we should all build like an armory room. And wait a second, guys. If we build an armory room underneath our base, we could have them all connect. That would be so cool. We're going to do it underneath our base? Yep, we're going to do it underneath our bases. And then we can have them all connect underground. That way, all the smiling critters and poppy playtime people can't attack us. This is going to be awesome. Good idea. Okay, so let me start building out my armory room first. And wait, do I want to add in like a bunch of ladders? Or do I want to build an elevator? Hmm. Probably an elevator. Honestly, I was thinking elevator too. What do you think, Knox? I think that's really lame. I'm going to build a slime jump pad. You're going to build a slime jump pad? How's that supposed to work? It's going to jump from all the way up here, all the way down here. Okay. Isn't that a little bit dangerous though? <laughs> no. No? Okay. I think that's a bit dangerous. And Zoe, how low are you going? Like five blocks. Okay. Well, you can go that low. I think I'm going to add in the elevator since Zoe liked it. Look, Dax, I think I'm right beneath you. You think you're right beneath me? Zoe, how did you get there? I told you I was digging too you oh my goodness well i'll go ahead and uh make the little area so they all connect after we build out our little armory rooms okay sounds good and maybe we can even have like a nice little roller coaster system that takes us between the bases because that would probably be the fastest that would be super cool okay let me just extend out these walls a couple more blocks and okay perfect i think this is a good size for an armory room let me just make sure to add an elevator and Knox, what are you doing i thought we were coming underneath to connect them yeah but i'm gonna connect them like in a certain way that way it looks nice this just looks ugly ah uh, fine you didn't tell us that uh well i'm telling you that now i guess okay look guys if i promise you it's gonna be like the bestest most coolest connection path as long as you let me build it okay but we already started laying the groundwork for you yeah okay well let me just add in my little elevator actually hey zoe before you build your army room can you come test this out for me i want to make sure it works yeah i guess so but i'm gonna use my path Okay, you can go ahead and use your path. Uh, let me just add in some of the cool blocks and maybe I'll add in some glowstone to the bottom. And let's see, uh, where are you at? So, oh yeah, there you are. Hello. Okay, look, come right this way and step on this with me and we're going to test it out. Ooh, that was cool. Okay, perfect. That works. But oh gosh, wait, it goes a little bit too low. Wait, give me one second. Zoe. I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. Okay. Let me just add in two of these blocks and I'll put the controller right here. Okay, try again, Zoe. Here goes nothing. Let's see. It perfect. It actually works now. Yep, see, it works. Okay, this is like the perfect elevator. And this will be really quick to get me to the armory room. Yeah, your elevator is very fast though. It isn't very fast. You want to make it faster? I thought you said it was supposed to be like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make a roller coaster connecting our bases. But look, Zoe, just uh, stop pressing that button. I'll make it faster, okay? You know what's super fun? When you jump on an elevator. Why is that super fun? What if it breaks it? Oh, gosh. I just went back up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This time, we're going to go down, but you have to be jumping, okay? Uh, Okay, but Zoe, I just made it super fast. You might break it. Okay, come on. Jump. Okay, jump, 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 jump it. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that was fast. That was fun. Okay, bye. Okay, Uh, goodbye. Let me just test this out myself. And oh, my goodness. This is so fast. Nox, what are you doing behind my building? Are you dead yet? What do you mean? Am I done yet? No, I'm not done yet. What? I thought we were trying to build the armory. Yeah, we are building the army, but you're going to have your own armor room and I'm going to have my own armor room and then we're going to like be able to meet up down here. Oh, so we're making our own separate army rooms. Yeah, exactly. But then we're just going to be able to like meet up with each other and stuff. Okay. Wait, what did you think I was even talking about, Knox? I thought we were having one big one. You're making like the transit between the middle. Oh, no, I'm not making one big one. I want to have my own since you guys don't know how to pick out stuff. What are you even talking about? Well, I just think you're both not really good at picking out stuff. It's honestly kind of true. I mean, Knox picks out like dirt armor and stuff. I don't do that. Knox tries super hard. You can't say that about him. Yeah. Well, I know he tries super hard, but I mean, he still messes up. I could still say that. I've never messed up. Zoe, stop breaking my stuff. I haven't even made the pathway yet. I've already made the pathway. No, this isn't complete. It has to look cool, remember? Yeah, it does look cool. Oh my gosh. You know what? Actually, I'll make like a big thing over here and we'll call this like Zoe's side and uh, Nox, where's your thing even at? Uh, it's gonna be up there. It's gonna be up there. Okay, look, this is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna make like a nice little staircase going back here and it's gonna connect to your part. No, mine's right here. No, it can't do that because that's where the elevator is. Why not? Because it's in the middle of my elevator and that's not safe. I don't want to go all the way around though. No, you're not going. Look, Nox, just give me like uh, two seconds. I'm gonna break it out over there, okay? Where? Look, look, look. I'm breaking into the wall. Let me just uh, break a few more of these blocks and see, look, everything connects now. Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, and you don't even have to go as far. You can just like go straight from this place. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. It's kind of dark 
in here. What are you even talking about? It's super bright. Yeah, it's really dark. Uh, I think you're just colorblind. And why are all your pigs down here? Well, these are your pigs. Get them out of here. No, they're not. These are mine. They're not upside down. What the? Why is somebody? Zoe. What happened? Did you just spawn in a bunch of pigs while me and Nox were talking? No, I didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, Nox. I think it was her. Yeah, I think it was too. What are you guys even talking about? Then where did all these pigs come from? I don't know. Blame the weirdo that keeps spawning in pigs. Okay, so for my armor room, what I think I'm going to do is put down like three different armor areas and probably put like armor stands with a bunch of diamond armor. What type of armor are you guys using? I'm doing netherite. Uh, I'm using more, uh, probably diamond. You're using di Hey, you're just copying my idea, Nox. Uh, no, I'm not. Diamond's really good, though. Yeah, diamond's really good, but I mean, you could have done something else. Like, you could have used like leather armor or something. All right, fine. I'll do something else. Okay, you do that. And actually, I'm going to keep the whole diamond theme going. Uh, let me grab a diamond sword and I probably need like shields and stuff. And wait, I think I'm going to use this heavy shield. It looks really cool. It's like a whole lot bigger than the normal shield. So let me just fill up this entire chest with these. I'll put down a bunch of swords. And oh wait, I probably also need golden apples. And I'm thinking for this other side over here is where I'll throw my bow and arrows. So let me just add in one of the bows to the top and I can throw a bunch of arrows in here. Okay. And I think to make sure I can see how I look with armor, let me uh, throw in a couple of these mirrors so I can see myself. Hey, Zoe, have you added any mirrors or anything? Of course I have. What? You added in mirrors too? And wait, your area looks so fancy. It is fancy. I need a place to get ready. Wait, you have like couches and TVs and stuff? I want a couch and a TV. Well, maybe you should add one then, ding dong. Oh, uh, let's see. Are there any good places? Honestly, I don't really have any good places for that stuff. Hey, Zoe, if I want, can I just hang out at your place? Sure, I guess, if you ask nicely. Okay, please, can I hang out at your place? Sure. Okay, let me uh stack these blocks a bit back. That way I connect our first place and I'll connect our area and then I guess I can connect Nox's after. Let me just break through these walls here and I'll set all this to be zero. Okay, this is looking pretty good and we probably need like some staircases and stuff. Okay, Zoe, and what I think I'm gonna do is add some of this stuff on the floor here and I'm guessing you wanna keep some of this purple carpet, right? Of course I do. Okay, so how about this side over here? I'll keep purple carpet and then I'll add my side over here and my side's gonna be green carpet since that's my favorite color. Blech, green, that's like the worst. What green is so nice, right, Nox? Yeah, green's a purple color. What? Okay, let me just add in my floor too and Nox, I'm gonna give you like the same style that I gave Zoe is okay. We're just gonna have like stairs leading between ours. All right. Okay, so let me do that. And wait, did you break my little elevator area, Nox? No, I didn't touch anything. Uh-huh. Then why does my elevator look all messed up? I don't know. I've never been over there. Okay, fine. Whatever. I guess I kind of believe you. Let me add in the staircases and we're gonna have to add in some going into this corner over here as well. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah, good enough. Okay, and I'm guessing I probably need to add in a couple more. And oh my gosh, wait, you have a bunch of redstone stuff over here. Yeah, it's my armory. I mean, this is honestly kind of cool, Nox. Hey, Zoe, come check out his armory room. Okay, I'm coming. Nox, this honestly might be the best part of your build. It's really fancy. What are you talking about? The whole upstairs is even better. I mean, it looks cool. How do we get to his build? Oh, I guess it's over here. Hello. Whoa, this is super cool. Uh-huh. And see, because it's red. It's awesome. Uh, I don't know about that. I think it'd be cooler if it was purple. Yawn. Okay, guys. So we have Zoe's nice little armory room over here. And then we also have mine in the middle. But wait a second, guys. I kind of thought about something. What? What if, like, instead of doing a bunch of crazy stuff, we, like, dropped a nuke on them when we got overrun? That would be crazy. What should we drop on them? I think we should grab a super cool TNT, and then we can just blow everything up. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm excited to do that. Can I click the button? Uh, no, you can't press the button. You're going to mess stuff up. Why not? I want to click the button. No, no, no. You can't do that. Let me click the button. Fine, fine. You can press it. Fine. Yeah. Okay, so behind here, guys, is where we're going to put, like, a super big button that's going to blow off everything. So let's see. I kind of want to use this thing called the Death Ray TNT. What do you guys think? Works for me. That'd be so awesome. Okay, so let me place this back here. And Nox, you cannot press the button right now, okay? Ah, uh, fine, but hurry up. Okay, so if we press this button right on here, everything's going to completely blow up, but we're going to need a way to escape. So why don't you guys say we make, like, a little escape route? Let's do it. How do you want to make the escape route? Well, basically, I'm thinking we have, like, a little airplane area. So why don't we build it on top of my base? Sounds good to me. I like planes. Yeah, I like planes too because they're super, super fast. Yeah. Okay, so let me grab some black concrete and then I can also grab some yellow concrete and let me start building that out. All right. So I'm thinking for this, we'll go like five blocks wide and then we'll add in some of the yellow strips in the middle. And now I should just be able to copy this. Uh, let me make sure this actually works. I'll select two of these sides and then I'll stack it out like six blocks. Perfect, guys. Doesn't this look good? This looks super good. Uh, it's just a road. This doesn't look like a plane. Well, no, because we're going to have a plane on here, Nox. Look, let me just go ahead and grab it real quick, okay? All right. Okay, so look, let me smack it down right there. Oh, gosh, wait, that's backwards. Okay, there's the plane. This is what we're going to ride, but I'm going to give it some upgrades. That's a 
helicopter. Yeah, it's like a plane helicopter thing. It can be whatever you want. Take off. No, you can't take off yet, Nox. We're not even done. But I want to. No, no, no. Neither one of you can fly. Hey, get out of there. Neither one of you guys know how to drive this thing. But I really want to. No, you can't fly right now. Just wait until we end up fighting them, okay? You think if I stood the propellers, I'd fly around really fast? No, Nox. You know what? Just go back to your base before you screw something up. Fine. And wait a second, guys. It just put me in survival mode. It put me in survival too. All right, survival. Oh, gosh. Quick, everyone grab your armor and let's go ahead and see what we're going to have to deal with. Let's go. Here we go. I'll grab my bow and arrow and I'll grab my shield. And Zoe, you also have golden apples too, right? Yep, sure do. But I'm taking some of your stuff. Oh, okay. I guess you can uh, do that. Okay, guys, come on. Everyone come to my elevator and let's go check out what's going on up there. Can I have a golden apple? Uh, yeah, come on, Docs. Hurry up, hurry up. All right. Here, I have a hamburger. Oh, that's not a hamburger. That's not a hamburger at all. Okay, guys, let's see it. Oh my goodness. These guys are huge. It's go time. Ah! These are like a bunch of scary huggy wuggies and it looks like a bunch of scary catnaps too, guys. This is weird. Come on, Louis them to the fake water. Push them into the lava. Yeah, I'm trying to fight these guys off. Guys, I think they have a lot more strength than the other ones. My sword isn't even doing anything to them. Mine isn't doing anything either. My bow sucks. Yeah, my stuff sucks. How do they get this much stronger? This must be like the boss fight. This is not good. How are we supposed to defeat all of them? Honestly, guys, I think we should just press the button and get out of here. I don't think we're strong enough to take them out. Okay, let's go. Okay, quick. Everyone get to the armor room area. Let me just close the door and I'll turn the bridge off. And Zoe, make sure to use the thing under the ground so you can get there. One gun into my armory room. Oh, God, ah! get in here. Okay, okay. You guys go ahead and get to the plane. I'm going to go ahead and deal with this, okay? I'm going to press the button. No, Nox, you can't press the button. Get to the plane. That's an order. Go. Fine. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, he's chasing you guys. And oh, gosh, he went up you guys make sure to get to the roof i have ladders up there okay okay guys i'm gonna hit the button i'm running over there come on let's go let's go hurry dex okay come on guys let's take off this is gonna be crazy this is so cool wait guys i think the tnt is already starting to go off and ow i just ran into a mountain you have to be careful dex oh my gosh guys see what the tnt is doing oh my goodness this is crazy yeah that was absolutely crazy and wait a second guys i don't even see any of them anymore i don't either i just see a big hole the ground. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go park real quick and we're gonna go check out everything, okay? All right. Oh my goodness, guys, look at all of the destruction. That is crazy. It looks like Dax and I's house were the only one that survived. My house is gone. <laughs> Nox, your house got destroyed, but hey, that means we win. Today, we're having a smiling critter family in Minecraft. Wait, but we're not smiling critters. Yeah, we're not smiling critters at all. Oh yeah, guys, but as soon as I step on this little pressure plate right here, it'll make us all smiling critters. Look at that. That is so cool. Ah, uh, what have you done to me? Uh, I just made you into a smiling critter, Nox. See, you're Bobby Bear and you're a crafty corn. It looks like I'm Hoppy. But where are our kids? Oh, yeah. Wait a second. Where in the world are our kids at? Ah, uh, maybe what's that cave over there? Wait, what's that cave over there? And what the what? Wait, I don't remember a cave ever being over here. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out, guys. And oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. It is super dark. Should we get a flashlight or something? Yeah, maybe what I should do is also grab like some torches and I guess I could start placing them everywhere or I could just hold it in my hand and walk down. What's this? What is this? And wait, is that a creeper head? It's an enemy head. Oh no, guys. This is so scary. This is not looking good and wait what the what is that i have no clue but it looks like a bunch of lava yeah it looks like a bunch of lava but wait do you see the stuff over there why are there smiling critters over here they look so creepy they are super creepy yeah they're scary looking it, wait a second guys do you see that it looks like our babies are behind barbed wire over there that's not good we have to save them yeah my son okay quick guys we have to go ahead and do all this parkour in order to make it over there come on guys we have to be quick before those smiling critters get out i'm not very good at Parkour and neither is Nox. Oh my gosh, guys. Come on. You have to save your kids. I made it. But how do we break them out? Okay, there you go. And let's see. Maybe I can just click on this door. And yes, look, it opened up. Okay, let's grab them. Okay, guys, come on. We have to make it back with our kids. And I'm pretty sure those smiling critters are going to come attack us at any point now. Oh, good job. You're going to place that down so we don't have to do parkour with our kids. Yeah, that would have been dangerous. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to build us out a little bridge. But guys, if they're going to come attack us, we're going to need to build like the super best ultra family houses we can build. Then we better get to it. Come on, mini me. Okay, guys. So I think I'm gonna start building my family home right here in the green box. In the green box? Then I'm gonna do it in the purple blocks. I'm in 
the red. Okay, you can do that. And actually, I need to go ahead and put my kid in a corner. Look, you're going to stay right there, okay? Okay, I'm thinking for my base, the first thing I want to do is start making like a wool outline out of live wool. So this is like pretty strong. It probably can defend us from all those smiling critters. Why are you using wool? That doesn't make sense at all. It's not very strong. Wait, why wouldn't I use wool? Isn't wool like a super strong block, Zoe? No, it's not strong at all. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what should I use then? Should I use like concrete or something? Yeah, you better use concrete. Okay, so let me see. What type of concrete do I have? Okay, I'm gonna use the same lime concrete. And Nox, what are you building over there? I'm gonna build a mushroom house. You're gonna build a mushroom house? Wait, what even is a mushroom house? I've never heard of anything like that before. It's gonna be a giant mushroom. Uh, okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna turn out. Zoe, what are you building? I'm building a unicorn house, but it's really just gonna be a big rainbow. Oh, a big rainbow in a house? See, Nox, that actually sounds cool. Yours just sounds lame. What do you mean? It's a giant mushroom. I mean, do you see giant mushrooms all the time? I mean, yeah, I see giant mushrooms all the time. You don't see giant mushrooms all the time? No. Okay, well, I mean, I see them all the time. I don't really know where you've been traveling, but I feel like I see them every other day. What? That's crazy. Okay, let me keep building up the walls of my base. And I'm liking using this lime concrete. That was a really good idea, Zoe. It's going to be a lot stronger than me just using the wool. You're welcome. Let me add in this last corner over here. And perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to need to bring my kid inside at some point. Maybe I can build out like a little baby's room that has like a crib and stuff that he could just sit inside of. And once I'm done adding in all of my walls, I want to add some type of defense to the outside just to make sure it's hard for anyone to get in. Oh, wait, maybe I could use like barbed wire fences. That sounds like a good idea. Barbed wire fences? That's crazy. Yeah, barbed wire fences, Zoe. Have you ever seen those before? Yeah, but you have a kid. What if he runs into it? Well, I mean, he's going to be on the inside. He's like never allowed to leave his room or anything. So I don't really think he's going to run into it. Never allowed to leave his room. That doesn't sound safe either. Yeah, he must be grounded. What? Yeah, I mean, he is grounded. I mean, he got captured after all. Like, I wouldn't get captured. I guess you're right. Better safe than sorry. And I mean, just look at this, Zoe. Doesn't this look like super protective with all this barbed wire around? Like, if anything walks in, like, for example, if I grab myself a nice little piggy right here and I spot him and punch him, look, he's taking so much damage. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's super cool. And you are building a nice little rainbow. This already looks super sick. And oh my gosh, Nox, your build is ginormous. Yeah, it's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. I kind of see that. So you're going to use these red mushroom blocks and then you're using the mushroom stem. Okay, I'm kind of liking the idea so far. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Oh man, you guys have really cool builds. Should I do something like special with my build? Probably. Your build's looking kind of boring. What? You actually think my build looks boring so far? Yep looks super boring. Uh, okay. Well, what's something I could do to make my build even bigger? Wait, guys, I think I have like the perfect idea ever for something to build. Hey, what's that? I'm going to build a super secure underground base. That way it's going to be really hard for any of them to get inside and you guys aren't even going to be able to find it. Well, we are going to be able to find it because it's just within that green square, duh. Yeah, it's going to be within the green square, but there's going to be like certain things you have to do in order to get inside and you're not smart enough to figure it out. Oh yeah, like what? Uh, well, obviously if I just told you, you'd be able to figure it out, Zoe, duh. Yeah, but I thought maybe you'd tell me. Why would I just tell you? That'd be dumb. Because you're dumb. What? That's so messed up, Zoe. You can't <laughs> say that. Hey, you can't be laughing too, Docs. You're the dumbest out of all of us. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, let me add in a little tidy roof over here. And this doesn't need to be too fancy because this isn't even going to be the main house. Let me select these two corners, set it to be lime concrete. And okay, perfect. Now I have a roof. Let's just also add in a floor. And I'm thinking for the floor, what I'll do is use some type of plank. So let's get some oak plank makes this that look pretty nice. Hey, Zoe, are you adding like a door to the front or what do you think you're going to do? Yeah, I'm probably going to add a door, but first I'm going to add some defenses. Oh, you're going to add defenses first? I mean, I probably should add in more defenses too, right? Yeah, probably. I'm going to add fences too. You're going to add fences too? Well, what type of fences are you going to use? I actually saw one earlier that you might like, Knox. Are right, they mushroom ones? Uh, no, they're not mushroom ones, but look at this. Okay, look, if I grab this right here, look, it's a crimson wired fence and it's red just like you. Yeah, but that's dangerous. That's barbed wire. I'm going to get stuck in there. How are you going to get stuck in there aren't you smart no oh okay well i mean if you're not really that smart i guess you probably will get stuck in there yeah well for the outside of my base what i think i'm gonna do is add a bunch of lava and oh gosh wait i think i need to bring my kid inside otherwise he's gonna get kind of hurt yeah i need to do that too okay well there you go little dax you just have to stay right there now i can start adding in all that lava i wanted and docs what type of door are you adding in i don't know 
I'm looking at the doors right now. Yeah, there's a bunch of different types of doors. I was thinking like an iron door or like a super cool vault door, but there's so many options that honestly, I got a little bit overwhelmed. Is there a mushroom door? Is there a mushroom door? I don't know. Why would you want a mushroom door? I mean, I get that as a mushroom house, but that just kind of sounds like lame and weak. Ah, it sounds super cool. Does it sound cool, Zoe? What do you think? It sounds lame. What? Yeah, see, Nox, I'm not the only one that thinks it's lame. I mean, the mushroom house is cool, but if you add it like in too many places, it's just gonna get like boring and repetitive. What do you mean? It's supposed to be a giant mushroom house and they're poisonous and stuff. So if anything goes in there, they're gonna be poisoned. Wait, it's a poisoned mushroom house? Nox, what if your kid walks in there? It's poisonous to smiling critters. Oh, it's not poisonous to anything else, so your kid should be fine? Yeah, they're delectable. They're delectable? Okay, um, that's kind of weird. It's a giant shiitake mushroom. And Zoe, what are you doing? Are you making like a little aquarium? No, it's like a fake water moat. Oh, a fake water moat? So anything that goes in there should get hurt? Exactly. Okay, look, let me just put a pig in there to make sure it's all working. And yes, look at that, Zoe. Isn't that perfect? Yes, it is perfect, but I'm kind of bad at placing the water. Oh, wait, do you want a little bit of help with the water? Yes, can you help me? Okay, look, let me just get a fake water bucket, and I think all I need to do is run something pretty simple that should be able to do this for us. But let me clear out all this weird water you have everywhere because it's kind of just blocking everything. Here we go. I'll break all those sides, break this, and yeah, don't worry, Zoe, I'll do this. Thank you. Let me select one side over here, and oh, wait, let's see. Uh, is there anything below the ground over here, or is it just the solid ground? What are you talking about? Well, I was thinking if there's anything underneath your base, but I don't think there is. This makes the commands even easier. Oh, okay. Okay, I think all you do is type that in, and yes, yeah, Zoe, doesn't this look a lot better now? Yes, this looks really good. Let me just make sure all the corners are basically filled out, and oh, gosh, wait, I almost accidentally knocked your baby into the fake water. That would have been bad. Well, why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I was just trying to, like, break some of the blocks to clean it out, and your kid's just standing there. Maybe they shouldn't be this close to fake water, Zoe. I know. I need to put them inside. And whoa, wait, Zoe, come check this out. Nox made, like, a huge mushroom door. Seriously? He actually made a mushroom door? Of course I did. Yeah, come look at it. This thing is so cool. This is super cool. I actually really like this mushroom build. Uh-huh. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have this cool penthouse all the way up here in the bedroom. Yeah, it's super creative. Actually, you're making me want to add in a door, but there's so many different types of door options. I don't really know what to add in. Yeah, there were a ton of door options, so I had to pick. Let's see. Which one do I want? Which one of these looks really cool? Maybe I could throw in one of these, like, tall metal doors just to make sure it's a warning to make sure that no one actually goes inside. Here we go. Okay, that looks pretty cool, but I think in order to actually get inside, we're gonna need, like, a button. So let me grab a button, and I'll grab some pressure plates from the inside, and then I can just place these next to the doors. And Okay, perfect. They work pretty nicely. Okay, but now I need to add in a few more defenses since I have the door, so I'm pretty sure I have some different types of turrets, and yes, I do. Okay, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use... Oh, let's use the arrow turrets. And I'm pretty sure all I need to do is grab myself some arrows, place one of these turrets on top, and just fill it in with a bunch of these. Now to test it out even more, let me just grab a zombie spawn egg, and then I can see if it'll actually take it out. Come on, come on. And oh, uh, wait, my turret isn't even working. Guys, you know how turrets work? No clue. How turrets work? Yeah, how turrets work. This one should be like messing with the zombie, but it's not doing anything right now. Turrets are gross. I like to be there. No, wait, what? Wait, what are you even talking about? Is that what you said? Wait, what did you say? Turrets. Tur no, not what? Are you serious, Nox? No, I'm not talking about that. You're gross. You're the one who was talking about it. I wasn't talking about it. No, I'm not talking about that at all. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely disgusting. I can't believe you just said that. What do you mean? You're the one who said it. No, I didn't say anything, Zoe. Did you hear it? Are you honestly surprised that he thought that? Yeah, honestly, not really surprised at all. He's a little dumb. Exactly. Okay, let me just try it out with a different one of these. And yes, okay, this turret works so much better. Let me just uh go ahead and call copy each one of these into the corner, throw some more of these Gaussian bullets in, and oh, wait, where'd they even go? Here you go. Okay, I have a bunch of them. Let me just make sure to fill up the entire thing with them, and I'll do the same thing to all of the corners. Okay, well, now the outside of my base is done, I think I need to start building the underground section, and what if I built, like, a really, really, really cool elevator that'll take me down? Let's see. How many blocks does this elevator have to be? Uh, maybe I'll put it in a corner. That way it's not uneven from everything else. We'll just add in these side blocks, and I'm guessing for this, we'll add in some different blocks, so let me grab some dark oak. And this way, everyone will know that I'm having an elevator over here. And I do need to stack it down since, like I said, this is an underground base. So let's just go like 20 blocks deep, add in some more of those dark planks, and then I can grab the actual elevator blocks. Let me just throw one elevator controller here with a display on top. And I'm pretty sure in order for this to work, I have to build like the exact same thing down here. Let's just add in one more of these dark oak planks, and then I should be able to test it out. Let me just clear my inventory and come on, please work, please work. And oh gosh, wait, something is it working let's see what did i mess up maybe what i need to do is like decrease this one more uh wait no that's three blocks by 
three does that work no something's completely broken what did i mess up oh wait i don't think i can have these blocks here so if i set all this to be zero now it should work let's just fly back up to where the elevator made pieces fill in the wall over here press the button and yes it totally works guys i have an elevator now that's so cool how did you do it look come over here zoe i'll show you how the elevator works okay zoe so of course in order to get in my base you need to press this button so you can open the super big doors but right over here is where my super cool elevator is this is sweet can we go on a ride yeah we can go on a ride look it just came up right now and then i'll press the button to send us down and look at this zoe we're going down this is so cool yep it is pretty cool but uh yeah i haven't really built anything down here yet so i have nothing to show off but yeah you can just go back up whenever you're ready okay i'm ready have fun with that and okay i do need to start making my actual base uh what type of room are you guys adding in like a kitchen and bedrooms and also like a defense tower yeah i put in like bedrooms and little like archery areas oh okay that kind of makes sense so maybe what i could do is have this be like a base area where everything is and you can go in like different directions in order to find stuff so let me just stack this to be planks that way everything looks nice and i'm thinking over here could be like the bedroom maybe i'll build a kitchen on this side and let's see what else should i even add down here Oh, wait, I kind of think we need like an armory room, right, guys? Just in case we do end up having to fight. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You definitely need one. Yeah, but if I need one, that probably means that both of you guys need one. So what if we built one that like all connected to each other? Well, my mushroom goes into the ground. So it'd be kind of cool if they connected. Yeah, we should have an armory room that connects. Okay, so maybe after we're like all done building like our kids room and the fun stuff, maybe we could build that armory room together. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, so let me first start by making the kids bedroom. And in order to do this, I want it to be a little bit big, but not too big since he is still just a kid so let me stack like seven blocks back and i think this is a pretty good amount of space for a kid's bedroom let's also give him a door what type of door should i give i have like a bunch of different ones but i want one that looks cool maybe what i can do is grab one of these tall orc doors i think these look good now we'll put that down there perfect they both open together now let's start decorating the actual room and i'm thinking for this what i want to do is get like a bunch of these planks and oh wait a second what if i made like a lava roof hey what do you guys think about a lava roof sounds a little dangerous yeah, it's gonna look like a lava lamp. Well, yeah, it's gonna be like a big lava lamp, but don't worry, there's gonna be like glass in the way, so I think nothing bad should happen to my kid unless for some reason the glass gets broken. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's hope not. Okay, now that I have this, let me just select two of these blocks so I can actually build out where the lava is gonna be. Set this to be zero and oh wait, I don't even think I need to set it to be zero. I think I can just set that to be lava and oh my goodness, I actually have a whole entire lava roof. This is so cool. Now let me add in a bit more of the plates over here. Okay. Okay, let's see. What should I do for the walls? Hey, are you guys like adding anything fancy for walls? Or are you kind of just keeping it how it is? Keeping it how it is. Me too. Okay, well, if you both are keeping it how it is, I guess I'll do like the same theme and maybe I'll just set everything to be like stone or maybe I could make it like stone and cobblestone. That way it looks a little bit different. Let's see. Okay, let me just grab a few different blocks. I'll do smooth stone. I'll do cobblestone. And oh yeah, that looks pretty good for this. Let me just go ahead and make all the walls looking the same way. And of course, I'm gonna have to do the same thing through this door area over here. Here, but that should be the last thing I have to add in before I start adding in all the decorations. Now that that's done, let's grab some bedroom items that my kid could have. Okay, so let me start this by getting a couple beds I can put down in. Next to those, I'm gonna put a few different drawers. On these, we can throw in like a shade and maybe I should also grab like a fish tank or something that my kid can just enjoy. I'll also throw it in a chest on both sides of the room, but we do need more decorations than this, this. I'm also thinking he needs like a little desk area so he can play like PC games and stuff. So let me just go ahead and stack this like three blocks deep and this is where the entire like gaming setup could be i'm gonna give the walls the same look as it did earlier so let's select all of these and make it pretty much the same but the floor is gonna have to be oak planks like this other side over here and once i put down all the oak planks i could start grabbing out some of the desk stuff and maybe i could give up like a super big pc with like a ginormous monitor okay let me start adding in the desk and i'm thinking for this we'll do a little setup of two drawers on the outside and right in the middle is we're gonna throw this super big ultra wide monitor next to that i could just throw this nice pc and oh wait he also needs some type of gaming chair uh do we have any gaming chairs or any nice chairs in general what would work for this maybe what i'll do is give him this like nice lime chair since it looks like it fits pretty well okay nice that looks good let's just make sure to add in some details to the room let me throw a couple of these floating shells and on each one of these i'm gonna throw in like one of these plushies and let's see what else could i do oh wait what if i got like a diamond sword and have like a chest area with a bunch of weapons in it aren't weapons for children a little bit dangerous uh i mean yeah it is a little bit dangerous you think i probably should have weapons in a chest for him. 
I know. Okay, well, I guess I won't have them. Well, I'm still going to throw in like a little mirror. That way he can like see himself before he leaves for the day. And let me also grab a few different paintings I can just put in the room. Let's see which painting looks the coolest. And, oh, I like this axolotl one. I'm thinking over here by the PC, I'll also throw in a one. Maybe I'll throw in like this fighting one since it's like a gaming area. And then I'll throw in one more over here. Uh, wait, they, I, wait, I think these are like cookies. Okay, I like that. We have cookies. We have a fighting area and we have a little area with some axolotls. The bedroom's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and build the next thing. And oh, wait a second, guys. If we have a bedroom, I need like a bathroom probably, right? Yeah, definitely. So let me start carving it a little area. I mean, bathrooms don't have to be that big, but it has to be spacious enough. That way it's not all cramped. So let me start making the bathroom a bit bigger. And I think all I need to do is keep setting the space to be zero. And okay, I think this is a big enough space for a bathroom. My kid's honestly gonna be really, really spoiled. How's your kid's areas looking? Um, I haven't even gotten to the area yet. Yeah, me either. Oh wait, neither one of you have gotten to like anything adding it for your kid? Or do you mean you haven't done like a bathroom yet? I haven't done their bedroom or anything like that. Yeah, me either. Oh wow, so uh, what are you guys working on? Like defenses or something? I'm working on an armory room. Wait, you're working on an armory room? What happened to us connecting one, Zoe? Oh, I guess I could do a little personal one with you. I mean, I guess you could still make an armory room. Look, let me just go ahead and see how you added it in. And, and oh wow, you have a whole bunch of armor, Zoe. I know, I need a bunch. Okay, how about this? This could be like your personal armory room and then uh, we'll have like one where we can all go to. Sounds good. Yeah, it's a whole lot. And wait, you also added like a kitchen and stuff? Okay, this is pretty nice. And you even have a dining room table? Yep, sure do. Okay, let's see. I like those ideas from you. Hey, Nox, what have you done? I put a whole bunch of arrow turrets. Wait, arrow turrets? Uh, Nox, you know these are hitting your normal turrets, right? Did you steal my turret idea, actually? No. Then where did you get these ones from? What do you mean? These ones are literally the exact same thing as mine, Nox. I think you copied my idea. I wouldn't do that. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, show me how these arrows work. Okay, well, if you go into my house and you hop all the way up to the top. My goodness, you have so many stairs. Yeah, you have to have a whole bunch of stairs and then you hit these pressure plates and it shoots down and gets them. Oh, okay. I guess that's honestly pretty cool. So like if any of like the smiley critters walk, they're just gonna get hit by arrows. Exactly. Okay, that's a pretty genius idea, Nox. Thank you. Okay, well, since I see that, I'm gonna go back to my place and I think I'm gonna finish up where the bathroom area is gonna be at. So let's see. Okay, I need a bunch of different bathroom stuff. What do I even have that I could throw in? In. Okay, I think I need to add in some cool stuff for the bathroom. So over here could be my little sink area. And then I'll also add in a couple mirrors so I can see everything. And I probably need like a little shelf over here. Okay, I kind of like how these ones look, even though they're technically for a bedroom. So I'm just going to steal this and place it here. And this is where the toothbrush can go. Now in the corner over here is where I'm going to place my shower. And I guess I'll put a bathtub on this side. We'll also throw in like a little towel rack just in case you need that. And oh gosh, wait, that doesn't look right. Okay, there we go. That's making that look a lot better. Let's also add in like a little hand soap station. Okay, I'm guessing that can sit there. And oh wait, I also need like uh probably like a toilet and stuff. And then I'll also grab one of these washing machines. So okay, let's put the toilet here. And I'm guessing the washing machine could go right in the wall. And probably gonna have a lot of laundry. So let me just throw like three of these in. And the last thing I want to add in here is just like some paintings. That way it doesn't look so boring. So let's see which one's gonna grab. Oh, I like this one. This one's like cake but oh wait it doesn't really fit that maybe i could throw in this nice nether one over there and i probably need one on this wall as well or maybe i could throw like a few different small ones so i'll put like the smiling happy pop tart cat over there and on this wall over here i'll put this nice scenery okay cool i think the bathroom looks good let's just make sure to throw in a door and instead of those normal doors i want to add a door to make sure that no one can like see inside of so let me get like a tall spruce door and there we go okay perfect the bathroom and the bedroom is done i was thinking about adding in a kitchen but hey zoe actually can i just use your kitchen if i need it sure sounds good okay so i'll be able to use zoe's kitchen let's see i probably need like an area to relax inside of here so before i make the armor room maybe i can make like a little chill area so let me get my wand back that way i can actually set everything to be whatever i want i'll click up here in the corner click down here and set this all to be zero now that all that's zero i'm pretty sure all i need to do is sack this back like nine blocks and okay this is looking like a pretty good relaxation room let's just set all the floor to be oak planks and i'm thinking for the walls i'll keep it the same thing that i have pretty much everywhere here we go i'll select that use the same stone method i have for these walls and let's see what type of cool stuff do i need like in a little hangout area i know i need like a couch and probably like a tv and stuff okay so i'm thinking for this room kind of what i want to do is add in a really big couch over here and maybe i could have like a big movie theater screen so actually instead of using this tv right here why don't i make a tv that actually works all i need to do is grab these web displays break this part out and then i can start stacking it up and let's make it like a 
three by four, baby. And once I have that, I can just turn it on and actually start using it, but I'm not going to turn it on just yet. Let's start adding in a bit more of the decorations. I'm thinking for these sides over here, what I'll do is throw some leaves and stack that up. And oh yeah, we also need like a ceiling fan because I'll probably get kind of hot in here. Now let's also make sure to throw in some bookshelves over here. And I'm thinking on top of these, I want to throw in like a couple of these trophies. And oh gosh, wait, those are too big. Uh, Maybe what I could do is like place this side of the wall. I don't really know what this one does, but I just thought it looked cool. Now that that's done, let's fill some more bookshelves on the bottom of the floor. And okay, I think our little living room area looks great. But instead of one of these normal doors, I think I'm going to add in these bookshelf doors since it's kind of like a hidden room. So as soon as you hit these, the doors will open up and you can come right inside and do whatever you want. And look at this, guys. I can even see what's playing on the screen and it actually works. It's like the coolest thing ever. I could just sit here all day and watch whatever videos I want to. Okay, I'm going to make sure that Knox and Zoe can see that whenever they come. So let me just go ahead and pause this and I can start building out our next room. And actually, hey, Knox, I'm going to start building the armor room, okay? Okay. And like I said, I wanted to connect to all of our places. So I'm guessing I'll connect it to your place first and then I'll go ahead and figure out Zoe's. Perfect. I have like a water elevator below it. You want a water elevator below it? Wait, why do you want a water elevator? Because uh, I put water in the middle. Okay. I mean, I guess I could do that. And oh gosh, wait, I kind of just broke into my room. Uh, Let me go a little bit further around. I got to figure out where your base is at. It's kind of hard. Yeah, I actually came down to your place. What, you came down to my place? What? Do you, what? How'd you even get here? Hey, I came down the elevator. But you came down the elevator? I'm pretty sure the elevator is over here. Oh, okay. Uh, Where's your cool TV? My cool TV is right in here. Look, I have like a super hidden door over here. Look, come right inside these bookshelves and look at this. Ah, really cool. Yep, and I can play whatever I want on the screen. Like right now, I'm watching one of our videos. Oh, very cool. Very cool. But okay, we need to figure out a way to get this little part down here over to your base. So do you have any suggestions or can, can you kind of like point me to where your base is? Um, hmm. Let me see real quick. Maybe if I just dig straight up, I can kind of figure out where your base is a little bit easier. Okay, where am I? And, oh, look, I'm actually pretty close right there. Uh, Do you want the entrance to be like inside of your base? Yeah, because I have water. Okay, I see that. And wait a second. I kind of just realized I saw something weird. Nox, what in the world is this liquid? Uh, That stuff is biodiesel. Bi wait, what? What even is that? I don't know, but it's cool. Wait, you don't know and you just put it inside of your base? Does that even make any sense? Uh, of course it does. That makes absolutely no sense at all, Docs. That's kind of gross, too. What are you talking about? I mean, I wouldn't want that in my base. Hey, Zoe, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's super weird. Weird? There's nothing weird about it. I think literally everything is weird about it, Nox. No, no, no. This stuff's cool. Uh, okay, well, I guess you can do whatever you want with that. I actually found where your base is, so I'm going to start building you a little water elevator is what you wanted? Yeah, I actually have one directly in the middle. Wait, you have one directly in the middle? Oh, you wanted to go right inside of there? Yeah. Okay, I see see uh let's see how i can make this okay let me drop down here and then maybe i can figure this out for you all right and what i think i need to do is just connect this little area to where the other part is where is that and okay perfect i found a little area and i think in order to make a water elevator what i have to do is get some soul sand and probably a whole bunch of water so let me just place down the soul sand and of course i need to put a sign down just to make sure none of the water floods in and oh gosh wait it's going the wrong direction actually that might work now let's select two of these corners over here and i'll stack it all the way up to the top where docks is built in and then I can just test it out. So let me just hop down there. And oh gosh, yeah, I think it already works. So it kind of just pushes you up. Hey, Nox, uh, how do you kind of expect to get down here though? Like this. Like this. Wait, where are you? Oh no, the water elevator takes you up. You're gonna need somewhere else to get down. How do I get down? Well, maybe you, I could build you like a little area here that you just jump down in. Yeah, do that with a slime block. With a slime block. Okay, so let me grab you a nice little slime block and I can just place that right about here for you. Yeah. Now, whenever you do want to leave though, you can just walk inside this water elevator and it'll just shoot you up to the top pretty easily. Boing. Cool. So that works for you. I'm going to start building out the armory area and maybe I'll put it in the middle since it's kind of like in the middle of all of our bases. Wow. How do you expect to get to my base? How do I expect to get to your base? Uh, Zoe, honestly, I don't really know. Should I try to make that right now? Yeah, I tried to make a tunnel, but I couldn't find any of you. Okay, well, let me just see. I'll build out a little tunnel right now just to kind of see where you are and then I'll figure it out from there. Okay, and Zoe, I actually think I found where your base is. I found this little ladder. Is this what you had earlier? Seriously? You found me? Yeah, the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the iron ladder is here. Okay, perfect. So I found where your base is, so I can start building out the little army room in the middle. And it kind of looks ugly right now, so I'm actually going to go back and add us in some staircases. That way, it's like easy to get up and down. Yeah, that'll be much easier. So let me just start by throwing all these staircases here, spacking them on the bottom and connecting up to yours. Hey, uh, Nox, do you want staircases on your side too? Yeah. Okay, so I need to go back and also add that in. Let me put these final two in. And okay, wait, that doesn't really work that well. Uh, Maybe what I could do is stack out a corner here and put that okay perfect that works a whole lot better now let me clear out this space and now i'm gonna go back and add all the stairs to your side Nox, before i start building out the armory room
room. Hey, great. Okay, there we go. Okay, Nox, all the staircases should be added in for you. You should be pretty much good to go back and forth now. Perfect. Okay, now I need to build the armory room for us. So I'm guessing I probably need like armor for each one of us, right? Definitely. Yeah, we definitely need that. Okay, Zoe, and actually, do you want to help me with the armory room? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to make the floor look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and add these oak planks over here. And can you start getting like armor stands and stuff while I decorate that? Yep, I could do that. Okay, so let me start setting all of these walls to be the same theme as the inside of my base since this can't look ugly. What type of armor do you want? Uh, What type of armor do I want? Can I have like diamond armor, please? Sure, I'm going to have netherite armor. Oh, you're going to have netherite armor. Hey, Nox, what type of armor do you want? Do we have mushroom armor? No, we don't have mushroom armor. I don't even think mushroom armor is a thing. Uh, is there red armor? Is there red armor? Uh, Zoe, did you see any red armor? Um, There's leather armor. That's brown. Is that red? I mean, it's close enough, right? No. Well, then you're not going to have any armor if you want to keep complaining. I'm not complaining. I just want red armor. Well, there's no red armor. Why don't you get it yourself? There isn't any. You just asked. Well, that kind of sounds like a personal problem. I mean, we don't have to throw you in any armor. You can just be lonely. No, I want armor. Okay, fine. Then you're going to get uh, leather armor then. Uh fine. Okay, Zoe, and while you start to adding all the armor, I'm going to add in chests with like a bunch of weapons and apples and stuff. Sounds good to me. So let me grab some of these golden apples, some diamond swords, and we probably also need shields. So for this chest over here, I'm going to fill the entire thing up with diamond swords. For this one over on the side over here, I'm going to put a bunch of golden apples. And finally, on the last one, I'm going to throw in a lot of shields. We're going to be completely set. Yeah, we are going to be completely set. And wow, your netherite armor actually looks pretty cool. That's because it is pretty cool. It's like the coolest armor ever. Yeah, I kind of agree and i feel like we're missing a little bit of something what do you say we add in a couple paintings here those look good Ooh, like that one yeah i'll throw in that one over here yeah let's see what other ones do we want to add in do you want like this whale one yeah do the whale one okay and i need to add in one more over here and oh wait this one's actually cute oh that is cute it's like a little dog with like a coffee mug or something cute look i added that panda one. Oh, the panda one looks so good okay i think this is looking pretty good uh do we even need anything else for an armory area i don't think so and zoe honestly i think our armory room turned out really good yeah it does this looks super good. Guys, I'm all finished. Oh, wait, you finished your base, Nox? Yeah, I'm all done. I kind of want to check out his base. Hey, Zoe, do you want to go check out his base? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I built up some staircases over here, and then I also built him a water elevator. So all we have to do is jump right inside of here, and boom, we made it inside. That was awesome. Hello. Hello. All right, so out here, we'll start from the outside. Okay, let's see. And your mushroom is so huge, Nox. Yeah, it's gigantic. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. It is super cool. Thank you. And then because it's a mushroom, it produces biodiesel. That doesn't make any sense at all, but okay. All right. And it has turrets over here. So we'll see that up top. So up this way. Oh yeah, I definitely want to see the turrets again. They were super cool the first time I saw them, Zoe. I'm starting to think that I should have added some more defenses. So when you hit these pressure plates right here, it shoots arrows down. Oh, Nox, hey, it looks like a bunch of them aren't even working. Can you step on it again? Yeah, what's happening? Look, let me go ahead and fix this for you. I'm pretty sure what you need to do is add in a repeater. And okay, that's working better. Now I'll do the same for this side. Add in one more. Okay, now it should definitely work everywhere. Perfect. This is very cool. Thank you. Yeah, it is now very cool. This way. And this is where we live. Oh, you have a bedroom at the very top? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I see you have an aquarium over here with a bunch of little fishes inside. Yeah, it's me and Nox's little pets. Oh, this is so cool. What happens if I break the glass? Well, don't do that. Oh, so you're making it flood everywhere. I died. What the? Nox, you just hit her. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I just saw you. No, I wouldn't do that. Well, that wasn't very nice at all, Nox. That wasn't nice of her. She came in here and defaced my house. Well, yeah, I know. You're not lying at all, but you can't just like knock her out because of that. Yeah, I can. I just wanted to pet your fish. Don't pet my fish. Those are mine. And little Nox's. And wait, what's in this room over here? And, oh, this is the bedroom. Yeah, that's where me and little Nox sleep. This is nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. And you guys have huge chairs. Yep, huge chairs, huge computers, just so that we can see all this. We have our cool paintings in here. And if we get hungry, we can hop over here. Oh, this is the kitchen area. Yeah, we have this fridge. I didn't get to fill it yet. But you have no food in there, Nox. I'm hungry right now. I know I'm hungry too, but I was building. It took forever. It's a giant mushroom. Oh my goodness. Now what are we going to eat? Uh, just eat the mushroom. No, I'm not eating the mushroom. Well, Zoe, I hope you added this stuff to your kitchen. Munch, 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 munch. Mmm, tasty, huh? Tasty. And I got some TVs. Yeah, this is a pretty cool build, honestly. Thank you. Hey, Zoe, can we go ahead and check out your build next? Sure, let's go. So you built like a big rainbow unicorn thing or something? Yep, I sure did. It's a giant rainbow castle. It kind of looks like a lollipop. Okay, it's a giant rainbow lollipop. Come right this way. But first, you have to avoid the fake water. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. The fake water is super, super deadly. Nox, make sure not to step in it. It looks like real water. I know. It's fake water. But if something steps in it, that means it hurts them. Is there a doorbell? No. Ding dong. <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. Obviously, you can see I have a few ovens. I have a place to sit. And I have like a refrigerator. But the refrigerator is empty. I didn't have time to go to the store. Well, are you serious? Neither one of you guys have food in the kitchen. I'm hungry. We're serious. Gosh, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and give each one of us some cake that we can eat. Yeah. Mmm, tasty. Here we go. You guys can eat as much cake as you want, okay? Tasty. There we go. And Dox, you're going to have a sugar crash if you eat too much. You might want to stop. My stomach hurts. Oh, gosh, guys. You can't eat that much cake. And then if you look right there, that's the entryway to our armory room that we all share. But if you come up these stairs, then you're going to be into my personal armory room where I have plenty of armor, some bows and arrows, golden apples, and some swords. Wow, this is fancy, Zoe. Yep. And then if we climb up this ladder, then we should be getting into the living room. Wait, what do you mean should? It oh, I see. Okay, this is kind of nice. Yeah, it's a green living room. I thought you'd really like it. Yeah, I do love it because it's green, obviously. Exactly. I have this TV and I have my drum set and I have all my fish tanks. Yeah, it's green. Green sucks. What well, are you serious, Docs? Green to the best. Red sucks. Green's gross. No, you're gross. Here is my my bedroom slash bathroom. Oh, this is pretty cool. And look, you even have a mirror. I can see myself. Hi. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. And wait, where'd Nox go? He's using the bathroom. Ew. What in the world? You just used her bathroom, Nox? Yeah, I had to go. That's disgusting. Wait, you have a pool inside of your living room? It's the bathtub. Oh, that's the bathtub. Okay, that's uh, that's kind of gross. I don't want to go in there. I thought this was the bathtub too. Okay, so well, your build's pretty cool. You guys want to check out mine? I think mine's the last one we have to look at. Let's do it. And just to be super cool, we could all go through the armory room entrance. Sounds good to me. Let's go. So let's just jump on these ladders here and we can all run down. And Nox, I don't think you've seen the armory room yet, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, well, you could just come right here and check out our super cool armor area. Ta-da! Wow, who's got the garbage leather armor? Uh, Nox, that's yours. Mine? Yeah, we discussed it earlier. That's yours. I thought you were joking. No, why would we be joking about that? That's the one closest to red. Yeah, exactly. This is the closest thing to red, Nox. You should be happy. I'm gonna die. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe be a better fight. No, I can't do that. That's a lot of fighting. And this is just leather army. That's not very good. Well, let's just let him keep complaining. Zoe, you can come into my build. Let's go. All right. I'm just going to close that door behind him. And oh, gosh, wait. I think he's coming. Quick, Zoe, into the secret base. Let me in now. Oh, gosh, wait. Yeah, he already knows what this is. But yeah, welcome to the little living room area. What is this thing? Oh, this is uh this is my glorious king. His name is uh Arthur the Fifth. Okay. All right. And I have this really cool TV here. And oh, gosh, wait. Are you turning on the TV? Do you want to watch something? No. Yeah. Let's watch something. Okay, let me just put on something real quick. And look at this, guys. We can watch whatever we want on this TV. Isn't this awesome? This is awesome. Yes, amazing. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next room. I can show you guys the bedroom now. Let's go. Okay, well, if you walk right in here, this is my kid's super cool bedroom. This is so cool. He's so lucky. Yeah, he is super lucky. And Oh, yeah, this is just basically the lava lamp, Nox. Ah, pretty. Yep, it's super pretty. And I have this gaming setup with a bunch of nice paintings. And Nox, this is going to be your favorite part. Wait, did you just break the glass, Nox? You can't break the glass. Oh. What in the world is wrong with you? I'm going to kick you out if you do that again. I didn't do that. Yes, you did. I just watched you do it. Nah, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be your favorite part, Nox. Come into the super cool bathroom. That's it. Yep, this is the bathroom. It's super nice. I have a bunch of washers and a nice toilet and a nice shower over here for you. Bathtub. Why are there washers in here? Uh, in case you want to wash your clothes, duh. Oh. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard. I have a lot of nice stuff in here, but uh, yeah, you can't use my bathroom, Nox. Get out of here. What? Why not? Because you're kind of gross. You're gross. No, I'm not gross at all. You're gross. I want to go potty. Okay, you know what, Zoe? How about we just leave him in there? Ah! And, oh, uh, wait a second, guys. It just put me into survival. Yeah, it put me in survival, too. Yeah, I'm in survival. And wait, guys, I think I can hear our turrets shooting. Oh, gosh, everyone throw on your armor quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let me grab this. And make sure to grab a bunch of golden apples and grab your weapons and stuff. This is going to be a really, really scary fight. And Nox, wait, where are you? I'm still up in your room. I just pitched it off. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there. You're disgusting. Here I come. Okay, come on, everyone. Go ahead and get up. And if you want to go up, we can all go up on the elevator together. Let's go. Hurry up, Nox. You're so slow. I'm trying to get my stuff. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. You know what? We're leaving Nox behind. Come on, Zoe. Bye, Nox. No, don't leave me. No, we're leaving you. You're too slow. Come on, Zoe. We have to go ahead and fight everything outside. I don't remember where 
I put my kid? Oh my goodness. Wait, there's so many of these creatures. Oh no, my kid's just outside. But your kid's outside. Are you serious? Yes. Uh, that probably isn't good at all. That's a bit dangerous. Yeah, you're telling me. Ow, and I'm getting hit by my own turrets. What in the world is this? Wow, this freaking Huggy Wuggy is not going down. Yeah, these guys are so strong. Okay, come on, Nox. You have to get out here and help us. I'm going to my archery area. Uh, okay, have fun with that. Come on, guys. We have to take them all out. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, I'm coming. I have my diamond sword. Oh, my goodness. Dog Day is so strong. Hey, wait, it looks like the Huggy Wuggy stuck inside that goo over there, Nox. Let's get him. Yeah, let's go ahead and get him. I'm going to take out all these pictures. He's on the edge, too. Get out of here. We don't want you near our base. Yeah, stay away from our base. And oh, my goodness. Catnap is so big and so strong. And yes, these diamond swords are so awesome. I took down Huggy Wuggy. But you took down Huggy Wuggy. Okay, I'm taking out all the people on the outside. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, I took out the elephant. Okay, I think all I see on this side is Picky Pig. Okay, how are all you guys looking inside? Honestly, really good. I just killed the elephant. Yes, good job. You're taking out Bubba. And wait, I see Huggy over here and Picky. But I think I can take all these people out. Come on, come on. It's Piggy! Come here, Piggy! Oh my gosh, now they're all chasing me. Help me, Nox, help me! You should run! Oh no, they're coming after me! I got one! Okay, there we go. And wait, guys, I don't even see any left. Do we end up taking them all out? There's one right here! I'm trying to get it! No, wait, that's Nox, Zoe! Stop. Nox, Zoe! Die! Oh my gosh, Nox, that's Zoe! Stop it, stop it, Zoe! Oh, there's another one! Ah! Oh my goodness, I don't know what he's freaking out for. This is literally us, Nox! Maybe he has that post-dramatic something-something. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Zoe, we have to go ahead and get him to calm down. Nox, come on. You have to trust us. This is literally just me and Zoe. How do I believe you two? Dax, we just need to step on the pressure plate. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and try that. And look, guys, we're all back to normal now. Yay! Ew, I'm in leather armor. Oh, my gosh. But hey, guys, look. We were able to defend our house from all the smiling critters. We did it. We did it. We're awesome. Yeah, perfect. If that was a super crazy video, make sure to watch the next one by clicking the video on screen. Bye, guys.